All right. Ugh, big yawn immediately. Welcome, one and all, to Dungeons and Dragons again. Wow. Last time, uh, in a race against time, uh, you managed to successfully get Loka uh, up into the Nats Cog and to the uh, Temple of Life and Death, where you met with Atko. Um, a priest of Naya who was able to, through a, uh, a bit of um, negotiation, uh, uh, help Loka remove uh, the cursed necklace and lose um, the curse of lycanthropy in the nick of time before the clock struck midnight. Um, in the meantime, uh, you have discovered that Atko's husband... Um, uh, uh, Taxel has been missing for some amount of time uh, and has uh, gone deeper into the Natscog to his particular ruin where some slod, some particularly large, potentially magical frog people, uh, have been uh, suspiciously up to some mischief. Um, as a result, uh, you have agreed to go help find Taxel at the behest of uh, Atco and yourselves, as this is an individual you've seen in a vision uh, from Astior, who may be able to help you with uh, Fehu's condition, as this person is a priest of the God of Death uh, and therefore may be knowledgeable in the ways of necromancy. Um, speaking of necromancy, uh, you have been joined by a new companion, Hala, um, a skeletal dire wolf um, who is uh, intends to guide you uh, through the Nats Cog as best they are able um, to wherever Taxel may be presently. Um, all of that said, you took a little bit of time to rest at the Temple of Life and Death. Um, and have exited fairly early in the morning after a meal in the temple um, to be on your way uh, towards the ruins in the Nats Cog. Uh, conveniently, between where you are currently and uh, the Nats Cog in which you intend to delve, uh, is the Town of Fear. So you have a quick opportunity, um, if you should, should so desire, to stop around town as your visit last night was very brief. Extremely brief. Um to uh, potentially resupply, uh, get a better sense of the town now that it's not literally almost midnight, um, and uh, do what you may on your way to this temple ruin. Uh, all of that said, uh, how are you all doing? What What is going on? It, it is the morning. Uh, beams of light are filtering through the heavy canopy uh, of the forest, even out here on the outer edges. It is still fairly densely foliaged, um, and as such, um, the sun is a constant, um, surprise, almost, it, as far as it, uh, uh, beams through the leaves above you onto your present situation. Um, Paula is just kind of right. trotting along and guiding you. Um, but yeah, uh, as you are making your way uh, currently toward uh, fear, or at least through fear. Um, I, your path would take you through fear. You are heading toward it currently. Mm. Um, what would y'all like to do? Mm -hmm. Would anyone be opposed to stopping in the city briefly? I would not. I... We should be asking questions in, about the Black Towns, if they have indeed been... Oh, that's something we didn't quite get, uh, recap. Uh, Black Towns have been through, here, been through here, and the gnome, the gambly one, I forget Schemo. his name again. Schemo. Schemo Weird Bottle. I, re I remember his name because it sounds like Scheme, and he seems like he schemes. <laughs> yeah. Schemo. Schemo has... And Schemo apparently stayed and disappeared and took the forest a little bit at some point. So maybe he's still around and yeah. So yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> and Hassan said and Hassan will just say, We should I have no opposition to that. We should be asking about the Black Talons and see to see if anyone knows what they were doing well while they were here. 
Agreed. I also have... Uh... I don't know about shopping, but I would like to see if they have... Maybe some unusual ingredients, things that are harder to get in the desert. Yeah, more works for me. All right. It's an easy enough journey. Um, just a few, um, let's say like about an hour, hour or two of walking. Uh, having come the, back this way, the foliage is a little bit difficult to navigate, but with, with the assistance of Hala and your experience having traveled here last night in the dark, uh, it is much easier now in daylight to navigate your way back to fear. And as you approach, you are uh, quickly greeted with uh, the sounds of townsfolk milling about and going about their business uh, as such you had not experienced the night before. Even more present now um, is the uh, diversity of the population as you had seen it uh, arrive last night. Again, primarily goblins and lizard folk with a few other friendos uh, spritzed in uh, among the thing. There are a few larger buildings that look like they could be businesses and those kind of central arrangement of um, tent enclosures in the center of town. Uh, what are any of you looking for? Uh, Pashmina is looking for areas of commerce, wherever it looks like any trading or selling is happening. Yeah, absolutely. There does appear to be a little bit of a uh, corner for uh, booths. It looks like there aren't many permanent shops. Um, in fact, it looks like this little assemblage of tent structures near the center is largely where a lot of the commerce is occurring in town. Um, some people have little signs. Most just have their wares displayed. Um, one particular uh, tent has been posted up with a couple of rusty shovels um, and a goblin uh, that Hassan would be familiar with having talked to last night, uh, who was <laughs> not particularly good at pointing out directions. <laughs> Um, is sitting behind a uh, so little a reliable informant. Counter. A reliable <laughs> informant. A Definitely should ask that person more questions. A primary source, to be sure. <laughs> um, they have a variety of um, primarily tools and whatnot. It appears to be like rope and and uh, you see a couple scabbards and some metal. Um, there are a couple of traders looking lo that appear to have a lot of plant life. Um, many flowers of like very disparate, very new varieties, things that look like they would only grow in a rainforest environment. Um, one of the tents actually has uh, coffee beans, um, except they are unprocessed and unroasted. So this Rock. is the actual <laughs> coffee fruits um, that one would pick off of uh, coffee plants on the forest floor. Uh, and a variety of them sorted primarily by size and color. It has a little sign over it that says coffee shop. <laughs> uh, Peshmina is looking for basically the other half of the ingredients she would need to brew a health potion. Yeah, absolutely. It, it looks like um, with a keen eye, I think it's easy enough to spot that um, the one uh, one of the sellers trading in plants primarily would absolutely have the, the herbs and whatnot that you require and even if they don't have exactly what you want if you described what you're using it for they would definitely be able mm -hmm. to give you a reasonable substitution uh then yeah she she wants to uh, trade figure out how much that would cost figure all that out yeah absolutely um uh would you like to have the conversation or would you like to just kind of spend some money and be done with it I would be interested in a conversation, yeah. why not? There's a, uh, I'm going to say a, a quite young looking goblin girl behind that, along with uh, a, someone who looked, a, a, an um, older looking uh, a gentleman um, with a pipe that is roughly as long as they are tall. Um, and uh, they both kind of look up and the uh, little girl kind of looks up and you goes, Hello! What, what I have... What can I do for you, visitor? Hi. Um, Hello. I'm looking for some ingredients for a specific kind of potion. Mmm. Yeah. What? What? What kind? What kind of brew you looking at? Uh, a healing potion. 
Oh yeah, we've got we've got lots of lots of stuff for those, I think. Ah, uh, and she looks at the other <laughs> goblin. Da Dad, which ones are the healing potion ones? <laughs> uh, it is okay. I I will find them for you. And uh, he, uh, with the assistance assistance of uh, his daughter, kind of points out a few different plants and kind of as co gathering them for you and explaining their like herbal properties. Is it, it becomes clear that he is also explaining those to his daughter almost as mm -hmm. much as he is explaining them to you. Training is important. Uh, <laughs> How big is this dad goblin? <laughs> Uh, normal goblin size. We, we, so, like, a little shorter than Loka. Wow. Big, very bassy pipes on that on that guy. Ah, you <laughs> see, the larynx is not connected to the size of the animal. <laughs> you should hear some of the frogs around here. <laughs> Tis fascinating. Anywho, here are your uh, ingredients. And he... Uh, wraps them up with a little bit of string and uh, puts them in like kind of a, a little protective uh, cloth uh, bag. Sorry, ah. is it okay? I only need some of these. Oh, uh, certainly. Uh, yeah, got I'll show you that. Half. Hey, let's see. Do um, you remember how much I charged you for the other half? I had not even a clue. Right, let's <laughs> go ahead not and even. say uh, four silver. For silver, that's actually completely cool. Thank God. <laughs> for buying ingredient, like most of most of the the cost of magic potions uh, of potions is the effort of making them. All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Uh, sorry. By chance, you wouldn't have happened to notice anything unusual around here lately, would you? Oh, well, more visitors than usual, but other than that, things uh, have been a little, uh... Bearing say, maybe any specific foggy. marks? Oh, yes, uh, a, a, a cadre. Uh, potentially, uh, maybe some kind of adventurers. Uh, they, they tend to come up here to explore the Nats Cog every once in a while. Really gives Scrablo over there some business, but, uh... You know, I, uh... I don't recall any of their names off the top of my head, but there's a, a big fella with a, a bow practically twice the size of me and, and uh, kind of a big scary lady with an axe and a, a little guy who liked to joke a lot, you know. Uh, I, think, okay. I think there were uh, six of them at all? Maybe five. Hmm. Um, you don't happen to know where they've gone or... Hmm. Uh... Came and went, I think. Uh, hmm. in town for just a couple days. I think they made a, a, a brief excursion uh, into the Nats Cog, but uh, I, I recall them leaving fairly sh shortly thereafter. Okay. Other than our uh, merchant folk who come through here to uh, visit the, uh, you know, the, the beans and whatnot, um, we don't get a, a whole lot of visitors, so it was a bit of a notable event. No, that's very helpful. Thank you. It, uh, confirms what we thought. Mm. Uh, friends of yours? Mm, of a kind, I guess. Mm. Well, I, uh, certainly hope they're doing alright. <laughs> Just kind of w winces, but gives a little grateful, like, nod, like, half bow. Uh, thank you. Uh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Bye! Cute. Cute. You now have enough herbs to make a healing potion with your herbalism kit if you should cho should so choose. Hooray. Uh, Mina walks away, Loka's just like, I hope they got eaten by giant frogs. <laughs> that is a possibility. Uh, it would be tragic, but... Oh, mm. yeah, I was hoping to say that just to patch Mina. Oh. But, uh... <laughs> no. The, the... You may say it just to patch Mina. Uh, I Yeah, I don't know. Mostly I hope that we can just stop all of this weird necromantic stuff from happening. 
Yeah. We got any other shopping to do or we can... Here we go. Oh. Uh... That covers everything I need. Hey, son? Saran? Hey, son is... Over at... is Are there little craft sellers, like... Um... Like doll ma like doll makers, like little, you know how they how in some stores you can find like religious candles, incense, that kind of sort of thing for religious practices. Yeah, it, it's a little scarcer here. They, they, they aren't really a like. They, they, they certainly have like, little crafts, but there, it's not really like a goods oriented. Um. Trade trades they they um. They have a lot of, like, useful items. They don't have a lot of, like, luxuries. Um, there, there's not a lot of, like, clothing or fine fabrics or jewelry or things of that kind. Okay. Uh, are, are you looking for, like, religious artifacts significantly, specifically? I suppose, yes. Unfortunately, there, there's de not really any for sale, it appears. Um, but every once in a while, you see someone... Um, there's a lot of people wearing a lot of things. And, but every once in a while, you see someone wearing uh, particularly the... Uh, like, either a keychain or a um, necklace or something. Keychain. Um talisman like a yeah mm -hmm. with a little uh knocked bow and arrow made out of like twigs or uh vines or like um woven into their clothing you do not mm -hmm. see any of uh the symbol of nisythe the ring with horns okay and that case well all that concerned uh, Paysan actually does want to talk to the herbalists a little bit more. Sure. Um, Paysan will actually ask them, uh, do you harvest, you harvest these yourself, I, I presume? We do. We don't yeah. go too deep into the, um, the woods, not with the little ones at least, but there's quite a bit around the edges here where it's a little bit more safe. Now, if I may ask, how have the harvest been as of late? I've... Sweet, I came here researching a certain inf plant infection that uh, that has affected wildlife elsewhere, usually rotting. And I was, I was wondering, had you encountered any th any such thing in the forest? You know, you mention it. We have been needing to journey just a little bit deeper um, every couple months or so. Some of the. Uh, Herbal remedies around the edges have been, uh, waning. But, um, well, there's always been plenty. Never really been... I haven't reckon noticed any particular, um, well, blights or, or funguses that, um, crop up every once in a while, but nothing I've noticed in particular. I could keep an eye out, though, if you'd like me to. Yes, please. Um. Though. Hey, son. Said, are you doing did, some would hey, son have a map? Would hey, son have a map? Um, I don't think you. Is there a. No. Like, would, would hey, son. I, I guess that's kind of a question for you more than me. Like, is there a reason hey, son would have a map of the region? We do have a map of the continent. You do have a map of the about. continent. I think if, if, a, if there's a reason hey, son would, it's because. The archive itself is in proximity, more than just being part of aphasia, is in very close proximity to the Nazcog and has for does do foraging in the area occasionally. Sure, then yeah, look, then you, you can have a map of the Verdant Valley if you would like to. Okay, um, thank you. That said, a relevant facet on maps is in the Verdant Valley, despite some of the other woods being correctly and, and very precisely mapped out, um, the Natscog beyond a certain point is always vague in the middle, as if whoever has been attempting to make maps of it in 
previous uh, times has not been able to accurately map it at its center. Okay, I see. And I suppose these areas where you've seen wilt, the seen this wilting, this of sorts, they you they would not be able to directly pinpoint to their location, would you? Sadly, no. Um, though I've um, been thinking about more thoroughly documenting my foraging locations as um, in recent years, because it's knowledge I think would be valuable to pass on. Um, it's not something I've uh, really made a proper attempt at yet. Um, I can tell you we primarily forage on the, the edges of the Natscog, but um, yeah, no um, hardly any specifics, unfortunately. Other than we don't go too far out from fear. If you've gone more than a uh, say half day's journey out from fear, you've gone for the, further than we have for foraging purposes. Of course. Well, thank you very much. Very much. You, you said you were researching. Is Are you a, um, a botanist? Some kind of... We've had a couple, um... You know... Nature enthusiasts out here every once in a while. A, a recordist or two in our time. I get a... I... Interdisciplinary. Let's call myself an inter. I prefer to call myself inter interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary. studies. <laughs> Haven't chosen a major yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, may no more like I've chosen all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I hope you find your journey well, wherever it leads you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Say, how many of these botanists have gone missing? Well, there aren't any here now. <laughs> okay, thank you for telling me. I think at least one of them just got bored, but... Stan, don't go too bored deep. Bored here? They must really love some serious excitement then, because I can't imagine any botanist getting bored here. There are many plans, for certain, but... I think it might get a bit muggy for people who aren't, you know, native. Mm. <laughs> just kind of like pats down her like frizzy bangs. It's like, you're telling me. Alright, um, we it's don't a, have. A long draught from his extremely long pipe. Alright. Hey, Sam, we'll bid his farewell and then go talk to freaking Bad Direction. <laughs> Scrablo. Scrablo. Oh, hey there! <laughs> Hello there. Thank you for your directions earlier. You're welcome. I hope you made it there safe. Yes. Thank you know, you. I really think it's more about the journey than the destination, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, that is indeed what they say, although I'm sure that whoever said that wasn't currently, currently infected by a terrible disease. Oh, interesting. That would be a bad scenario. Anyway. Yes, it would. <laughs> Tense. Welcome. Price. To the rusty shovel, what can Tense. I do you for? Price, please. Tense? Well, this one's five copper, this one's seven, and this one's a gold. And he points to repeat? three tenths. Um, of wildly variable levels of repair. Ah. Can you just oh. list the? Can you list the prices for me again? Uh, five copper, five, co seven copper, and the gold piece. You know mending, though, right? I do not know mending. Oh. I know message. Oh. Uh, do none of us know mending? I thought one of us knew mending. Maybe not. Nope. Sorry. Not Oops. I. Okay. Never mind. I was like, I can get the cheap one and just fix it if it's if the brokenness is the problem, but <laughs> Do you go ahead I... and make an insight check for me? I will happily do so. Thirteen. Kind of sitting here and like looking at 
Scrablo's wares. Scrabble's got like a pretty wide, a surprisingly wide variety of wares. A lot of like actual gear too, like clearly like leather saddlebags. It looks like there's some climbing ropes and whatnot. But all of them appear to be in some, some v deeply variable states of repair. Um, and, uh, I, uh, you see, like, a couple different, like, insignias on different stuff, um, that are definitely not from around here. Um, it's just, like, just a lot of general, uh, exploration and adventuring gear as a whole. No, oh, Scramblo. I need Scram you to think... <laughs> I need you to think very, very hard for me. I, I, while I'm working? Oh, That's yes. two hard things. Oh, yes, it is very hard. But also, I need you to remember uh, a couple of fellow fellows who came in, one with a very large axe, one with a very large bow, one who had a tendency to gamble on everything. Oh, sure. Did you ever gamble with that gentleman? Nah, don't gamble myself. It's too big a risk. Yeah, yes, I can imagine. Uh, you, 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 you think I got, a, I got, I got, you think I got the profit margins to lose any of this stuff? Nah, gotta sell it. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have exchanged any items with them or have any of their items? Mm, no, no, I found all this stuff in the woods. Oh, I see. Hassan's gonna be looking for a looking for anything familiar, like anything he saw on them. On the, uh, the Black Talons? Yes. It has been a few weeks. Um, but yeah, go ahead and roll, let's say investigation for me. God, this dice. Uh, <laughs> investigation, that's a 14. 14? Um... You do a pretty thorough scan of everything that the shopkeep has, and, like, just not a lot coming up. Damn. Oh, well. You know, if you don't if you don't have the coin, I, I have some stuff that needs doing. You do? What do you have that needs doing? I, I got a, 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 a couple, um... I, I need a couple frogs. <laughs> a couple frogs, A couple you frogs. Said. Yeah. Eh... Uh, Trade you what, basically what anything I have for them. They're, uh, uh, let's say, like, blue and, uh, this big. And he puts out his arms and they're, it's like, about a foot long. Oh. Large. And I need two of them. Two. <laughs> Shrugs. Uh, <laughs> alive? Oh, yes. Dear God. Okay. Can't race them if they're dead. I said you don't gamble. It's I don't. Fine, I can pay. Just give me the lar Just give me the tent for a gold. For sure. Here you go. And he hands you this like very large tent. It looks uh, okay. pretty sturdy. Very thick canvas. A bit heavy. Um, it, it's probably several pounds. Uh, it, it appears to be like a multi-person tent. So yeah, probably like between like five, ten pounds. That's fine. We might need it. <laughs> All right. Well then. Anything else I can her. do you for? Grappling hook? Buckler? Mm, I think I have everything I need. How about this here staff of seeing? And he holds up a telescope. <laughs> hey son god damn it i'm wasting a spell slot detect magic <laughs> it is a completely mundane telescope <laughs> <laughs> is there anything magical among what he has not Had... a single thing god damn what items to... for sale I, tell me, if you pay for them, you'll wonder why you bought them. May I test out that telescope, please? Sure. Uh, he and holds how... it up to your eyes, but he is still holding it. I need you to 
turn it around, please? Oh, for sure. So that the big end is towards you. Oh. Oh, no, the other way? You want the small end towards you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and he, he looks at it, the at... other end with his eye. <laughs> <laughs> Can you perhaps point it at not your face, perhaps the tree over there, please? Oh, sure. And he, like, kind of, like, gets out from behind the thing and, like, shuffles <laughs> around you so that he can hold off the telescopes up to your your face and then pointed toward the tree behind them. <laughs> this I, is I, a very I elaborate. Fucking Tweedledee and <laughs> And then Son will look in the telescope. Oh, uh, the lens is cracked it... and you can't see anything through it. Yeah, I was about to say, but that thing's fucking broken. All right. <laughs> hey, <sighs> these things go for a lot of money. I'll give you this one for only 500 gold pieces. I'll give you two copper. Mm. For that, hey, Son. We know a magician, don't we? <laughs> Make a persuasion check for me. <laughs> oh god, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Eight <laughs> Counter offer seven hundred and fifty gold pieces. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, me too. Goodbye. <laughs> Come again. Uh I would think he'd be useful for something, but... Uh, mm. <laughs> A laugh? <laughs> well, if it makes... Well, if any better, I can just recreate uh, literally anything in his shop. I can probably recreate his whole shop <laughs> for uh, two hours. You could just make a telescope if you really needed one. Uh, I can't... Those are very expensive. I don't have the oh. means to just create one of those. Oh well. Hope we don't need a telescope then. I sure hope I, we don't. Well, I mean, like, how are we gonna use it in the forest, you know? Well, it would be hard to see. Well, I mean, you can get on top I mean, of a tree or something. I can fly also. You can also fly. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna what, use a telescope on a forest canopy? Mm. Oh. Hopefully for things that rise above the canopy. You never know. What are we going to also... take care of that's above the canopy? Well, honestly, well, the mountains are one thing. If we need a sense of direction, we need to be able to see the mountains. And sense of direction and perhaps landmarks. Of... Who knows? Look, it, don't... I mean, listen, you've been on... I mean, you're you used to be a sailor. Like... You can't really see much out on the wide open ocean, but you use a telescope for, you know, things like that. Landmarks. Sure, but there's not a lot of obstructions in the ocean. That's, that's just my- that's what I'm saying. It still has uses. I mean, you could whack somebody pretty good with it. <laughs> now selling Rod of Whacking! 500 um. gold pieces! No, you don't, I, that's a copyrighted. <laughs> you, can't. you gotta pay royalties. I operate yeah. under copy wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a thing or two about copy wrong. Oh, no, no, let's. Okay, let's not get into. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, have a nice day. We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> Alright, well, that's all. I, oh. <laughs> Like, literally any th anything Heisong could need would be already... He could already sort of conjure out of the air. I think we're pretty well set. All yeah. things considered. Not too bad off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, uh... Bent trunk of the, uh, great tree uh, hanging above you kind of, like, creaks in the breeze again. Um, relevantly different from last night to this morning is that it's no longer raining either. Uh, there has settled a bit of a glistening dew on all of the plant life, but it is no longer simply miserable to stand around anymore. Um, and you've got a much better opportunity to look at the colors present in all of the foliage around you. Um, 
seen in the herbs offered at that particular little foraging booth, but also simply in the wildlife around you, there are a wide array of incredibly bright colors in uh, any of the trees, in, in the flowers on the forest floor. You see some mushrooms around of, of various shapes, sizes, and colors. Um, having been from a city of colors yourself, Zaron, now that it's no longer night and miserable, how do you feel about being out here in the woods? Um, <laughs> well, that entire time, Zaron was trying to see if they could purchase an um umbrella. <laughs> oh, ab yeah, absolutely. So it it's really funny that it stopped raining then. <laughs> <laughs> it's still useful. And there's definitely still some drippage from the canopy above. Mm -hmm. But it's no longer oppressive. So it's anything that they can afford with the uh, four <laughs> silver to their name. Funnily mm -hmm. enough, it's going to cost one of them. That's um, fine. As long as it's workable. It is It is a very functional. It looks like it's made out of a combination of, of uh, canvas and vines and reeds. Um but uh, they appear to be, like, treated and waxed properly into, like, a very functional umbrella. Um, they uh, have, uh, it looks like they've like applied some kind of, like, insect wa insect wax to the exterior of the canvas, so water just rolls right off of it. Oh, this is a dumb idea. I think they have to ask how to use it. <laughs> um, the shopkeep. Yeah, here you go. It's, you grip here, and then you just... You, you see the little, like, spines on the interior? You just you just push that outward. You just pu push it, like, like, like this? <laughs> and the, the umbrella, like, thump, like, outward. Uh, oh. And then, and then when you want, you just, you grab that and you pull it back when you want to, you want know, to uh, squish it up. You give it a little shake to get the water off of it. Interesting. I see. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. I, uh, I appreciate it. Anytime. Um, how, how big is it? <laughs> is it just, like, a very standard umbrella? Yeah, lizard folk size. Luckily, not goblin-sized umbrella. <laughs> okay. So um, it can f it can fit a person and a half, basically. Exactly, yeah. Okay, that's, that's fine. It, one that's person fine. well, two people less well. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, I kind of figured. Mm -hmm. So they will part with a silver then you, you buy it from a lizard folk who uh appears to be very much in this is what they do is they they take a lot of materials from natural materials from the surrounding area and craft little devices and tools and mm -hmm. things for people to use mm -hmm. so i think they're just kind of like out and about and just kind of like practicing <laughs> opening and closing the umbrella mm -hmm. they've never had to use one before <laughs> So I think they're, like, going, like boom, mildly boom, boom, boom. amused <laughs> by it. It's like, oh, an umbrella. Good thinking. But, yeah, it's... <laughs> I think they're still overwhelmed with mm -hmm. just everything around them. It's so green. <laughs> it's so green and it's, it's so brown and it's just like, a lot. Like, the the field at, at, that you traversed to get here the the long rolling mm -hmm. fields of grassland and then the the road through the woods are not half as green as here yeah uh just the the brush and foliage is is yeah oh, like like you said overwhelmingly dense yeah it's i think i said this literally last session but i still feel as if they think it's like really kind of claustrophobic mm -hmm. just because it's just so much all right around them it's not open as it was out in the desert yeah absolutely sort of tall trees just everywhere can't see the they were horizon. used to large groups of people yes but it's something like this just so tall so like commanding over and there's practically a, a ceiling across the entire area too because of yeah. the, the jungle canopy i feel they like, think that they feel really small in this instant which mm -hmm. is funny because of how tall they are mm -hmm. uh 
being concerned with the environment in town, would you mind rolling me a perception check? I can certainly try. Perception. Uh, not great. That's going to be a six for me. I rolled a two on the die. Um... Yeah, the town seems... It's a little over busy. It's a little over... Um, yeah. e even for how sporadic it is compared to, like, a the dense population of Althra, like, yeah, it is just very... It feels very tight. And the, the ever-present creaking of this enormous tree overhead is absolutely not helping. Like, every time it creaks conceptually you're just like all right it's gonna it's gonna break it's gonna, how is it not breaking it's gonna break it's gonna br I, I don't oh boy i think they're trying to avoid it as best as they can <laughs> <laughs> like unironically trying to every time they hear it. a noise they instinctively look up absolutely so i think honestly like as interesting as it is to be here i think they're kind of unsettled yeah. They should be excited. This is super new. This is what they wanted to do, but it's so different that it's just something feels wrong. At least to them. Mm -hmm. Having done some shopping, uh, Hala is kind of like circling the lot of you, like kind of like wagging a skeletal tail around, kind of like, all right. And do we go? <laughs> it's like kind of bouncing back and forth with like anxious energy. Well, sorry, sorry I, I, I need to do one one more check. Uh, hey, son, is mushrooms? Are the any of these <laughs> poisonous mushrooms that could perhaps be retooled? Uh, good question. Go ahead and roll survival for me. Damn, I was hoping it would be nature. I could help. Please help me. <laughs> Do you want assistance, or do you, uh... Or are you... Would you ask Pashmina about this? I would ask Pashmina about this. Okay. Um, then Pashmina is going to observe the local mushrooms. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 25. Okay. Natural 20. <laughs> um, Finally. Go ahead and roll... Um, 15. Uh, say just 2d20. 2d20. Oh, uh, what did you roll, Hassan? Hmm? I was oh. rolling. Oh, you, um, you, Hassan is helping you look. Okay. Yes. Oh, then I should roll again? Yes. Okay. Survival again? Not survival. Just 2d20. Just, okay. I rolled a 13 and a 15. 13 and a 15. Um, 27. No, 28. Yeah, 28. Um, there are... Uh, some mushrooms that have like it doesn't look like there are any poisonous mushrooms in the immediate area uh, you, you get the sense that if um there were poisonous mushrooms in the area the locals probably cleared them out mm -hmm. um for the safety of it you see a number of children around youngins yep. yeah um there are some mushrooms uh primarily the the vast majority of the mushrooms around here are either uh harmless but inedible or edible um but there is um you notice a few a, a little purple mushroom with little white spots on it that it grows in a, you spot a couple instances a couple specimens of them um uh how big, good did you roll in survival the first roll was a 20, 20. Na a natural 20 plus 5 natural so 20 plus 5 um yes. uh it is not people treat it like a psychedelic uh, it is not a psychedelic. It is a, um, like, uh, it, it has an effect on the mind um, that makes you actively more perceptive to other people's, like, emotional states. Whoa. Uh, so most of these are just 
mm, edible, inedible, but not necessarily dangerous. Uh, these ones have a really strange property about them. Uh, you get, uh... Mm, it's kind of hard to explain. It's not exactly, uh... You don't exactly trip, but you feel more in tune with people. Hard to explain. Sounds useful. Um, I say that it's not tripping, but... Hmm. <laughs> um, hey, someone will harvest them. <laughs> sure thing. Yes. How many sh Just one? Let's say two. Two. Two that are of harvesting. Peshmina helps you identify a pair that are of harvesting quality. Okay. <laughs> I think Peshmina wants to grab some of the ones that are actually good to eat. Yeah. yeah. Just forage some mushrooms. She's like, fuck yeah, some chanterelles. Let's fuck it up. Yeah. All just right, need awesome. some butter. <laughs> All right. That's you, it. I'm fine with saying you get like a rations worth of mushrooms if you'd like to. Oh, well, fuck yeah. And just to recap, what did we... We still haven't really gotten anything about the Black Towns, what they were here, even here for. Only that they were mm. here. It sounds like they largely kept to themselves while they were here. Okay, that's fine. Other than people know they went into the Natskog for an extended right. period of time. All right, that's good. That's everything uh, I need. All right, now we actually have to use these mushrooms <laughs> instead of, like, the last campaign where my character where had them hatched. in their pocket for, like, three-plus months. <laughs> Would this, would this be a two-person tent, Colm, or should I just add that onto it's, my inventory? It's probably a five-person tent. Yeah, I'll just add the tent to my thing. It is large. We'll say it's a five-person tent. It's part of the reason it's so heavy. We will need it. You need Hopefully. help carrying that. Um, perhaps, yes. <laughs> uh, Loka, would you like to carry something? Um, probably not the tent, because I have two really pokey things. Would you mm. like to carry something, Pashmina? Yeah, I can. Thank you very much. Just, like, tosses the tent to you all five <laughs> multiple pounds of it. Oh, and just walks off. You could have just handed it to me. I, the funny thing is, is I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm any stronger than you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> this is fine. Yeah, that's that looks wow. I mean, that looks real heavy. Sorry, yeah. I've got too many pokey things that could step <laughs> off from it. You know, someone else could carry your pokey things. No, I don't think that's that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Just, just a real awful idea, huh? <laughs> That's a really terrible. Yeah, I'm glad you understand, Pasmina. Thank you. Oh. How are you, by the way? Um. I'm okay. Feeling all right? Feeling all right. I'm feeling like. I don't know. I'm. Category one to category five. How's this, how we how's the storm cloud looking? <laughs> Was that a Hassan question or an Eli question? Eli question. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say it's somewhere between a two and a three, probably closer to three. Um, Loka is a little on edge. Um, Thinking about the talons. Yeah. yeah Which is actually pretty middle. Well, I mean, category mm -hmm. three is pretty strong. Still. Um. Anyways, I could I actually roll a check of some sort. I think Loka, because he's kind of worried about the talons, is just wondering if like, is anybody? watching them and not in the sense of like oh look at these new people in town like is mm. anybody watching them right you yeah, know absolutely I mean? uh yeah go ahead and roll me i'll say perception or investigation all right i'll do perception 
Oh, fuck yeah, that's a 24. 24 is very nice. good. Um, you are certainly getting a lot of looks. Um, although, I, unlike in, in, like, this sounds a bunch of weirdos, you know? Um, like, <laughs> the, 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 they are not regarding you coldly. They are simply regarding you, because you're visitors. And Fear's very far north. It's, it's not exactly an attractive town to be. So you all are certainly getting some of the, like you said, the like, oh, look, new people kind of attention. Um, as for people, you know, like, actively watching you. Um, with a 24, you feel like you're in the clear. Like, there are people watching you. You're, maybe you're a little watching you that you're maybe a little suspicious of. Of like, okay, is that is this person like being surreptitious about the way they are watching your group? Are they like, does it look like they're communicating or whatever? Like trying to keep an eye on anyone who might be like basically doing espionage or recon on you as a group. Um, mm. And you feel very confident in so far as that is not the case. It, it feels very much like. Um, if you ever set ground in a new port, you know? It's just, it's the, oh, look, new people, look. And that is very universal across the people you find here. You don't think you have anything to worry about in fear. Gotcha. Okay. So, do we want to go to the Temple Ruins place for the... X, X, oh. X. No, what's the... Who's... We met Atko and... Wait, who's who? Well, we're looking for their husband, Taxel. Because they're missing, currently. Taxel, okay. And I guess also Schemo, but, um... Well, I'll keep my eyes off for ski marks because, um... Anyways... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I had a very violent thought for a moment, and I, I figured it was probably best not to, uh, repeat it in such a, a nice little town. I don't think anyone would blame you for ski ass. What did, what, did, what did you just say? <laughs> I don't think anyone would blame you for kicking Skimo's ass. Oh, okay. I thought you said skinning. No, no. Yeah, I was. Uh... I don't know. God, no. <laughs> I don't think. No, just. I, I don't think anyone would blame you for kicking Skimo's ass. Well, that's good, because, uh... Like I said, I got a lot of pokey things. Well... Uh... Ala? Ala. I don't see. Xylophone Allah. noises. <laughs> <laughs> they, they... They can't bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! So, so they just, like, wiggle. <laughs> oh, there you are. Ready to go? <laughs> I, I, I can't vocalize. They're a skeleton. Um, you need a you just little gotta, tiny you just, gotta, you just gotta do some mic yeah. ASMR. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they, they like nod heavily and like point towards the, the wood and then like look over their shoulder to see if you're interested in following. Uh, and Hala starts trotting off into the woods. Um... Bone dog. Bone dog. Um, as you travel into the woods, um, it is a fairly long journey. Um, you uh, head off into the woods. Um, you kind of uh, watch as the angle of the sunbeams filtering through the rainforest canopy uh, become vertical as it uh, gets to noon and then start to slant the other way. Um, I'd like to know everyone's marching order. How are you walking? I would say 
Loka or Zoran in the back? In the back. Like I'm the, not pe the, in the people. Back. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Like the people with with highest perception, like front and back. Mm. So like the alert people. I think Loka would be up front. Personally, but that's just me. Uh, Pashmina after Loka, and then me, and then Hassan, maybe. Casters in the back. Or do we want Pashmina's like rear guard kind of person? Pashmina will follow wherever it feels natural. All right then. Um, so that she doesn't being, have particularly so high perception. Loka, Hassan, Zoran, Pashmina. Sounds good to me. All right. Yeah, you continue through the woods. Um, as the day continues, I would like uh, Loka in the front. I would like you to make a perception check. Sure. That was not as good as the other one. Uh, 13. 13. Um, Should I roll for the back? No. Got it. Uh, as you continue through the woods, uh, having already flexed this sense before earlier today, Loka, you get the little pinpricks on the back of your neck that you're being watched. And you're not sure where from or how, but it's just one of those little keen senses. Oh, okay. I assume being in the front though, Loka is a bit busy with all of the bushes and the leaves. Yeah, if you'd like to be kind of hacking away at underbrush. Bushwhacking. Yeah. Do, we, do yeah. we even have a blade among the four of us? I don't know no, if we do. And that's why it's such an effort, because he's just <laughs> using the fucking trident to like... And it's getting caught as he's pushing things out of the way. And it just it, he's having a bad time. I think you do there. have a dagger in your inventory. I um, do, but, but daggers, dagger is Yeah, not they're not exactly really a slashing... Dagger weapon not really great for bushcraft no um so well, i think it's it's comfortable to say that it is slow going through the woods largely um anyone who would like to as you progress deeper into the nats cog go ahead and give me a nature or survival check nature um and while you do so i will narrate a little bit um, Natural 20, so 27. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Um, mm, I only rolled a, a 11 survival 11. that time. All right. Yeah, I got 12. 12. Uh, I muted myself. I have shit, but I'll do it anyways. Uh, <laughs> no. Four. Four. So the... Uh, a couple things everyone notices, which is just that... Um, the uh, kind of forest floor of the Natskog, as you have begun progressing deeper within it, uh, has started. Uh, there is a, a hazy mist that has settled in near the forest floor that appears to be getting a bit denser the deeper you are progressing into the woods, um, making it a little bit harder to see, like, individual twigs and whatnot. Um... You also see a vast array of flora and fauna. Um, lots of different kinds of plants. The plants get more and more colorful and, ex and exotic as you head deeper into the wood. Um, there's a wide variety of insect life, um, something that is probably entirely new to Zoran again, but also quite new to most people living outside of the Nats Cog. There are iridescent, mm -hmm. like, dragonflies and uh, a few different kinds of beetles um there's lots of brightly colored birds you notice a couple brightly colored frogs of various sizes um <laughs> some lizards small mammals um and Hassan, you've been taking all of this in kind of observing the the wildlife around you as you progress deeper into the Nats Cog. One thing you realize is that um, 
you've seen several uh, okapi. Like they're they're this kind of they're they're a jungle giraffe basically. They're a, a kind of deer like. They've got some antlers, uh, stripes on their hind and front legs. Um, around, um, but you haven't seen any predators, any large predators at all. Um, no jungle cats, which you think would be pretty endemic to this region. No kind of bear variants. Um, not even any trace or tracks on a natural 20. You know that it's not because they are hiding from you. The tracks and surroundings you are navigating through indicate that they simply aren't here. Uh, which is very odd for the region. Um, and with a natural 20, the thing you understand from that implies that at some point, maybe in the recent past or long past, there was likely a predator much, much larger than any of those big predators in this region. This is the kind of ecology that forms when there are great worms or um, giants or otherwise megafauna in the region. But no signs of that megafauna. Correct. Weird. Do keep. If anyone sees tunnel, any tunnels, please do tell me. Tunnels. Like in the ground. Yes, tunnels. Overly large footprints. Whatever lives here is. There are no predators around here. No tracks, no nothing that is usual of a jungle, and if the size of everything around us is any is any sort of indication, then the predators themselves would be just as large. Ooh. You know, there's a saying where I come from, if there's no sharks by where you're at, um, then you're, you're probably okay to swim around. So... Uh, I don't see any sharks in God, that is precious. <laughs> Did you get uh, bit by a mosquito? <laughs> yeah, just, just, just. <laughs> Isan um, just pulls like a bit of net, a bit of like weird webbing off of him. Oh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, we should, I mean, why worry about what's not in the water right now, you know? I'm just worried, what if something is, uh, something worse than a shark is eating the sharks, you know? Is there anything worse than a shark in the ocean? <laughs> oh, absolutely! Oh. <laughs> Do you know what a grouper is? <laughs> well, as well, as long as you don't think there are any predators watching us, then I, hate that that I got trust me. you. <laughs> I really hate that that got me. What, that you're laughing at it, yeah. or that it scared you? Oh, <laughs> that didn't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is watching us, correct? Um, God, I hope not. <laughs> it's kind of hard to yeah. tell though, with all uh, everything going on. You know this. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous that there is, but, uh, you know, we're traveling in numbers, so we should be okay. Hopefully. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. Can I do another look-see around the area? Yeah, go ahead and give me, um, yeah, perception or investigation. That's absolutely one of those. Ooh, that is so much better. That's going to be a 17. It's a little easier for you because you've seen them before. Oh. Um, Joke. Deeper in the woods, further away from you than they were the two nights prior now. Um, 
but it's the same mark that betrays them. Um, just little glints of light reflecting off of large spherical eyes uh, deeper in the woods. Although this time you see one, maybe two of the very large frog-like creatures way back hiding behind some vines. And then you see a few more sets of eyes above you in the canopy, much smaller eyes, but same kind of big hemispherical circular dark eyes. Just pointing in the direction of like the really large ones. Frog, 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 frog. <laughs> I, as soon as you point directly at it, uh, it begins trying to, it, it bounds away from you. Oh. But uh, you do point it out fast enough that everyone else sees it. Uh, this enormous, it looks like uh, this one had a green hide, very thick, kind of uh, rough, almost like bumpy. Um, and as a result of its hide, as soon as it makes a huge bounding leap, kicking up some of the foliage underneath of it, and then disappears into the foliage. Are the ones above us gone too? The, uh, the two large ones are gone. Almost all of the ones in the canopy are gone, but you still see one set of eyes in the canopy looking at you. And I think as they're trying to be as non-conspicuous as they can and just kind of like pull everyone closer. All right, don't make it look obvious that you're looking, but <laughs> it's around. It's about north, around five, two o'clock-ish. There's another thing up there. I can't really see exactly what it is, but it's there and it is watching us. Well, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna have to take your word for it because uh, I would have to actually like crane my neck <laughs> to look up that far, so. Mm -hmm. Uh... Zoran, you see, oh, it, wait, you see it can... blink one eye at a time. <laughs> Hold on, I have, I have an idea. And Zoran reaches into their bag and they pull out their little hand mirror. Huh. Mm -hmm. And hold it to Loka. Angle yourself specifically so you can try aiming it. Why didn't you tell me I had a leaf stuck straight on my forehead? <laughs> 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 I... I... Gently no, picks it off for you. It's just like, I'm, I'm sorry. We've all got. And they pick off another one off of your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to accept the fact that mud is just a reality here. Mud is <laughs> just in like every crevice. I am, I am finding my zen. I am like, it is okay that there is mud on your clothes and in your hair. <laughs> just, <laughs> this is fine. You can live with this. Uh, with the assistance of the mirror, though, Loka, you're you're, you're fairly able. It, it's hard to make out more of the creature. You, you think you detect maybe a little bit of green, um, kind of reflective, almost like it's it's wet skin um, through the the brush. But you certainly see the two eyes peeking out. Okay. <laughs> Can I have my mirror back if you're done with it? Please. Oh, um... Sorry, I just... I was, I was so struck by my own natural beauty or whatever. <laughs> nice. Click, hands it back to you. <laughs> just pockets it again. Shall we continue? I guess not now that we're done admiring Loka. <laughs> all his fishy uh, charm. Can you give me one second? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. One moment. You're good. I like the idea of Loka having fishy charm. And <laughs> as soon as soon as you say that, it's just a smash cut to like a, a, a freeze screen 
of like him holding up the middle finger and saying motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> just being crass. Just yeah, yeah. It's like drinking beer and burping and <laughs> like, getting into a fight. Ah, look at him in all of his fishy charm. You sons of bitches, I'll kill you! <laughs> Set up a little dial. <laughs> it's wild how glowy the lantern is. Yeah, Even fun. like in dark places. Oh goodness, I forgot to um send it to you. I made an updated uh mini. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they've been they adding added, a lot of um, options. They added a few new options in the Hero Forge, and there's a lantern that I kind of like better. I was gonna say they they recently added a better lantern. I was wondering they if you would did. like that or not. They did, and it's I noticed that. fun. It's the thing is, as much as I want to try, I can't have it attached to like the staff that I have. Yeah, moving objects around. Bad. Yeah, I, I, part of the reason some aspects of Hero Forge are as restrictive as they are is just because they all any model they make has to be three D printable. Um, yep. and that makes that that is a huge restriction on just like fundamentally how the thing works. Um, but like, you know, it, it's fun. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. So um, I have the new mini. I it's I tried it. making changes that were more fitting to how they are now. Mm -hmm. So give me one second. I'll get you uh, that share link. Well, time to print and paint an entirely new miniature. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably will not do that for a I, while. We'll see. Please don't. We'll see. I, I'll post I it. apologize. Uh, there was just an argument oh. happening. Yeah, no Oops. worries. Um. So sorry. I... After right? Loka started, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It did not involve me. Gotcha. It was just noisy. Mm -hmm. Decided to move to the other room. Um. Uh, so, can you uh, really quick just describe to me? I kind of caught everything up until the fat, up until Loka started looking through the mirror. Yeah. What happened? Um. So basically, just have, you you all have spotted uh, the the um large frog-like creatures as well as what appear to be maybe some smaller frog-like creatures um but after pointing them out they have all uh fleed except for uh, it appears one that has remained in the canopy which Zeron has has now more surreptitiously pointed out to all of you and it is still and okay appears to still be there would you like me I don't know, psychically reach out to it? Oh, gosh. Uh... <laughs> I kind of just want to avoid it altogether, but if you really feel that strongly about it... I feel that might be just a little invasive? Not even really sure what it is. I say, you know, we leave it well alone and hopefully it'll do the same to us, you know? Because let's say you reach out to it and you say, Hi, why are you watching me? And you get back, I'm here as a protector of the forest or something. And the now that you've spoken to me, we're all going to come kill you. Or something <laughs> like that. So maybe just, you know, leave it. Leave it be and we'll show that we mean no harm and you know, leave us alone. Hmm. Pashmina, can you hand me the mushroom, please? <laughs> oh, geez, oh, God, oh, no. <laughs> All right. Hey, Enjoy son, is going. Uh, now, hey, son, we'll consume the mushroom. All right. Uh, so, for the next 24 hours, uh, you have <laughs> a limited form of telepathy. Um, oh. You are able to sense emotions, but only how others feel about and toward you. 
Oh. Um, Can I? <laughs> so first off, read of the room. How does everyone feel about Hassan right now? Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Um, I can tell you how Bashmina feels. Um, please. You, I'm wondering how detailed, like, I guess what's considered an emotion and what's like. No conscious thought, just feel like a basically a vibe. Immediate mm. vibes. Yeah, like an aura almost. Mm. Then you get a sense of, like. Kinship and safety from Peshmina. Oh. Um. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else within that. Uh. I feel like there's a weirder emotion in there, but it's not. Like. There's no animosity. It's almost like very slightly envious, but not like bitter or jealous. Just the you got something that she wanted, but she doesn't hold it against you. Awesome. About Zoran and Luke. I'm just friendly. I don't think it goes anything above that right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It looks like it's. I, this isn't an emotion, but this could be like, I guess inferred. There's something else in the mind that it's like. Everything else is like a second thought. I don't know if that makes sense. It's emotions, baby. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's Ooh. slightly distant. Mm. Acquaintanceship. <laughs> Friendly, but there's like a little bit of hesitancy. Uh, excuse me. The I think w what I'm seeing for Loka. Actually, let me rephrase. I'm seeing Loka through Hasan's eyes, and I think. Hisan just sees like the way I see it is just like a red aura of like there is a base level annoyance <laughs> <laughs> that just kind of radiates off of Loka. <laughs> Duly um, noted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both Eli and Hisan will remember this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. With those more immediate, more close emotions out of the way, you do get a distant sense of this creature. Um, and the overwhelming vibe you get is just curiosity. Uh, I don't think there are anything to worry about there. Seem more like a little kitten than anything. Maybe they're younger. Yeah, um, it's like I said, you know, they just we we just leave it alone and it leaves us alone. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh come on, it's we're it's not bothering us. Let's let's not bother it. Hassan's gonna leave a little bit of little pile of little a little small ration on one of the tree branches. All right. Just out in the open. Yeah, you absolutely Let's do keep, so. Let's keep moving now. And Saron, please keep an eye on behind eye behind of us. On Just a nod. The path Hala takes doesn't take you directly under the creature, though when you do venture deeper, um, you do get a little bit of a better look at this individual. As opposed to the big 
uh, rough backs of the very large creatures you'd seen before. This one's much smaller. Um, very bright green hide with black spots as um, uh, more akin to some of the um, frong. smaller frongs you've seen that very much that cling to the sides of trees. E they do shuffle a little bit to hide from you as you continue moving past relatively unsuccessfully um, <laughs> as you've already spotted it uh, and as you move deeper into the jungle just before you lose sight of uh, where you had stopped Zoran at the back you see um, a small silhouetted figure uh, kind of jump down from the canopy onto the forest floor and approach uh, the tree trunk that Hassan placed a ration on, um, at which point you lose sight of it. Thank you. Noted. Snack. Continue venturing into the woods. Um, the shafts of light bursting through the canopy continue to angle steeper and steeper. And yet there is no sign of ruins yet. Hollis seems to be guiding you quite confidently. Um, she almost seems to be following a trail, like uh, a hound would on some kind of hunt. Um, though it's what she is detecting or per perceiving uh, is lost on the four of you. Um, but as the... Um, Shafts of light begin to angle more steeply. It's starting to get dark. No ruins in sight. Um, before long, it's going to be entirely dark. What would you like to do? Hmm. I could fly up above the canopy if one would desire. check our general position. I... My thoughts, at the very least. I think... If you don't mind just... Keeping an eye on things. And yeah? Hey, Sam will fly above to see if he can. How high is it? above the canopy because these are I, i'm guessing this is very tall very tall trees the the can the like top part of the canopy it's variable depending on what part of the the wood you're in um but uh the the higher parts of the canopy are probably 50 feet above you um but i mean you can fly that's largely trivial and it's not too difficult to find breaks in the canopy to be able to fit through to get above the nats cog um you break the tree coverage and you can see the rolling leaves and branches of the forest all around you. And you can tell you're quite deep into the Nats Cog. It, it appears that you are, are approaching roughly center mass. If you had to guess, you're probably um, like, honestly, having headed east from fear, you're probably close to like, just right smack dab in the middle. Hmm. Alright, and we can, and I'm guessing we can still see the mountains fairly clearly in that case. You can. Alright. As long as we are not going in the opposite direction and have not lost our way. It doesn't appear so. Yep. And, no, and nothing on the horizon, nothing jutting out of the trees, per chance. Not that you can see, just rolling leaves for as far as the eye can tell. All right. Uh, you have Hayson. very much lost sight of fear at this point. Um, you would have to travel back a significant portion to be able to find uh, the town again. All right. He saw will fly back down. Say, nothing on the horizon, if we may want to simply find a clearing or somewhere to just set up this tent soon. Yeah, agreed. I... Even if I can see for the most part, it's not exactly 
fun to travel through this at night. Yes. May I absolutely right. break camp if you would like to. Um, if you'd like to find, I'm curious, what are you all looking for in a campsite? Are there any particular qualities you are interested in when it comes to finding a place to stay for the night? Flat. Flat? Flat's pretty good. <laughs> Dry. Dry's very good. Dry-ish. Dryer. <laughs> if you're going for flat and dry, you're probably looking for someone that's a little bit higher in elevation than wherever's around mm -hmm. you in case it rains. You definitely yeah. don't want to accidentally be in a um, valley if there should be significant rainfall. Yeah. Those are the two big ones. Sounds good. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and hopefully with enough foliage that we are not just plainly out in the open. Flat, dry, and looking for a bit of cover. Sounds good. Um, how about the three of you make me survival checks for those three qualities? We... Oh, no, I don't. I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one. Uh, Got a good roll today. I rolled an eight. An eight? Survival, so that's plus five. So, 19? 12? No, it's eight. Oh, I see. <laughs> an eight. And what was that, Peshmina? 19. 19. So you've definitely got dry and cover uh, after coming looking for a variety <laughs> of um, potential campsites. Um, it's a little bumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the roots and uh, uh, foliage that permeate the forest floor in the Nats Cog make it very difficult to find somewhere that is just easy enough to set flat. things down. You're gonna have some some bumps in your bedrolls for sure uh, when it comes to uh, at least sleeping here. Um, but you find somewhere with a uh, nice, well-latticed, dense tree cover so that it is very much dry. Um, and that same tree cover is provided from a uh, small clump of trees that provide you ample cover. Um, so a, a fairly uh, position that is certainly not exposed to the surroundings. Um, would you like to set up camp here? Yes. All right. Seems good. Good then, enough, yeah. at least. Uh, you do so. Two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so says meatloaf or whatever. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna, it's gonna be a little lumpy, but you know. It is mm -hmm. gonna be a little lumpy. Um, I have an important question for you. So it is pretty pretty warm and muggy in the Nats Cog. Um, would you like to set a fire? No. No? <laughs> Mm, yeah, probably not. Yeah. That seems like a well. It is incredibly moist. I doubt much of much of what around us is actively in danger of catching fire. This much mm. seems mostly true. Yeah. I mean, you definitely get the sense that that is the case. Yeah would probably have a hard time making a fire in the first place. Yeah, Loka as well. You get your passive survival scores. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, we, if we're not in danger of chill, then... It doesn't appear so tonight. Uh, the tent's going to be a little cramped, too, so I imagine that uh, coldness will not be a problem. Oh god, we're all going to be so sweaty. <laughs> I'm probably right. staying outside the tent. All right. So there's at least room for the three of you. Uh, so Zeron, little... are you intending to keep watch tonight as usual? Probably. All right. Can I like hope that there's a log that's like fallen mm -hmm. close by and is oh, gonna yeah. like, take a seat? Easy enough to find uh, some kind of stump and or branch yeah. that you can you can assemble a, a reasonable sit out of. Mm -hmm. Some would like to spend like at least one shift on watch with with Zoran, if, sure. that, if that's okay. Absolutely. They're not going to say no to the company. Right. Um, 
yeah, you settle down for the night, whatever that means for each of you. Um, lay out your bed rules, kind of uh, get cozy for the, the following evening. Um, Hala has found a place in the dirt next to you, Zoran, to kind of like curl up in a semblance of sleep. Um, though hard to tell because no eyelids, no like, eyes, no eyelids. Looks like a, it, it just lays down and stops moving, and it's like, oh, okay, that's just that's just bones. That's, that's just a skeleton. skeleton. It, it does just <laughs> unmoving. Just looks like you, you detect it. The bones of the spine and rib cage move ever so slightly as to imply breathing. Um, oh, but if you weren't paying very close attention, it just looks like a skeleton. It just looks like a skeleton lying on the ground. I think unconsciously, like, they reach down and, like, pet its head. And then it's just like, ooh, that's cold. Weird, and hard. weird texture. Weird. weird texture. I think um, they still try to do it anyway. Paul seems to appreciate it. Unnerved. Um, as soon as you do, uh, you can see Hollow's tail go moving back and forth. Relevant again, yes. too, that this is a, a dire wolf skeleton, so she is quite large. Yeah. Um, pat, pat. I like again. the idea of a tail wagging as just, it's just the bone of the tail slapping the ground. So it's just <laughs> as it hits the forest floor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. You do well enough to spend uh, the evening here. Um, Lok and Pejmina, you get some nice rest. You may all take a long rest if you would like to. Uh, Hassan, when uh, there'll be, let's say, two watches, watch periods, um, being the uh, late night and then the wee hours of the morning. Uh, Hassan, when would you like to join Zoran for watch? I think in the, I would think what would be first watch, dead of night. All right. Then yeah, as Loki and Pejmina settle down in the tent for the evening, uh, Zoran and Hassan, you're left uh, alone in the Natskog for the evening. It is a cacophony of night animal noises. And as the sun has now uh, dimmed to twilight and then to dark, um, you begin to see all of the luminescent insects of the evening fireflies and beetles that glow in the moonlight even some things that appear to um, become reflective to the moon's illumination specifically um, of a variety of colors but mostly in the kind of softer blue spectrum or yellow like the fireflies um, and I would like you both to make perception checks for me for the first watch as you sit out here Ooh, that's pretty good. 13. 13? 22. 22. Um, Zeron, very confidently all clear. Um, Perfect. Nothing in the immediate vicinity, nothing even in kind of the exterior vicinity. The uh, coverage that you've chosen, you've all chosen for your camp here in particular, seems to actually have done very well for you. Um, uh, nothing... Um, there is nothing to surprise you here. Just many little creatures and the sounds of um, nocturnal birds and animals. All right. So, Zeron, Prince. Mm. Uh, <laughs> they just kind of get a little like, Ugh, with that title. <laughs> Last time... The slod. Last time the slod encountered, or the first time you encountered the slod, was the fire still burning? It was, wasn't it? I'm asking this out of character. Um, the the fire of your camp. I assume. Yes. Yeah, because that's that's how you spotted it. Was the reflection in the firelight. And then they will nod. Right, because you lit the torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will I... not do. Oh, gone. There are many frogs that are nocturnal, perhaps. Slots or similar. Um, 
God, do any of us have a torch among them? Have a torch. I do. Me. Oh, wait. Wait, why, wait, why, why would Hassan do that when Hassan can just conjure a torch out of nothing? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have ten. You don't have to waste your creation spell. You have so okay. Many. Okay. Hassan will pull out oh, a... Wait, I also have ten. What the fuck? We have so many. They come in your adventuring packs. Here. We'll Jesus pull Christ. out a torch from your pack. Would you like to perhaps see if we can't find another? Oh, or not find, or, or attract another. Why? <laughs> well, perhaps, I don't know, perhaps uh, on the off chance that our curious friend has, conti has continued monitoring us, or perhaps is looking for us. They seem to be on, they seem to be on, Oddly, they seem to be oddly attracted, attracted to people walking around in their forests. Well, I assume they don't get many visitors. I mean, we are a ways out from fear now. Okay. If we are going to understand any of them, well, well, we know Taxol. Well. Communicate with them. We know Taxel was knew something was going off this lot and went to investigate them. If anybody would know what has happened to them, it might be a slot. It might perhaps be a slot. They know this forest better than us. I didn't know they spoke. Not precisely. A sort of telepathy. And it's my understanding. And while perhaps communication is difficult, but perhaps we may be able to get with a with a bit of magic and perhaps I'll and perhaps and the mushroom that I'm still under the effects of. By the way, you are... Uh, I think they're confused at that alone. I'm, Just, saying there uh, are, I'm saying there are more ways to communicate than language. Much... Okay, um, I think I'm understanding. And by that, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You want to communicate with the sludge... About yeah. Taxel. About Taxel. If they had seen him, he went out looking for them. I see. And you're sure you can communicate with the slud? I can try. You know what? Sure. Sure. Um... Okay. If you are so sure, I have no reason to doubt you. Alright. Hey, Song, in that case, is gonna get out a torch. One of, one of the torches, douse it in a bit of oil. And just light a fire and stick it in the ground. I guess. Try to make it a, like a small little beacon. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess while he's waiting. So, that aside, Penny, for your thoughts outside of the king, outside of your, outside of the desert. Oh, um, uh, of course. What would you? Like to know. Impressions. You are outside of the desert. You right. Are... We are not in a desert in a rainy, closed in, green environment. Um, it's different. 
Well, of course it's different. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's different than I expected, I think would be better wording. Um, and not entirely negatively. There definitely are the charms to being in the area such as this. I suppose the biggest thing, though, I don't know how much of a description, well, how well it's going to write down. It's been a lot that has gone on in recent times, and it's... And I think they trail off. And they just, like, look down at the single torch. And they look kind of down. Unintended. Uh, um, ooh, I can get vibes on your feelings. Is it just like that you're down? Only um, feelings oh, about you. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh... Okay, sorry. Um, in that it's, case. The feelings are the exact same from earlier. It's like friendly, but still like there's a hesitancy. <laughs> hey, son, I'm going to continue pressing. Something is bothering Something is obviously bothering you, though. I'm just kind of like a wry smile. Is there now? Oh, I'd imagine. Imagine. Oh, I imagine it is part of any good. So- it comes with any good story. The the great hero gets finally what gets fi- finally gets what they want. The the cloister the cloistered child finally free from the bounds of home, accepting the call of adventure, goes out and finds more than they bargained for. Did you? so? Have the emotions you changed. More than, <laughs> have you found something? Have you found more than you bargained for? Something more than you wished? The emotions you feel change. There's a slight bit of hurt. Hmm. I apologize if I offended you. Uh, I did not mean to upset. No, you... You didn't. Um... Forgive me, I'm not skipping you. Good content to um, write down. I'm just preoccupied. Not to think about. That's a um, cool looking plant over there and just like point in a direction. <laughs> You happen to know what it is. Just point to like some random fucking fur. (laughs) Uh, As you do so, Zoran, you notice out of the corner of your eye, your frog friend has returned. Not the big ones. Neither of the big ones. A smaller one. It's small. It looks similar to the uh, the one you'd seen in the canopy before. Uh, uh, Oh. Hey, son? It looks like it was trying to hide, but you have definitely spotted it. Uh, 22 nature. What was the plant? <laughs> That's a tree. <laughs> I just pointed um, out to a bush. I don't know. Like, we don't have to um, continue that. Uh, Zoran, <laughs> manag- have to tell me that. Zoran manages to point out one of the uh, native coffee plants. It's a little oh, shrub a co- on, the forest fl- on the floor of the forest. Oh, well, that is a premium find. Hassan stands up for a moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> and just picks the plant up. Uh, 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 it, it, it is it is very heavily rooted. It's like a full shrub. Oh, well, he'll pick a, pick a couple berries. Oh, uh, they're very underripe. Um, oh, damn. Hassan? H- yes? Hassan. Yes? Um, oh. And like just kind of like nods their head in the direction of the little frog friend. Oh. Well, 
next plan, next part of the plan, Faison is going to performance of creation a couple little plates into existence, if that's okay. Yeah. And he'll set out three of them, one in front of... Um... One, one in front of uh, Zoran, one in front of him, and one in front of... Uh, and, well, I guess just one empty one. He's going to put some more food on, and he said, if you want some food, his, and Hassan will start eating, and we'll send a message, and we'll, act, and we'll cast a message on the eyes. Uh, you are free to join us. I need to reread how message works. It's it's telepathic, right? So it, it transcends mm. um, Not language? Necessarily. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Here's the message it can reply and whisper a message. The target on only the target hears the message and can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. Implies language, certainly. Implies. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that that is... I don't think that transcends the language barrier. But your intention okay. is made clear, certainly. Um, okay. You you receive a reply, um, but it is psychological. Um, what you get in return is a scent. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. What does it Weird. smell like? Give me the smell. Um, <laughs> it's it's difficult to describe. It is certainly like honestly to you, it smells like frog. <laughs> it like, it, it, like it frog. is it is a a distinctly amphibian scent, but like the details are lost on you. Um, seeing your display though, and receiving your message. Um, it creeps a little closer, a little closer, and after a little while, finally kind of steps out into the torchlight, and you can get a proper look at it. It is a green figure, um, maybe standing a little taller than most goblins. Um, it's effectively a large humanoid Dart frog. Um, they it has uh, very big, very big eyes, um, and a um, very wide mouth with an, an open jaw that they begin to use. They kind of hold up the plate and like open their mouth, and this big like tongue just like shuck, shuck, um, <laughs> and grabs the food off of the plate, and they seem to be kind of like yeah. munching on that and kind of like looking back and forth between the two of you. They do appear to have just a little bit of gear on them. It's not quite the extent of, like, you all with your pouches and bags and whatnot. They have a vine wrapped around their shoulders, um, at the end of which appears to be um, a, a couple of pieces of wood. Um, one that appears to have been uh, flattened, and another that has been sharpened to a point. Rabbit. <laughs> hey, Son is going to use a third level spell slot to conjure an image of of Taxel. Uh, the frog person looks surprised. Right. Uh, while this is going on, it's... I don't know if this is going to work, but if I cast Comprehend Languages on Hassan... Can you cast it on someone else? You can. Yes. Yeah, you can cast it on whoever you want. You may if you would like to. I'm going to go ahead and do so. All right. Um, yeah. So. Oh, it doesn't say you can. Oh, it doesn't? It says self. It just says you. Ah, it doesn't say a creature. I see. I'm so sorry. Oops. Oh. You may still cast it on yourself if you would like to. Yeah, I'll do that. Um. Turning a spell slot. Let's go. Uh, Zoran. 
This is weird. Because um, it becomes immediately clear to you. So the creature keeps making vocalizations. It'll, right, right. Um, but those don't translate to you. Those are just sounds. <laughs> However, uh, you immediately begin getting a sense of what this frog is thinking by smell. It is a profoundly strange experience for you. What? <laughs> um, it appears that this creature is communicating largely through um, pheromones and casting this magical spell that lets you interpret language has allowed you to largely understand what they are communicating using these pheromones. It's imprecise. The spell was never designed for this. The spell was designed for like, yeah. ah, here's a book that I don't know how to read, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but the magic is doing its best to try to interpret the nuances of what is fundamentally a non-linguistic communication technique. Oh, this um, is so weird. Okay. <laughs> and right now, you like, you're basically getting single word vibes off of mm -hmm. this. The first one just now is um, warm, hungry, safe. Oh, from the from vision the... of Taxel? No, from the frog. Oh, just in general. from the frog. Uh, okay. Surprise. Surprise. Just surprise from Taxel. Okay. Hey, Son is going to try to like sign of like point, point, at, point at the slot pointed taxel tap both of his eyes uh go ahead and make a nature check for me actually uh Hisan. oh god damn i don't have inspiration do i oh wait no i still do have inspiration from last session definitely using that because first one was in that one Slightly better. Oh, whoops. Ignore that roll. Um, uh, that will be a 12. Uh, 12 good enough. Um, having seen them, having been, them been described by Zoran, and maybe some soft studies, this is not a slot. Oh. This is an entirely different frog-related creature. Um... You don't have to hold a 12. I'll go ahead and say, like, from kind of going through your catalog of, like, ah, histories of ecology, and, um, you have a suspicion that this may be a creature called a grung. Oh, yay, grung. I love grung. Grung are really cool. Um... Hmm. It blinks one eye at a time at you. So I'm guessing it's just not quite understanding me. Hmm. So that's the entire response I get, just to confirm. Pointing between the the um, the grung and the uh, illusion of Taxel. Yes. Uh, just confused. Zoran gets confused. Hmm. They don't understand. Um, do you understand what I'm saying to you now? Uh, it's... Confused, but less. Oh, this is going to sound really weird of me. You see, and then do like a very similar like motion, but just kind of like, you know, like the um, hand motion you do for like, I'm watching you with like the two fingers, like from the eyes pointing to like something else. Mm -hmm. Doing that and then pointing to the illusion. And then like cocking their head as in like a, that's a question. Mm. Uh, no. You get a, a strong negative reaction. 
not like negative towards you, just in in the negative. Mm -hmm. Any luck? And they said no. Um, you see or watch us, and then like does a circular motion pointing from like themselves to Hassan. You got an affirmative. This might be different. Why? Uh, you get curiosity again. Curiosity. Um, and looks to Hassan. They haven't seen Taxel. And they've been, I can assume they've been watching us because they're curious. Right. Is there anything else I should tr try communicating? Hmm. If you can, try asking about the others that were with them, if possible, but... I don't even know how to convey. Yes, that's fine now. Um... If... You see... Short Mad Gnome? Uh, cocks their head to the side, confused. Um, 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 oh, I've seen them, and they're gonna minor illusion, like, um, the gnome's face. I'm forgetting his name. Schemo. Schemo, that's it. Like, a small, like, image of Schemo. Um, you get fear. Oh. Fear. And then points them again. Bad man? Fear stronger. He hurt you? Um. Confused. Mm. Uh. God, it's, I'm trying to phrase it, and it's difficult to do so. How to talk to a girl. I'm like, my next question is when, but like, I don't know how to get, like, I don't even know how you would be able to answer that. Very difficult. We can't. Yeah. We probably can't see the moon from here, can we? Not from down here. Damn. Um... He close here. Uh, you get an affirmative. In last day? Um, don't know. Okay. Not quite confusion, it's a little more subtle. Okay, I ignorance. um, yeah. So, I don't think you understood any of that. But well, if you could infer, um, our friend here has seen our missing Talon. Um, fears him. And saw him close by to here. That's troubling. Incredibly. Oh, one more. Um, takes away the minor illusion and puts up another one, but of um, one of the giant frogs. Mm -hmm. But like, obviously it can't be that big because I can't make minor illusion that big. So it's like a mini version. You get anger. Anger? the uh, figure reaches for the, um, like, grabs the sharp stick. No, no, fake, fake, and, like, they, uh, Zeron is going to, like, move their hands through to show that it's just an illusion. They uh, kind of release their grip on it. 
Uh, it looked like um, less from body language you get that they looked like they were grabbing for it um, to defend themselves, not to attack the illusion. Mm -hmm. Um... Act strange points to the illusion. Could you repeat that? Uh, points to the illusion. Act strangely. Um. The anger coalesces into something a little bit more nuanced and you get resentment. Resentment? I think Saran's just confused now. <laughs> I don't think they know what to make with that. Hungry, eat some more ration. Yeah. <laughs> so conflict, but there's been conflict between them? I don't know. It's... I'm trying my best to translate as best as I can, because it is so very difficult it is a, a sensation unlike anything you have ever experienced <sighs> like you effectively uh gave yourself the thing where you can like smell colors yeah <laughs> pretty much oh that actually is a good question <laughs> shrimp colors but shrimp smells mm -hmm. yeah um, I think through, like, their bite, uh, their eating, uh, they point to the, uh, slot, uh, illusion once again. Are you kin? Confusion. Not friend? Complicated. Not friend anymore? Complicated. <laughs> uh, and they just have, like, fingers to the bridge of their nose. Okay. Um... You get not me. Mm. And they're gonna relay everything that Basically, every time they get a response, they relay this to Hazan. So, so wait, the question. So the response. So the response, not me, was to the question. A hate or something? What was it? Uh, not friends anymore. It was okay. complicated, and then not me. Sorry, just typing things. Okay. Are we friend? Yes. <laughs> we are friend? Okay, that, well, that's, that's getting good. somewhere. Yeah, so at least we don't have predators on us. <sighs> no, hey, song. Uh, wait, no, it's a wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, me. Yes, hey, song. I'm the hey, song. Um, could you conjure an image of the of the of the Ico of the Icar, the, necro the necrotic Icar. Oh, um, okay. And they will make it's like a floating image, basically, kind of like a hologram yeah, in a way. <laughs> absolutely. Um, of like a bottle of spilled Icar. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, he's almost 
simply tell them to watch out for it and to avoid it. Do they understand it when Hayson says it? Not really. <laughs> Talk their head to the side, confused. Um, affirmative. Um, tired. Can you sleep here? Um, home. Home close? Complicated. <laughs> home everywhere. <laughs> home that's called. We see you again. Permanent. Frog friend. Oh, I um points herself. Zaran points to Hasan. Hasan points to Frog friend. Frog. <laughs> Yes, why I expected anything different. <laughs> Frog. <laughs> yes. Uh, Frog. <laughs> like a Yoshi saying Yoshi. <laughs> I, th I think Zaran just starts laughing. <laughs> Frog. <laughs> Frog. <laughs> nice to meet you, Frog. Oh, well, that's creative. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> Smacks Hassan's arm. <laughs> Good night, friend. Happy. Happy. <laughs> they do a big leap away back into the dark wood. I love this frog. I love fun? frog. frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not this frog, it's just frog. Yeah. Their name is Frog. Yeah. Look, you try communicating through smells. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's I, difficult. I think Zaran just sits back down the log and they just start laughing again. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is absurd. Oh, I wish I could meet Frog. Yeah. Sorry I did this in the middle of the night when everybody was asleep. <laughs> no, it's great. Get to meet Frog later, maybe. Oh, I'm... Well, I assume when we meet Frog again, I'll be tasked with translating again. Yes, you will. Although, <laughs> I'll see if I can. I should really learn learn how to do that at some point. It would be so much more helpful. The more the merrier, I suppose. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No worries. Did you have your any, did you have any pets perchance? Ever? No. Never. Oh, it's you seem really very have... adept. He looks down at the looks down at the um skeletal dog the big old the big old skelly dog who's kind of comfortable with it, who's very comfy up against mm -hmm. Zeron and says Could have fooled me. <laughs> and Hey, Sam, we'll say good night to you, and again, ever need to talk about, ever want to talk about what's obviously bothering you, always here. Noted. Good night, Hey, Sam. Good night. Right. Can I get one more perception check from you, Zoran? Absolutely. Ooh, uh, 18. 18? Wait, I think it is. Yes, that's math. <laughs> 18. The rest of the night passes very calmly. You don't see any more uh, individuals. You don't see Frog again. <laughs> but as the moon is starting to set and you can just start to see some sunbeams coming up, you spot one last thing out of the corner of your eye. You think you see a little fox deep in the wood. A little fennec fox watching you from deep behind the brushes 
And as soon as you spot it effectively enough to look directly at it, it's gone. A fennec? Fennec. Oh, I think that really unnerves them. Okay. Well, regardless, when everyone starts waking, Zoram would have started a teeny little campfire. Absolutely. One and is heating up some food for everyone out of the rations that they have. Sounds good. Um, can we take a quick 15 minute break and then we can come back in the morning? Yes. All right. All right. Um, I have one question for you yeah. before you leave. Mm -hmm. Would the casting of Comprehend Languages count against my long rest? I, I am going to say because you did, both of you spent your spells at the beginning of the long rest, you will regain them over the course of the rest of the night. So both of you will still benefit from having done a long rest. Okay. Yay. I appreciate that because I was just like, I have two slots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, also take a quick nap. Yeah. Also, you get your spells back on a short rest. So. Very true. Very true. All right. Uh, yeah, back dude. in 15. All right. Yeah. I must have another red down. <laughs> That's what that one fucking commercial about the, like, snapped Cheez-Its, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're stuck in an office and they all start fucking mauling each other. Honestly, I think my favorite uh, strangely violent food advertisements were the cannibalistic cinnamon toast crunch squares. Mm. Um, where they would constantly oh, murder and each other. each other. Yeah. Pop-Tarts did it too, but in a way that was like sensual and uncomfortable. <laughs> Pop-Tarts marketing was weirdly horny for a while. I mean, like, good for them, right? But also, <laughs> come on. Uh, you, you know what was horny? You know what was horny? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They all wanted to eat each other. They were all into that. It's less shit. horny and more feral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. sometimes horny can be feral. Is feral. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a very, there's a very fine line between the two. And it's very easy to... Or a very vague line. I mean, when people say they go at it, you know. You communicating in Morse code? <laughs> All right. It's morning. Zoran is making food for everyone. Zoran, what are you making? What rations are you, are you cooking up today? I don't even know what comes in rations. I'm going to be... You get to decide. It can be literally anything. Did we... I'm sorry. How much of that did we get on the recording? Oh, <laughs> uh, like the last, like, four minutes. Great, awesome. That's most of it. I think, like, to the end of when someone described, uh, I think, I think right before the we started with Cheez Its. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, I will sorry not be editing. Comrade that. Moist specifically. Yeah, the apolo one person I know for a fact. Apologies <laughs> to, to Comrade Moist, our our biggest fan and greatest supporter. <laughs> Truly, <laughs> truly a bro. Appreciate you. We are so sorry. <laughs> we love and appreciate you. I'm sorry. None of our other viewers, though. Just you specifically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else can suck it. No, we love you too. Be a dick, all of you. <laughs> I love that. Oh God. I love that. Um, this is how you know this is not an entertainment product. This isn't for <laughs> you. This is for us. <laughs> Yeah, we, we always have to remember that. Our marketing strategy, be user hostile. Yeah. yeah. Make sure nobody is watching us. If somebody starts watching us, we bully them until they fucking stop. Become ungovernable. <laughs> if anyone is watching, we do genuinely love you, but also, this isn't for you. I'm glad you're also enjoying this. All right. Jordan, what are you I'm cooking? Making... The sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> Perfect. Just hard, hard tack but breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's <laughs> not the most appealing, but it is. There is some substance to it. 
Yeah, I figure the the bread should be the crunchiest part of the sandwich, not the pseudo meat inside of it. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. It's not the best breakfast in the world, but for what we have, it is serviceable. Faison just stuffs it in his beak and it goes. <laughs> not even gonna <laughs> chew this time, huh? <laughs> just, just, not, not a peck. Just all at once. Okay. You can play at that game. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm glad people mm. like it. I suppose. Hey, everything is better when you don't have to actually taste it. You know. Uh. <laughs> Catch me to just politely nibble. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Is it really I'm that just... bad? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know, I didn't eat it. I mean, I <laughs> ate it, but I didn't taste it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You've certainly elevated it beyond its ingredients. Which is honestly saying something for rations. <laughs> Let us sit quietly. And actually not quietly, mostly quietly, and just nibble on it. Um... Hey, son, I had a question for you. Oh, yes. Would it be about frog? Uh, no, it's just not about frog, actually. Singular? The <laughs> frog? Oh, ah. um... So, remember the, um, creature we saw yesterday? The one that was spying us from the treetops? Mm, mm-hmm. Um... So they came back. Yes, we had some dinner with them. It was very nice. Oh. So they're friendly? In a sense, yes. They didn't attack us, which is very nice. Um, their name is Frog. From what I was able to glean. Hmm. <laughs> Just Frog. I don't know how to describe it. It just... They said frog. Or they... Um, it was They didn't say it. They kind of... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Smelled it? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh... I'm sorry. This sounds so weird. But please believe me when I say it. Well, I... I believe you, I suppose. I guess I'm also just not sure what you mean. Yeah. So, they smelled like frog? I mean, I imagine so. Um, it's... Mm. <laughs> so, I have this one spell ability. Yes, I've used it around everyone before. Um, it's a spell that I'm able to understand um, other languages, ways of communicating. Okay. Um, I used it last night to try and communicate with Frog. Um, they could understand what I was saying in very basic phrases, but they couldn't speak. It's... Uh, it was basically, I understood them by the, I, the vibe that they were giving. Okay, I, I, I think I understand a little better. I don't know. I want to think back and see if I've ever heard of anything like that. Yeah, um, go ahead and roll me survival. Or nature. Let's do survival. Always. 21. 21's very good. Yeah, so you, um, by description and just kind of like thinking about this in creature in general, I think you also come up with like, oh, that probably wasn't a slod. You, Because you know that slod do have a rudimentary form of speech. Um, That was probably a grung, which is a different species of weird little frog creature. Um, and kind of like uh, of, of some varieties of frog creatures. Um, a lot of them don't, almost like insects, don't necessarily communicate through sound waves, but rather through scents. 
So, in some weird way, yeah, like... You think this spell was somehow able to allow Zoran to, like, tap into an axis of communication beyond language, <laughs> effectively. Wow. All things considered, that's a pretty powerful spell, because, uh... If they couldn't use spoken language. Also, uh, definitely not a slot then if it couldn't speak. They were. He was smaller than the other frogs that we've seen in the area, so I didn't know if it was distant relation or not. I, I had asked <laughs> him if the slot were kin and. Complicated. It's, it's complicated, but assume no, not one of them. Would I know if there's any kind of more like general relationship between Slot and Grung? Um, twenty-one survival. We'll let that stand. Um, not biologically. They they are not okay. associated. They are a, a, a parallel. So it's not like they're okay. They're not um. As far as you are aware, like like zoologically, um, these creatures are, are yeah they are them. not connected by blood. Hmm. No, they wouldn't be related. But maybe there is something. Maybe something political, or or social going on. Maybe the, maybe the small frogs just don't like the big frogs? No idea. Well, whatever the case may be, we ask Strange for machinations a... of <laughs> frog folk <laughs> of the Nets Cog. Well, we ask them about Taxel. Nothing mm. there. Nothing. And nothing to be seen there. We asked them about the Talon, and he is Schemo. Schemo is still here, and quote unquote close by. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, but let's not talk about wearing things wrong. You had a question. Uh, y yes. Um. I had another question about the wildlife in the area. Yes, shoot away, fire away. Would it be common for creatures from neighboring regions to be in a place like this? Not unless they got lost. Creatures have a t non migratory creature, unless the it is a migratory creature. They t animals will tend to stay in the environment for which they are best for which they are best suited or used to. They don't. Um, I doubt most would actively go out searching for a habitat that they couldn't they couldn't hunt in or did not know the food of. Why do you ask? Um, follow-up question, then. Is there a species of fox that lives in the Natskog? No, not at all. Phoenix are native to the desert. If one, w if one was in here, they would have gotten- they would have had to have gotten very, very lost. Did you see a fennec? Oh no, what if it was one of Ruli's? And they smile. No, nothing. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Paula uh, does like a big stretch <laughs> and mimes a yawn um, and kind of like seems to get herself in order a little bit and then like circles the lot of you a couple times and then like kind of points in a direction like ready to go uh, I 
I guess so. Okay, puppy two, lead the way. <laughs> and Hollis sits Big out. puppy. Big bone puppy. <laughs> um, you continue through the woods. Um, traveling through the morning light, um, you don't see any other life. The mist is getting steadily denser again. Um, you travel, walk for maybe a few more hours. Let's say like three at a, a, a normal to maybe a little bit slower pace. Um, and then you see far ahead of you, maybe in the distance, a clearing. Uh, much larger than any of the smaller clearings you've passed before. And just through the vine work, you start to see masonry and what looks like overgrown stonework. We're going to switch boards. Ooh. New board. New board. New boards. Wink. Yellow. Whoa. Oh, oh! Okay, I right, right click to move wall. around because it, <laughs> it starts ah. you facing in a weird direction. <laughs> yes, it sure <laughs> does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> facing the void. <laughs> Funny. I'll slap your minis down. Ooh, I need to okay, see. this wow. is really fucking cool. Bink. Hell yeah. Bink. Hell yeah. A freaking ton of teeth. Bink. And Bink. like this little. You find yourselves at the large end of a clearing. You see a smaller construction of stonework directly in front of you, um, with a few of what appears to be statues, maybe pedestals and pillars, very heavily overgrown by the surrounding jungle. And then beyond that, you see a much, much larger structure. Um, both of these appear to be in an architectural style very similar to the forum um, that you met Atco in. Um, very similar use of stone, similar carvings, um, similar just kind of sense of structure and style. Um, but yeah, you uh, uh, may approach uh, the stonework, and I would like to know what you do. Oh, and let me throw down a direwolf for you. A beast. Simply know that it is a skeleton. <laughs> you can imagine. Uh, Holly gets to this opening with you and looks up at the top of um, that temple and kind of at this little clearing and kind of like looks around the clearing and then like turns around and looks up at all of you and sits down. Hmm. Uh, I guess that's the signal that uh we've uh, we've arrived. Likely, I think Hasan and I have the same idea of like, what is this thing? Yeah. You kind of take a peek around. It looks to be um, like some sort of little shrine construction. Ambient swamp. Give me that ambient volume. There we go. Apply to game board. Um, it's a... Um, yeah, it looks like it may have some amount of religious significance or otherwise. Um, it appears associated with the larger structure but it's a little harder to tell there are these uh, pillars growing up from it um, upon which are these huge overgrown vines but it looks like from what you can tell here the vines were not um, an invasion but looks like they were initially planted up there and just have since become um, vastly unkempt with uh, the duration of time effectively So, is there any symbol? So, I'm guessing most of everything is overgrown at this point. The most diet of and it, everything. But uh, go ahead and make an investigation check if you'd like to. Thank you. 
Uh, that's going to be there. Still not rolling that hot. That's just going to be a, a 12. Oh. 12 is good enough insofar as you um, take a look. You just kind of like run your hand across the surface of one of these pillars and immediately find grooves in it and pulling away some of the vines you see a series of engravings on these pillars just like you saw um, at the forum with Atco. However, uh, upon pulling enough vines back to actually read them, uh, these are in Draconic. So I can read them! You can. Uh, you don't need to roll anything to read them. You can just read them. Um, and looking around at them, they are in the same style. So whereas at the um, forum there were it was virtues such as like communication collaboration leadership etc here it is um, stewardship wholeness nature uh, uh, communion uh, it is a different set of values All right, so not necessarily, it's not necessarily a dichotomy as much as, they're not opposed, though. They are not opposed. It is simply different. It, many of the virtues here um, seem to signal a connection or fondness for nature, specifically, for, of, for the wood. While this is happening, can I be looking for <laughs> uh, lizard folk tracks or gnomish tracks? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and give... That's survival. We're getting a lot of use out of survival today. Yes. Yes. I mean, you're you're on an it's... adventure through the woods tracking someone. I cannot think of a better situation for survival. Beep. Let's see what happens. Nope. I That was a five. It's up to a ten. A, a ten total, yeah. Um... You can see that there are tracks. Um, they're relatively fresh. Uh, hard to tell it how recent, but you can definitely tell that this is a location that has been traveled in the last few days, at least. Um, unfortunately, the past couple days' rains seem to have actually washed out a lot of these tracks to make them significantly harder to read. Yeah. Combined mm. with, you know... the general muddy nature of the jungle. Mm. Um, yeah. Paula has taken two followings around around. <laughs> I, th I think even though where they are, I think they like find a stick and are playing fetch with them. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, can you, Ow. You give me Ow. An can you give me an animal handling check? I can. It's not going to Just for fun. Just for fun. <laughs> I rolled a nat 10 on the die. So that's a dirty Oh my 20. god. I'm no. not joking. It's a good time. Uh, yeah, you find a very uh, sufficient bone. This is your new best friend. Um, this is yeah, Paula, Paula seems intrigued. Although, I think with an animal handling, you actually tell can tell from body language that despite the fact that Hall is having a very good time playing fetch with you, um, they are anxious. They keep um, every time they catch a stick and give it back to you, they sit down and, like, look at the temple. I think... I think Zeran, like, kind of, like, kneels down and, like, with a hand on the top of their skilly bone head. Just kind of, like, pat it. We're going to find them, okay? I promise. They nod. We'll find them soon. Just hang in there till then, okay? <clears throat> they go and throw the they stick run, again. They run out to catch the stick again. <laughs> they cannot help themselves. <laughs> you know, some things just never die. <laughs> You're good up there. Throws the stick again. 
Oh, yes, just fine, thank you. Just recording these runes down. Apologies. Just in George Conic this time so I can actually read it. Do we need to do this now? We can uh, come back. I, uh, yes, of course, well, I do. Or else I'm going to forget. Well, no, nah, all done. Forget. Those are two words I've never heard in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. I tend look. I tend to get distracted. Tend to get distracted by things, and we have this very uncanny. There's this very uncanny situation where every time we go to, we never spend seem to spend much time in any of these ancient places we go to, and on one out of two times we have run out of the. Uh, we have run out of the place of knowledge for our lives. I want to get everything down while I still can. Well, that's only a 50-50 chance. Still not a chance I'm taking. Very well. No, well, there, you there, I got I am going to scout the outside of the temple, I think. And they're going to get a little closer. Absolutely. Are you safe enough to leave alone? The sun? Oh, yes, I'll be fine right here. Thank okay. you. Unless you want to help me. No, I don't, uh... I don't even speak common that good, so I, I don't know what this all is, and I'm not about to try and find out. You know what I mean? I mean, it's written to call it It's written in dragon language. You're... Woka does turn back around. He pauses. <laughs> What's it say? Oh, general mantras. Uh, stewardship. Fullness. Communion. Something, regard for nature. Like, a cl like your cloud. Clearly no, I residents. thought it was going to be something interesting. Sorry. Oh. Well, I appear someone doesn't appreciate appreciate that. Well, apparently, somebody's only interested into the sex of dragon and not the history. Uh, Loka, go ahead and make me a nature check with disadvantage. Okay. Also, sorry, does Eli sound a little bit strange to anyone else, or is it just me? Yes. It's a little robotic. Yeah. Okay. You're a little crackly. I, I just I wanted to make sure that <laughs> you were aware that your voice was a little strange uh 10 okay okay thank you 10 yeah 10 uh good to know um at the suggestion um and particularly at the refusal of knowledge particularly associated with these connections to the place around you um, you see your storm cloud crackle a little bit and it appears to almost thin it doesn't get smaller it's still indicative of um, kind of your tone your thought um, but it seems to almost become more opaque more like the mist around you and you feel like there is an opportunity lost Interesting. Zoran, you said you would like to investigate the outside. Uh, are they you are. investigating the temple itself, or are you just kind of searching all around? Uh, investigation for kind of looking at the the temple bits. Um, uh, I think perception, if you're just kind of like trying to yeah. get a sense of the place. It's they're definitely <clears throat> interested, like what this place was, but. They know what they're there for, and they just made a promise to uh, their new friend, so. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. What is going to be that's an eight. By you. An eight? Um, yeah, it, it's a fairly, like, you can tell from here, certainly, um, that, like, this place looks very overgrown, very unkempt. It seems like... Um, this place has been grown over for maybe 
centuries. Um, it's pretty dense and hard to make out. It, hard to, like, get a sense for the place as a whole without getting much closer. Though you can see what is now a, a much clearer path up to what looks like the, the temple proper. You can see something akin to an entrance at the top. Um, via Stunning Stone, they're going to call out. I'm going to go a little further in. Okay, I'm coming to you. Yep, not I'll far wait. behind. I'll wait for you. And they will patiently wait for Loka. Where is Zaron? Oh, there he is. There they are. Well, shall we? Uh, no point in delaying, I suppose. Um, I do. For his son, or... uh... oh, oh, great. Hey, some. Hey, some. Rejoin the others. As soon as he's done writing down. He realizes he's diagram. all alone in a strange place. Like, oh. Hmm. There you are. Wonderful. We're all here. Got everything that you needed, Hassan? Yes, I recorded everything I could. Wonderful. Is everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I do. I want to keep an eye out for any signs of life. Anything broken, scratched, footprints still. Absolutely. Um... If you're continuing on the kind of tracking path, go ahead and give me survival. Mm. If you're trying to keep your wits about you, go ahead and give me perception. Hmm. Uh, I would like to roll perception, I think, for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Oh, um, are you also proceeding to ascend? Shit. I am. All right. I believe Hassan is as well. I rolled a nat one, so oh, I crap. don't see shit. <laughs> I rolled a 15 um, on survival. All right. Does my roll still count here? My yes. Eight? I'm assuming that's it fine. Does. That's okay. Um, what do you think that one means, Loka? <laughs> I mean, I'm I, to be really honest with you, I'm confused um, as to what it is that I have potentially missed out on. I think Loka would understand that better than I would at this moment. So I think maybe it's a him trying to understand the feeling or um, something along that line. Yeah, for sure. It, it is, it's confusing. It, it is because it's not a an intuitive thing. You get the vague sense that it's probably associated with your magical expressions, the kinds of things that you have already accomplished using your um, path, like something to do with the Storm Herald in connection to this place, like something to do with, as per talking with Fing, like your connection to yourself and the world. Um, but like, Pinpointing what that, like, that's so vague. Like, pinpointing what that means just is very distracting. Yeah. Um, as you ascend, uh, you may make it around here. Um, when you hear a noise from up on top of the temple. Uh, a noise that is recognizable to a point uh, by Zoran and Hassan, a very deep <laughs> I don't know if your mic can fully pick oh, that up. Oh, is it not? Here, let me turn I my don't, I don't think so. I the very tail end. I, guess, I feel I like I just listened to you burp. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I could barely hear it just because I'm here. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. go. Looks to source. 
Hard to tell. You can't really see into the entrance from down where you are currently. I didn't get anything from that 15 survival check again. You get more prints and more specific <laughs> tracks. Okay. Not down where you were, but here on the um, steps as you are ascending, you see distinctly uh, big, heavy, webbed footprints. Um, oh. But relevantly, they are not walking. You see them every roughly 20 feet. Oh. Something. Oh, they're hopping. Yeah, with a large footprint. Uh, jumped its way up. Oh, that's a pretty big jump. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this stays near Loka. <laughs> yeah. We should keep our guards about guard up then. Definitely. Loka, would you like to go first? Um so, sure, yeah, no, this seems really safe. And everything <laughs> seems great. And fine, oh. and okay. I'll be right a few feet behind you. I was gonna say it's Saran's gonna be right next to Loka on their side. It'll be okay. We're right here with you. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, uh, that yes, how like, <laughs> Loka is feeling too. <laughs> just, uh... All right. Okay. Well. As you break the Are upper we... surface and can peer into this little oh. enclosure oh. entrance, um, <laughs> you see the large silhouette of a wide frog-like figure. They appear oh. to be draped in armor, scraps of armor, um, scraps of armor that look disparately assembled and they you can't tell if it's mud or blood uh. um and as you crest the um the top of the stairs uh they whip around to look at you oh. um and point what looks like a large pole arm in yeah. your direction and give out a, <laughs> they give out a, a distinctly threatening croak. Uh. Uh, cousin, you don't remember me, do you? We, I mean, we they met a long time ago. They stomp the polearm on the stonework and jab it towards you again. I, I gesturing back down the it. stairs. Uh. Okay, you little bastard, if that's how it's gonna be! <laughs> All right, I would like you to roll. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Okay. Fourteen. <laughs> Jeez. Do we all have to roll? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy! Thanks, Loka. Sixteen. You're Look, fucking it, kidding me. It was only ever gonna uh, go down that way. <laughs> three. Three. Hasan was not accept expect. Yes, three. Hassan was not expecting this level of, um, shenanigans. 16? Yeah, please throw them in text for voice. Oh, sure. I think. I am lagging like heck. I think my internet's just not working out. Yeah, I was wondering, because your sound keeps going kind of, like, almost fuzzy, like, crackly, almost. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. Yeah. I mean, you still got a 9, though. <laughs> I was about to say, I think Patrick says, I think that's a slot. <laughs> <laughs> Meager frog. <laughs> question mark, question mark. Not question, mark. question marks. What? Oh. Okay. Oh no. They're gonna I'm go first. You turn off the stream. 
Oh, yeah, I'm gonna look away. Uh, pink. Stop watching. Oh, this was... <sighs> Wonderful. Good job, Loka. Great communication. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do I add you mm. to... Why are you not getting added to... Mm -hmm. There we go. Trina, then Loka, then Zoran, then Hassan. Oh, and the champion is going before Hassan. All right. Um. So the. Uh, large slod uh, having threatened you releases a particularly loud croak um, uh, as well as gesturing toward you specifically Loka and gives a uh, sounds like a command and you hear rustling from the trees around you um. <laughs> hi uh I'm glad I read folks' character sheets because I found out that alert uh, means that they will not have advantage on any attacks on you because they were previously hidden. Correct. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, you see as a small cadre of uh, individual looks like grung uh the those frogs as described but rather than being a deep green like the one you've seen before they are a bright red um having hidden themselves among the branches of the trees um and those who are able to both hear the command and see you uh are Ooh. going to be attacking you loka that's a lot of darts that's a lot of darts <laughs> It's fine. Probably. Alright. Um, You're not raging either. <laughs> you know... Not yet. <laughs> that's fine. Alright. Uh, so that's going to be four attacks at you, Loka. I believe this one does not have line of sight. No, they do not. Um, oh, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> I think this one's out of range. Oh, wait, let me zoom the fuck out. Yeah, oh they're definitely God. out of range. I didn't even see that one! <laughs> well, they'll have disadvantage, at least. Um, so, let's start with the four attacks against Loka. Bunch of little they do not have advantage. They're all hitting Loka, yeah? Uh, oh, these four. Is Hala? Uh, what is your combat? AC currently? Uh, Hala uh, has not acted yet, but also does not have an initiative order. Uh, I believe my AC is 16. 16, okay. Indeed. That one is a miss. Uh, that is exactly a 16. So that means I'm fine. So we're looking at... Okay. No, uh, meter beat oh. when it comes to attacks. Shit. Tie goes to the roller. So 1d6. That's gone forever. Uh, 3 <laughs> plus 3 into the <laughs> is... So that is 6 piercing damage. And I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. You're gonna get poisoned. Oh no. Um, That's not good. good constitution plus six. Oh, please don't Four. fall asleep. 14 constitution? 14 will save. Okay, and it was how much damage? Um, Six piercing to start with. Six, okay. And then next two attacks. I'm fine. That is, is fine. a 20. I'm fine. So that is <laughs> seven piercing damage, and I'd like you to make a constitution saving throw. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll roll the next attack in the meantime. Nat 20. Nat 20? Yep, you say oh, fine. Oh, shit. And that is a 14, so that will miss. That will miss. Uh, as you feel, uh, you oh, see look, damn. several uh, almost imperceptible darts. Um, fly out from the pipes that these flogs, these flogs, these frogs are bearing. Um, two managed to stick into you, and you feel that they're 
Um, it burns almost a little bit as they stick into you, and they appear to be coated with something. Um, but you don't seem to care very much about that in general. No. Um, the one in the back here is going to shoot at whoever's furthest behind, which will be Pejmina. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, um, just for future uh, reference, uh, if I'm being uh, paralyzed, poisoned, stunned, or put to sleep, I do get advantage on those checks. Yes. Uh, relevantly, oh. that is against the poisoned condition, um, not against taking poison damage. Ah. Um, I see. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. And um, that's what the... Is that what the um, save was for? Correct. No? Um, okay. I believe you will still get... You, you don't get resistance to the damage, but I do still... I think you still get advantage on the save. Yes, um, that's that's yeah. what I'm trying to... Uh, uh, what yeah, yeah. was that roll? Logbook. 11. Plus 5 is 16. Pesci, your AC My is also 16. My armor is 16, yep. Excellent. Um... So uh, that will be 1d6 plus 3 piercing damage. Uh, would you like to attempt to deflect? Oh. So that is Hold 5 on. piercing damage coming your way. Let me... Uh, I will let you know, because these are needles, if you would like to catch them, you will still need to make the con save against the poison damage. Mm. Oh, and I'm sorry, this frog was hidden, so it has advantage against you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so we'll see if it gets a net 20. It does not. Okay. Uh, I do want to deflect missiles. Because uh, that is just a reaction. Mm -hmm. So I do... So you try and reduce it to zero. It is currently uh, coming at you for five, which I believe you should... That shouldn't be a problem. Reduced by 1d10 plus 10. Uh, yeah, then you automatically catch it if you would like. Okay, to. that's that's what I thought. Uh, so yeah, I do catch it, but then I need right. to make a. I'd like con you to make a con save. save. Yeah. All right. I beg. That was a twelve. Twelve. Twelve exactly beats it. <laughs> so you manage to literally <laughs> catch a needle and then drop it before it becomes a, a threat. Um, and Ooh, do not let those hit. Do not lastly, let those hit. I believe that's ah. not line of sight. That is line of sight. Um, so it's going to be at long range, so they have disadvantage, but they were hidden, so they have advantage, so it cancels out. Uh, hey, on your AC is ten. Yes. All right, so that is a sixteen. That'll hit. God, fucking. We're looking <laughs> at a seven piercing damage, and I'd like you to make the DC a DC twelve con save. That is a 10. Oh, 10 no. will fail. We'll take 2d4 poison damage. That is an additional 6 points of poison damage. 6 Ouch. plus what? 6. Uh, you've taken its... Uh, uh, let me check my Total of damage. Uh, total of 11 damage. Uh, oh, okay. 4 plus 3 and then 6 poison damage flat. Uh, and after doing so, some of these frogs are going to jump. This frog is going to jump here. This frog is going to jump here. Give me, give me your, let me grab you. This frog is going to jump here. Um, and this frog is simply going to jump down. All right, Pashmina, you're up. All right. Um. I'll say, uh, I'll leave the big one to you, and I'm going to go after this little guy back here, uh, 
me see. Uh, do, <laughs> do we have any rules about like climbing the trees? Yeah, so climbing, I believe, effectively counts as difficult terrain. Um, so every, okay. uh, you, you have to spend double vertically, effectively. Mm, um, okay. I'm not so sure that that is the case, but I'm fairly certain that it is. I'll get at least, so like, five, ten, Although, fifteen, twenty. Although, could I mean, arguably jump to the top from this elevation? Uh, so, relevantly, Pejmina, uh, or, um, not Pejmina. Uh, yeah, so long jump and high jump, you could if you wanted to try. Um, both are based on strength. Um, no. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you nah. long jump, you can uh, can long jump uh, up to your strength score, uh, which would be 10. So you could jump 10 feet if you move 10 feet beforehand. Um, and you can jump vertically if you move 10 feet up to 3 plus your strength mod. So 3 feet. Um, so Pejmina can high jump three feet and long jump ten feet uh, if she's got enough run up. Mm. Probably better to just. I have a lot of movement. I, I I can probably get up this. I think. Yeah, I I don't think you'll have a problem. So I'm with at that. twenty now, so like twenty five. Thirty. Ooh. Remaining fifteen to climb up. Oh, maybe? I think if you climb from... If I was, like, back here? Yeah, if you climb from there, rather, like, instead of using the cube movement, then you, I think you mm -hmm. can get there. It does get a little weird with the tree. I think that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. And you would like to attack? Yeah. Uh, um. Being this close to it, you can tell they have a knife fashioned from bone across their back. Um, and they also okay. appear to have a bit of, um, this one in particular seems to have a almost like shimmering wood-like effect on the exterior of their skin. They, they seem to have something a little odd going on, uh, with their, their surface. Shimmering wood-like effect. Hard to describe. Hmm. Um... That's really interesting. Okay. Uh, my goal right now is actually to push it out of the tree. <laughs> yeah, if you'd like to. Mm. If you'd like to make oh. a shove. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be uh, athletics opposed by either athletics or um, mm. acrobatics. So I'm rolling athletics. Yes. Either way, okay. If you'd like to shove it out of the tree. I would like to try. That um, was only a 12. Uh, all right. Let's see how they do. Quars. Yeah. It Ooh, is a nope. natural 20. Shit. Uh -oh. uh, and you have touched them, so I'd like you to make a DC 12 con save. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, I rolled a three. All right. Yeet. That is five points of poison damage. Ouch. Uh, okay, don't touch them, don't touch them. <laughs> um, and as you try to grab them too, uh, when you feel the surface of their skin, there's certainly a little bit of frog slime going on there. Um, it's what seems to like absorb into your skin and gives you a bit of a burning sensation. Um, but the texture of their skin almost felt like tree bark. Hmm. Weird. Okay. All right, Loka, you're up. All right. Um, this guy up front didn't do anything, did he? His, his, his turn's in a couple turn turns. He's got a couple turns hmm. yet. All right. Um, well, it's not like I can really reach the other ones, so, uh... Loka is going to enter a rage. Rah! Um, so as you sent, enter your rage, uh, you notice your storm cloud has uh, a an odd effect this time. 
Um, whenever you roll your die for uh, lightning damage on a bonus attack, you're going to have disadvantage on the die. Uh, I'm sorry? Say your storm cloud is no longer cooperating with you. Um, oh, the, no. uh, when you, you can still spend your bonus action to zap a target, um, and uh, if they fail to save, you'll just have to roll the die twice and take the worst result. Oh, I see. Okay. Confusion, but okay. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm just going for this guy. Bug him. Right? Uh, they brace. He looks uh, up for the challenge, looking oh. down at you and giving this, like, very wide frog smile. Little fish Dang. against big frog. Um. Oh, there it is. I'm fucking clicking everything aside from what I'm trying to find. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Loka has two attacks, so I'm gonna I'm do them. Go for it. First one. 9 plus 8, 17. 17 will hit. 17 will hit. Alright, it's gonna be 1d8 plus 5. Where's my d8? There you are. Hello, d8. That is an 8 on the die plus 5. It's gonna be 13 damage. Alright, they take 13 damage. Um, and then they have to make a dex save. Let me find out what it is. DC 14 dex save. DC 14 dex save. That's a seven, so no. That is a fail, so they're gonna have to take full damage on, and disadvantage on the attack. That's gonna be one extra damage. Take one extra damage. Um, and then I get a second attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Go for it. Um, that is probably not gonna hit, but I also had to stop my die from falling off the table. Uh, six plus eight, 14 to hit? Uh, 14 will not hit. Uh, I uh, didn't think it so. Clangs off of the side of the makeshift armor and frog kind of. <laughs> 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 Yuck it up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what. What are you doing? Yuck it up, buddy. We'll be, um, we'll be yucking soon. <laughs> uh, I believe that is all I can do with Luca this turn. So. All right, Zoran. Ah. Okay. Um. First thing they want to do is they're going to look at all the grungs that they see. They're going to see if they recognize frog among them. You do not. These are all red grung. These are all different grung. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Um, they're red. The grung you saw we're, was we're, green. We're, we're, okay. They're red, bad, green. <laughs> it's, I didn't know if like the color was just because it's... That's what Tailspire had. That's why I wanted to ask That's the frog. No, but them. good to know. Yeah, uh, they, there are and there are various shades of red. There, there is a, an amount of variety within this, but uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going by RTS you, rules. The you red do not see frog. The villains. Okay, I think the first thing is they're going to go in and like defend Hassan and just kind of like circle around them. Sure. To like just playing de like defense for Hassan. Yeah. Because they have a lower AC. <laughs> um, so trying to... Where where would you like to position yourself for that? I'm trying to think, like, where... I'm engaging the, the one behind. Yeah. So, so it's... I know there's the one over here. Mm -hmm. And... I, please, here. please, stop. Stop. <laughs> release. Uh, there we go. Right release. And the one over there. Yeah, I couldn't... There's one back here. Yeah, that one There's and one the other way one. way at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, I didn't even see the one down. Yeah, way down there. Way oh, down there. Oh my god, I didn't even yep. see the one over here. <laughs> There's so many, so many. Little I'm... Little... There are six. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, why is Tailspire, like, freaking out for me right now? Okay. I'm going to position myself right here. Gotcha. So, like, I'm basically, I'm watching out for... Um, 
that's the wrong tool. This one over here and mm -hmm. this one over here. Absolutely. This one's a problem, but I'm trying to hope that this pillar might be a bit of a problem, mm -hmm. at least for now. Some recovery. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tailspire is <laughs> actually freaking out on me every time I do that. Love this. Okay. Um, and in the meantime, since we're just going for it, I'm going to actually try to attack the two that I'm blocking off right now. Yeah. Since I am at a high enough level, I get one, I get two Eldritch Blasts instead of one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to fire one each. Okay. So the first one is going to be the one up top, the one higher up. Mm -hmm. Um, That's going to be... I'm not going to have disadvantage because of how high they are, right? You do not. Okay. As long as it's within the uh, range, which I believe it is. Yeah, 120 feet, so you're fine. Yeah. First one's crit fail. Mm. Ouch. Second one. Oh my god! Okay, no, neither of them hit. Does a nine hit? A nine does not hit. I rolled a one and a two. Oof. Oof. Ouch. All right. I have rolled three terrible rolls in the last three rolls. Two ones and a two. Pain. Pain. Big pain. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to play bodyguard, I guess. All right. Uh, it is the slot champion's turn. Um, they kind of look down and look at it. <laughs> and they will uh, put away the spear now that they're uh, in close and grab a rusted great sword off of their back. Jesus. Uh, sorry, great axe off of their back. Jesus. Um, that has uh, completely browned out other than this like jagged sharpened edge. And they're going to make a couple attacks. You're going to take care of your weapons better, you dumb frog. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ooh, uh, that's an 11, so I don't think that's a hit. I ain't going to hit. And... That is a 21, which should hit. That will hit. Um, that is... <laughs> 1d6 plus 1d8. Is 7. Um, let's see. Oh, no, sorry, that's the wrong dice. One D twelve plus one P eight. One D eight. It's twelve plus four sixteen slashing damage, which I believe is half to six. Half to eight. Half to eight. Say so eighteen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and that is their action. Uh, let me measure something out real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. Good to know. Um, they will brace for combat, and it is Hassan's turn. Uh, Hassan, realizing he's under fire, is going to move up here, right behind Loka. Alright. And hmm, turn around and... Alright, now we have to see so i have performance of creation up 120 gold and i can create a large or smaller object is there like a large cart i can make <laughs> probably ten, like a, a 10 by 10 foot cart like on wheels yes, yes. yeah precisely sure. i would like to make one blocking me off and giving me cover. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you create a cart. Yeah, I did locking you in there. Um... How are we supposed to get in now? <laughs> Don't worry, I have a plan. I have a plan. This is all <laughs> okay. part of the plan. All right. Locking Logan um, into 1v1 combat. <laughs> uh, I, have, um, I only have right, modern so. vehicles. This will have to do. You just left five of the, it's literally a five v two out here now, but okay. I I still no, take we're fine. if I we're were fine. Good. We're good. Alright. Okay. Don't worry, I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh is that your full turn? No, it is not. 
Um, <laughs> crap. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is bonus, and after that I'm going to go ahead and bonus action Bardic Inspiration. Wait, is it a bonus action? One second. I need to quickly check my feats. Sorry. I, I'm reading my stuff too. I'm like, why am I, why do I feel so rusty? Like, oh my god. There's so many things now, too. Right. As an action. Okay, that's fine. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I will go ahead and use a do a bonus action to give Loka Bardic inspiration. That's All right. It. Cool. Absolutely. All right. It is the Grung's turn. All right. Uh, we're gonna start with. Uh, the one all the way at the bottom. Oh, no, I've got the cube. No, not the cube. <laughs> the void cube. There actually is a... It's um toggle cut box. Press N. Oh. Real? Okay. I found that out last session. And it turns it off. Interesting. Toggle cut box. I have no idea what it is. Huh. But oh, that is know. literally just death. Mm. I think right. it's to see if like things aren't like make sure that things are placed. Yeah, it's so that you can. Uh, yeah, like, so I'm probably accidentally hitting N whenever that happens. Or it's also that, so close to to like the gotcha. rulers thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that um, is what that is. Yep. All right. Uh, the frog directly in front of you, Pashmina, is going to take the disengage action. Oh um, no, you little bitch. And then jump to here. No! Get back here, you fucking... Alright. Um, the one at the bottom of the stairs is going to leap forward. I don't know if they've got line of sight on anyone. Yeah, you're through the tree. Um, I think Saron is also through the tree. Those two are behind. So this one has no shots. So they will just use their second action to dash. There. I'm going to start moving them. We can't move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, let's see who we can see. Um... Seeing them isolated, I think this one is going to, having seen two of them drop down to the entrance, this one's going to hop uh, right over the edge here and point their tart down and shoot it directly at Hassan. <laughs> rude. <laughs> Very rude indeed. All right. That's really funny. My cover. <laughs> Uh, luckily they rolled a 5 plus 5 is a 10. You have an AC of 10, right? Yes, I yep. do. Alright, so that's gonna hit. Oof. It's 1d6 plus He's 3. Little fucking it is darts. 9 piercing damage and a DC 12 con save. <laughs> Nat 20 on the con save. Nice. Thankfully. nice. Good job. You said 9 piercing damage? Yep. Alright, um, seeing more opportune targets... Um, I believe these... Hmm... This one's gonna stay here. I think they're going to fire down at Zoran. This one's going to fire at Peshmina. And... Always uh, deflect missiles. This one does not have a line of sight. They have made a mistake in jumping and are going to jump back. <laughs> um, and then take a shot at Zoran. Okay! So that's uh, two at a hit song, two, two at Zoran, one at Pejmina. We'll start with the one at Pejmina. Six plus five is 11. Don't believe that hits. Does not hit. All right, and then two attacks at Zoran. It is a 24 Ooh. and a nine. Uh, first one hits, second one does not. All right. Okay, who Six plus three that piercing. That would be a lot worse. So that is another nine piercing damage, and then con save. Uh, con save? Oh yep. boy. Okay. Ooh, that's a nine on the die. Nine on the die. That is Ooh. not a success. Okay, this might get that is bad. a three poison damage. An extra three? Got it. Yep. All right. And... 
Then it is Pashmina. <laughs> Alright. Um the fact that they're in the trees, man. <laughs> I wanna keep chasing this one's the closest to me technically. You're um, absolutely within long I think this is less than ten feet. Ooh, it's just over ten feet. Um but it's also lower than you. I'd say that's long jump distance. If you want to attempt to long jump across there. I would like to attempt to long jump across there. Uh, Absolutely. I don't remember what I need to do to do um, that. I am going to check. I don't think you do. Okay. Yeah, move ten, move move a number of feet, and then jump a number of feet equal to your strength score. So, yeah, let's say move... move. You're going to have to wind up a bit, um, but you've got plenty of movement to, like, step back in the trees. It Actually, you know, it is... You are running... This is not a solid surface. This is in a tree. I sure am, um, yeah, just, like, in these branches. So like, I mm -hmm. am going to ask for an acrobatics check. Oh, okay. Let's say yeah. DC 15. Uh, do, okay, I'm going to use my real die. <laughs> I hovered over the button. I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do that. That is an unnatural 20. All right, then you absolutely pass. Yeah, you jump over there without a problem. Uh, yeah. Running across the trees is difficult, but not for you. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Um, uh, nothing personal. I'm going to use my meteor hammer on you. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and this I will... Well, you can make it non-lethal. We'll see. Uh, that was an 18 to hit. Uh, an 18 uh, will hit. Okay. And then that is my 2d4... Uh, plus four, seven plus four, so... 11. <laughs> 11. Uh, 11 is a, an extremely solid amount of damage. And then... Um, I get second attack. Uh, you do. Before you do that, they need to make an acrobatics save to see if they fall out of the tree. Oh, okay. Just DC 10. Say 12. They're fine. Then second attack, and I'm actually going to use a key point to make it a stunning strike. Absolutely. Uh, so first, oop. 26 to hit. 26 will hit. Um, relevantly, you, you have another attack with your meteor hammer. Yeah. That's, it, you, you, it's a, it's, so let me read it. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can spend one key point to make the target stunned. Oh, yeah, sick. Absolutely. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, on the first hit? On the second. On the second hit, all right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, target stunned until the end of your next turn, mm -hmm. if it fails a con saving throw. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, did you roll your second attack? Yeah, and it hit. Oh, did now you, I'm rolling did you roll two attacks? Yes. Yeah. Wait, was the 11 an attack or damage? Damage. Damage. Okay, damage. sorry. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Um, Three plus four, so... Seven? Yes. And now 18. it is stunned until it the end It is stunned, of... uh, which I'll say will also give it disadvantage. Well, it does. It has to make a con saving throw. Right. So, con save first. So, we don't actually know if it's done yet. So, what's it? DC 13? DC 13. It's their con. Their con's pretty ah. good. That's a 17. Um, Damn so it. So, they are not stunned, but they will still have to make an acrobatics check. Still DC 10. Okay. 13. Fine. Uh, but you've done... So you, you feel you have done some pretty significant damage to this grong. Uh, up to you, Loka. Sorry, but... <laughs> Oh, Can't no, please. You hurt us. Yeah. Uh, it hisses at you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Loka, you're up. With me. All right. Well, I'm just going to do what I've been doing. I'm going to do some whaling. Uh, 14 plus 5, 19. 19 will hit. Or, sorry, not. It's more than that. It's plus 8, my bad. But still, yeah, that hits. Um, so we got 1d8. 5 plus 5, that's going to be 10 damage. Solid and hit. DC 14. Dex save. Dex save. Yeet. 
is a 19 plus one, 20. Oh yeah, that, so it just takes half damage, so. Oh, I rolled twos, so uh, one damage. One damage, I'll take one damage. And then second attack. Uh, 12 plus eight, 20 to hit. 20 will hit. That's uh, seven plus five, 12 more damage and another DC 14 dex save. All right. Uh, you said 12 damage? Yes. All right. And... I'm sorry, I will be right back. Make that deck save again. It was a 15 total. All right. Uh, that'll be one more point of lightning damage. They will take one more point of lightning damage. All right. Um, and I don't think there is anything else I can do. Would you like to use your bonus action to zap? That was... Yes, that was. Okay. Or wait. Hang on. Am I misreading? Hang on. Hold up. Because my... Um... Oh, it's just under my actions. Let me start your rage. Oh, you've been doing that per attack. Oh, I sure have. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Um, look, your cloud's acting acting a little funky right now. It yeah. happens. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's activating worse, but more often. <laughs> yeah, it's like only doing one damage each time. It, it's just bop, bop, bop. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. That all you'd like to do? Uh, yes. You are a yep. little boxed in. That, you know what? I'm okay with that. I, f I feel like I'm doing just fine. That's reasonable. All right. I love that this is just a fucking car right here. Also. I, I don't, I don't have any cards. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't had it, added any cart assets to this game yet. Um, and it's, I, I have carts in, in, I, I, th I think this is funnier. Anyway, uh, Zeron, you're up. Uh, Zeron, how are you doing on HP? Uh, I'm doing Okay. I'm doing okay. Right. For now. Um I really I can't use any of my big spells. Cause I do not want to burn down the forest. So I yeah. I have to keep using cantrips because I have one non-fire spell that's of level, but it's like meant for melee. <laughs> so we're going back with another two uh, Eldritch Blasts. I mean, Eldritch Blast is okay. I'm going to change targets though. I'm mm -hmm. going to do this one and this one. All right. These two here. Absolutely. As I freak out, okay. Um, First one is going to be the one on the left. Natural 20. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, I'll roll damage for? first. Go for it. Uh, double two, die? Yeah, 2d10. 2d10. All right. That's going to be uh, 8 plus 3. That's 11. 11's a pretty significant amount of damage. They're going to have and then disadvantage. And another 2. And another. Ah, the fire damage. Because of fire. Um. With so the natural 20, this is a very solid hit, square in the chest, mm -hmm. and they're going to have disadvantage on their acrobatics check. All right. Oh. <laughs> Just fall on top of his one. <laughs> All right, that is a two. Um, two plus three, five is less than 10. Um, so they are going to fall. That is a 26 foot drop. Um, so they're only taking 1d6 of damage, but they are going to end prone. Um, so they are going to end up down here. Oh, no, okay. No. Gotcha. Uh, and take an extra d6 of damage. I thought it was going to be... You just blast this grung right out of the tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and they take another three damage. All right. And I'm going to hit the other one now. All right. With the second uh, shot. Uh, it's a 17 on the die. 17 will Plus hit. Plus 7. Perfect. 24 will also hit. Yeah. All right, so another 1d10. So that's going to be a 10, baby. 10, baby. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Uh, they're on solid ground. Uh, they will not be yeah, taking any additional damage. I was going to say, they're fine. They are on sure footing. 
but I've made myself known right. at the very least. Uh, would you like to use your movement at all or bonus actions? Um, I don't have any bonus actions I can do at the moment. Well, none that are useful right now. No, I think I'm pretty okay where I am. All right. Yeah, I'm good. All right. It is the champion next. Um, they're going to kind of like look in confusion as Hassan has boxed the two of you in here. Um, and uh, kind of like seeing the two of you and the bird, um, they're going to start uh, by trying to uh, grapple you. Loka. So that will be athletics opposed by either athletics or acrobatics on your part. Okay. I don't have anything against this, do I? Um, mm. Advantage on decks against effects that you can see while not blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. Both uh, athletics and acrobatics are strengths. And it, it's not a they saving sure throw, it's a check. Are. Ah, okay. All right, okay. Again, At, yeah, did you use your Botic Inspiration per I'm, chance? I'm literally going to have to. Is it? Yeah. It's a D8, right? Yep, yeah, re-rollable. Re-roll it, too. That's really good. All right, uh, so 4 plus 7 is 11 plus 7, 18. 18 is more than a 10. Nice. Um, so uh, they fail to do so um, and get fairly frustrated. Um, they are going to shout. Uh, it sounds like they are issuing a command um, to the Grung, potentially, and then they are going to take their one attack because they have expended okay. their bonus. It is 11 plus... 6. That'll 17, hit. all right? It's 1d12 plus 1d8. It's 4, 4 as the great axe comes down on you again. Uh, 12 plus four is, once again, 16, half to eight. All right. Uh, Hazan, you're up. I still have more HP than... Now, this wagon that... Uh, now, this wagon... Sorry, can I monologue for a second? Sure. Now, this wagon that Hazan is, has conjured is no ordinary wagon. This is Birdie, the love wagon. <laughs> yeah, a perfect one-for-one -one <laughs> recreation of Birdie the Love Wacken from the from the beloved children's story to told all, all over all over Gaiol. I and hate he is <laughs> <laughs> This is great. No, this is great. And he is going to and he is going to inscribe into it the text of Birdie the Love Wagon. And with that, he is. He's going to cast, he's going to use his ability, um, animating performance, and he's going to turn this large object what? into a, into a dancing item. What? So, uh, Cole, you do- I have no idea what this is. All right. Uh, go to, go to my features and Yeah, tricks. yeah. <laughs> As an action, you can animate one large or smaller non, non-magical item. It is non-magical. No. It is not magical. All performance of As creation defined items by the, are Yeah, it says non magical. Uh, within 30 feet of you that isn't being worn or carried, the animate item uses the dancing item stat block. Click animate uses, performance and you will see it at yeah, the bottom. Um, which uses your proficiency bonus. The item is friendly toward to you and your companions and obeys your commands. It lives for one hour until it is reduced to zero hit points or until you die. In combat, the item shares your initiative count, but it takes a turn immediately after yours. It can move when you're bored. I love okay. wagon. So you've created an animated wagon. Yes, I yeah. have. Okay, absolutely. You are insane. You are actually insane. Um, I love <laughs> what you can do. It's immune to poison what and psychic damage. It has, <laughs> it has 40 hit points, 16 armor class. It has a has fly a speed of 30 feet. Yes, it does. <laughs> Well, okay, it's got a fly speed of 30 feet, but it's hovered, you so it can't, it can't, <laughs> it, it, it can't actually fly. It can't actually fly, it just it just okay. hovers above the ground, if it wants okay, to. Okay, okay. Um, 
<laughs> this thing has be fully loaded ass. Like it has the same con and strength as Loka. Um, You're shitting me. No way. <laughs> it, it has plus four strength, plus two dex, plus three con. Um, because wow. it's using Hassan's proficiency bonus. That's um hilarious. You're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be able to hover to this grung over here? Uh, no. Okay, um, that's fine. Because that, that would be more like actually flying. Um, although... Uh, let me check the rules for high jump again, because it's based on strength, and you have a strength of plus four. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with my magic cart. <laughs> I'm, gonna hit, I'm gonna hit you with this truck I animated. Mm -hmm. Um... It's alive and it hates you. Are you trying to <laughs> so reverse it, it, isekai? It can long fucking <laughs> grung. It can long jump twenty eight feet. No, oh, sorry, eighteen oh. feet. It can long jump eighteen feet and it can high jump seven feet. Um, okay. Neither of which I believe will get it to that tree. Um, I will absolutely, however, it's... allow you to crash this cart into the base of the tree to try yeah. and knock the grung out of it. Fuck yes. <laughs> um, That's still pretty good. One hundred percent. I will allow it to crash into the street. All right, absolutely. Will that take my bonus action to do so? Um, or do you have to? Moves? Do you have to spend a bonus action to command the vehicle? No, it, it's on its turn. Wait, um, the, the thing is, no, the thing is, in combat, the item shows your initial count. It takes, oh, it only it takes the dodge action unless, unless you take a bonus action to command it. So yeah, you you would have to command it to crash into the tree if you want to. Okay, but before I do that, it moves after me, technically. It does. So you, you act first um, as this cart uh, fully animates. Yes, it does. Thank Hooray! I don't know how much I, are 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 the rest of you familiar with 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 Herbie the Love Cart. Birdie, Birdie the Birdie love the cart. Love Cart. Birdie the Love Cart. Uh, Birdie the Love Wagon. Love. Sorry. Love Wagon. I I don't know what I don't know the origin of this, so I couldn't say. Uh, I uh, want to say Zeran does. Sure. Just because they're so well read. And, I, and having conjured the object, you did this on purpose, so it does look like probably Birdie some the... some particular illustrations of Birdie the Love Wagon. Yes. Okay, so... Proceed. Alright. <laughs> I need to get above this. Would that be just, like, flying 10 feet of movement? Or would you say that's 15? Yeah. Or... I'll say flying 10 feet of movement. 10... Ah, let me grab you. Ugh. 15, 20, 25, and then, well, and then bonus action, Bardic Inspiration to Zoran. And as a part of that bonus action, I can command the item. I can command the item. Yep. So, yep. Ram into the ram into the tree. Thanks for the tree. All right. Here, let me move the car. If you want to just is, give me like a large token, that'll be fine. You don't have to keep doing that because that's is... probably. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's a prop. Oh. So oh, wait, I you... should be able to. Can you um, give it a base? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me. Prop. Um, you can technically do it with squares too, with like tiles too. Um, morphs. I think. There we go. Let me drop my van into and your heart. We'll <laughs> Let me drop my van into your large. There we go. <laughs> it, it takes up the full ten by ten feet, but yeah. Awesome. And I'll give you permissions to move it around. So, uh, Hong Kong, your tree is now bonked. Yeah, go ahead and make me an attack roll. Uh, with my spell modifier? Yeah, so the Force Empowered Slam, it goes, it's plus your spell mod. Okay. Or uh, your spell attack mod, specifically. 
Okay, with my spell attack mod. That's a 21. Uh, 21 will hit the tree. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for me. That's 1d10 plus proficiency bonus. Oh, oops. You're looking for... The, the threshold here is like you want to be doing more than 5 damage to try and shake the tree. That's going to be 11. 11. 11 is more than 5 damage. So uh, you appear to damage the tree a little bit. Um... And this Grung is going to have to take an athletics check. Whee! DC 10. That is a natural 20. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, the Grung will not, in fact, be slipping. Clings. Will not um, be unseated. Although it does look supremely surprised. Um, <laughs> just so incredibly surprised. Uh, I'm going to very quickly run to the bathroom, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, Pashmina can't see this. She just hears a fucking, like, clamor. It's like, what the fuck is happening over there? Saran is watching this in real time, and they're <laughs> like, what? We all just hear, me, 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 This is some, like, fighting game shit. Like, you know, one of those fighting game characters is to pull a car out of, like, hammer space. <laughs> 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 I want you to know, I've been waiting several sessions to do this. <laughs> I can tell. You, oh you were God. so ready. <laughs> God bless. Truth, I, love, I love the things that you can do. <laughs> like the f birdie the love wagon. Like <laughs> I hate this act. But it's so in character. Too. <laughs> really good. And it's making me so mad. It just it's it makes so much sense for Hayson. You're literally like creating the things out of the stories you know. <laughs> like that's so good as a bard. Mm hmm Jesus Christ. I'm back. Really good. I hate it here. Uh, Eli, I love you and your character is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing, God. and only you could do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, it's grung time. Grung oh, time. Um, fucking God. I think I'm going to. I. You know what? No. Let's let's let the dice. We're gonna roll an int check to see if this grung knows it's a bad idea to shoot a cart with a poison <laughs> dart. Yeah, okay, they, they, they understand that wood is not going to take damage from poison. Um, they are extre still genuinely very shocked. Um, they are going to go ahead, having felt uh, the tree shake somewhat, though, they are going to change positions, as is their want to do, um, onto this pillar. 25 feet. 25 foot standing long jump. Wow. Um, and from here, what? I think Loka is in full cover, for sure. Um, they that are going to like take a shot at Zeron. Let's do it, baby! The, the tower is just littered with dice. Uh, <laughs> 19 plus 24 <laughs> yep. should hit. That's a super hit. It is going to be oh, no. one on damage, oh. so four piercing and a con save. Okay. Could have been worse. Uh, that's a 10 on the die, baby. 10 on the die does not succeed. Ooh. Uh, well, know. unless you get a 10 on the die. Do you have any? You, I, you, no, you don't beat I a 12, don't. right? I have a okay. 10 con. Excellent. Um, that is going to be a full eight points of poison Ooh. damage. Ah, ah, ah. Um, okay. Oh, uh, that's fine. not good. Um, okay, so what's the, um, what's the terms, like, the bloody... Lethal. Uh, blooded is un bloodied is under half. Mortal is under a quarter. Uh, they're looking pretty mortal right now. <laughs> well, ish. They're like on the cusp of it. Uh, having heard a command from their leader, this one is going to hop down uh, and attempt to stab Loka in the back. Ooh. And now, having been flanked, they are going to get advantage on their attack. Shit. Mm, does that still happen with the alert feet? It does, because you're not being surprised. Mm. 
Uh, this is because of flanking. Alert does not negate... As far as I'm aware, alert doesn't negate flanking. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. Um, that is a 13 plus 5. Would be... Hit. Yeah, all right. Um, less damage on the dagger. Uh, D4 plus 3. So that <laughs> is 6 enough. piercing damage, half to 3. All right. Um, and then con save. Poison, man. I wish, man. Uh, that's an 18 on the die. Totally fine. Plus I was six. just talking about that one feat earlier. That would have actually been nice about now. <laughs> All right. Then we've got uh, this one. Who, um, they don't really know the commotion going on. What do they have in range? Not a lot as far as movement goes. I think Zoran and... No, Zoran is obscured. Peshmina is not. So they are going to take another shot at Peshmina. Yeah. I'm going to remain static. Uh, AC 16, right? That will not hit. Yes. Um, this one is going to... Okay. <laughs> I like the ribbits in the background. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, keep moving up. Uh, relevantly for this fight, Hala has run away. Hala! That's fair. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> it's not like you can die! Go back! <laughs> say here, and they're going to take a shot up at Pejmina. I think you're going to have half cover from there, from the tree brush. Um, yeah, which I think maybe. is a yeah. plus 2 to AC. Half cover. Plus 2, yep. So they're looking at an 18 instead of a 16 to hit. Yeet. Plus 5. 13 plus 5 is exactly an 18. So it hits? It does. Ah. So 1d6. Plus 3 is 6. Would you like to attempt to catch it? Uh, yep. Uh, you automatically uh, catch it. Yep. Because your dex is very high. Yep. Uh, and then you make a con save. <laughs> oh, yep. Okay. I just, I love this image of Pejmina like catching needles and then like dropping them as fast as she possibly can. It's like, nope, nope, nope. Uh, ten. Ten. All right. Uh, ten is a failure. Ah, fuck. We're looking for twelves. That is six points of poison damage. Ow. How you looking? I actually look fine. Uh, it is your turn next. Oh, wait, no. The one in front of you hasn't gone yet. Ah. Uh, and you are currently at uh, Meteor Hammer range, right? Yep. Oh, attack of opportunity. Get yep. whacked. So they are going <laughs> to jump up here, but you will get. Uh, or no, you've you already you, You've already used your reaction to catch a needle. Yep. Oh, fuck. God, you're right. That that was my reaction. Uh, so so they're going to away. hop up here and take a shot at you. You slippery little... Uh, they're not good at stealth uh, not, not as good at stealth They're not great at hiding But they jump around like fuck Yeah they sure do As an 8 plus 5 will not hit Will not uh, Now it is your turn uh, Can I play devil's advocate? How so? Devil's there's, advocate? There's one that hasn't gone uh, The one that I'm not thrown Ah, you're right. Oh, yep, you're right. Um, what no, are they that's, that's sitting at good right of now? You, okay. Yeah. Uh, they are going to stand up, which uses half of their movement. Um, so they can't you jump about it. very far. Um, they are actually going to use their action to dash um, to permit them to jump back into the tree. Because um, <laughs> that is a bad shot for them, even if they do attempt to attack you. Mm hmm So they're going to get, especially after having heard uh, an order from their leader, they're going to head back up in the tree. Now it's your turn, Bashman. Yeah. Um. I'm de- Excuse me, I'm debating uh... How hurt is the one that I've been keeping on looking? The one that you hit a couple times? Yeah. 
pretty bad. You, you've hurt it quite significantly. You've done a total of 18 points of damage to it. Mm. Um, for conditions, it is definitely bloodied. Okay. Um, wait, quick maths. Quick maths. It is not mortal, but it is bloody. Um, I definitely want to keep on it then. It's like, you're not getting away from me. Uh, so. Pretty sure I have enough movement to get. Uh, should I roll to get up here? No, I, it, is... you've got plenty of movement to climb up. And you don't need to move very far to get in contact with those branches. So if you want to climb up into the tree to get into combat with them, okay. it'll take probably close to all of your movement, especially if you want to end not directly in five feet of them. Yeah. Um, Sorry. yeah, I think if you spend all of your movement, you can skirt around them such that you are not within five feet of them, so you don't start within five and then end outside of five, therefore giving them an attack of opportunity. Therefore, okay. you're good. You, 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 you're fine. Okay. It, it. Um. Yeah, and I'm just... <laughs> Dude, second rare, same as the first. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a 12 to hit. Uh, 12 will not hit. Okay. Um. Second then, attack? Yep. Damn! Okay. Nine. I just. I, I, Peshmina is getting frustrated. She's like, God, what? <laughs> would you like to flurry? Ooh. It would involve touching them. Yeah, no, that's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> Uh, anything you else you'd like to do? Bonus actions? Uh, no, I'm just I'm I'm gonna. Well, ooh, actually, uh, you can, can bonus I... action dodge to give people disadvantage on attacks made against you. I was about to say, uh, patient defense. Patient defense. Yeah, sounds good. So I'll spend a key point going to patient defense. Absolutely. All right, Loka, you're up. Um, you sense coming into this now surrounded, raging for several turns now, um, your cloud starts to reform. You and this magic being in tune with each other once again. Uh, just kind of through this force of raw emotion. Um, and uh, you no longer have disadvantage on your lightning anymore. All right. Um, I'm kind of in a bad spot, however. <laughs> Not that I can move, but... Um... I think Loka's gonna yell, uh... Hey, son, get him off of me! And then... I'm just gonna keep going at the... Uh, Grug? No, Slad. Slod, yep. Slod. And you can tell definitively that this champion is Ooh. a Slod. What'd you get? Matt 20. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. And you get bonus damage for raging now, right? When you crit? Or is that Let later? Me Let me see. <laughs> Let me check my features. I don't think so. No, not yet. It's later. All right. Okay. Ignore me. I mean, well, don't, but them. like... <laughs> So do I roll uh, 2d8 then? So it's with the, the Biden, right? Yeah, so that'll be 2d8 yeah. plus 5. 2d8 plus 5. Oh, that's not bad. 13 plus 5, 18 damage. 18 is a pretty significant amount of damage. Um, and then they will need to make um, a DC 14 dex save. As your bonus? Absolutely. As my bonus, yes. Um, and uh, relevantly, they are now bloodied. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, that is a 16 plus 1, 17. All right, we'll take one more damage. All right, just pinging away at him. Yep, and then I'm gonna take another swing. Absolutely. That is not going to hit. All right. Um, Hi, Bubby. You're really starting to do a number on this guy. Uh, I mean, you know, just give me some time and I'll... <laughs> During... You got this. You you have 
uh, both you successfully locked them up and also locked yourself up in combat. Yeah, but I take a lot less damage than he does. This is true. <laughs> All right, Zeron, you're up. Um, uh, first thing I'm going to do is move. I'm going to get up here. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I do, I'm going to go ahead and cast the spell Mirror Image. Yeah. So I get three copies of myself on my location. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to kind of keep moving and spinning around to kind of confuse which one's the real one. So there Sounds are now great. four Zerons on that top platform. That's a lot of Zerons. Oh. Yep. There's nothing else I can do, but there are four Zerons up there. I mean, Absolutely. So. so how that works is we roll to see whether they hit the an illusory Zeron or not, right? Correct. So if they are aiming for Zeron, I have to roll to see if they hit a duplicate instead. And the DC gets harder for every one that they hit. Right. But... The duplicates also have their own AC. Yeah. So if it misses, it just misses, and they're still up. Yeah. All right. It I is mean, that's the basically slot. extra armor. Yep. Yeah. It is the so slot. So I have their AC. Turn. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. That's um, pretty good. So the slot champion, uh, you having bloodied them, gets a bit of a wild look in their eye, um, and you. Uh, detect a, uh, they give out a, a loud croak that kind of reverberates in the little stone hallway you're in now. Um, and you smell a very strong amphibian scent. Um, and they are going to, uh, uh, as soon as they do that, anyone outside the temple uh, sees the grung in the nearby area. Uh, their heads snap forward toward where the slot's position is. Um, the two slot within 30 feet are going to have advantage on their next attacks. Um, and the grung. The grung, yes. The grung within 30 feet are going to get advantage on their next attacks. And uh, the slot is going to get a free attack as a bonus action. Oh, shit. Uh, because you are currently being flanked, uh, all three attacks the slot champions taking this turn are going to have advantage. All right, that is Jesus Christ. 13 plus five, 18. Should hit, right? It's six, it is 16, right? Uh, Matt? Who? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were talking to Pashi. No. Yeah, no, it's, it's 16 to hit. Yep, yep. yep. All right, so uh, 16 hits. Uh, we're continuing on with the great ax. So, 1d12, 1d8 plus 4. So that is a... 11, have to 5. Alright. Then <laughs> attacks 1 and 2 of the normal attack action. Um, ouch! That is a 9. That's not going to hit. Or, not a 9. Yeah, it's because 3 plus 5. 8. 8 also doesn't hit. And the last attack. A 15 plus 5 is a 20. That'll hit. Mm-hmm. Twelve is a twelve plus four, sixteen half to eight. Alright. I, I wonder if that's the statistical average. Curious. How are you looking on health? Uh twenty out of sixty-five. Alright. Sure. Uh hey son, you're up. Alright. What, Bubby? You know, don't whine at me. No. Okay. So first things first. So we we established that the cart can jump. You can use the jump, correct? It can use the jump action, correct? <laughs> and can it can a creature jump multiple times per per move? It can, but it can only jump a distance up to its movement. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Because it costs. Because I just need. What I'm just going to try to do is, if you would allow, if you will allow it, is to use its thirty feet to jump to essentially do 
two long, two high jumps to get back up here. Oh, I think you, you can just move up. Oh, oh, I can. Um, like if oh, you're right, if you're trying time. to high jump, um, I'm gonna say you can. Yeah, you can spend like, let's say that'll be twenty feet of your movement. Um, but you can make it back up back up there with the cart, no problem. All right. And this is technically happening after your initiative, right? Oh, right. I'll, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, so I'll keep it here until then. So you're spending your bonus action to command it to do that. Mm, uh, no. Uh, that's what I was just oh, no. going to do with this movement. Okay. I need the, ac I need the action, bonus action. Gotcha. Yeah. So, sorry, Loka, but Kason's actually going to cast, um healing word on him a level two healing word on himself because he is incredibly low on health that's okay i should be fine for another round or so and that's gonna be 10 points of healing all right and, and then he's going to move five oh wait right i need to shift Five. Oh. This is 20, less than 25 feet. For sure. Yeah. And he is going to stand. If I stand here, will that get that? Will that nullify the flanking bonus? No, but it will give Loka a flanking bonus against the Grung. Okay, that's fine. So now, now Loka and the Grung are being flanked and also flanking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Flank and party. I'm going to use my action to cast. Oh right, I can only, I can't do two flank spells tree. at the same time. Right. You can't do what? I was gonna cast warding wind, but I can't do two full spells at the same time. Only a cantrip and a spell. Yeah. Correct. That is. In that case. Accurate. I, in that case, I am going to go ahead and cast Vicious Mockery on the Grung that is on the pillar up yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. That is a DC 14 Wisdom save. Um, let's see how the Wisdom is. Okay, the Wisdom is okay. DC 14? Yes. Uh, 14, that is not. All right, that is 2d4. Five psychic damage, disadvantage on an attack, so I guess it'll be. It'll be negated. Attack. Yeah, absolutely. And they are going to move. The uh, car is going to move up here. All right, and then take the dodge action, correct? Yes, it will automatically take the dodge action. Also, something I forgot to mention, but anything within 10 feet of this will. It can either have its. Um, I can either reduce its. Uh, Speed. I can reduce its speed by ten or increase its speed by ten, and that's so like kind of a weird little feet? buff totem. Yeah, is that ten feet? Would you say? Uh, sure. Okay. So, so its movement be has been reduced by, by, 10. by ten feet. So it's only got a fifteen foot standing leap now. Yeah. Which only. Is, that's pretty significant. Like that. That makes it a lot harder for them to get around. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh that's your turn. Yes, that is the whole turn. Absolutely. Um, having been locked in combat, the Piper behind Loka is going to be preoccupied enough not to attack you, Heisong. Um But they will still get a flanking bonus against Loka. Looking at a Oof. 9 plus 5 Oof. is 14. Does not hit. Nope. Um, that is their attack. Uh, all right. Um, the one next to Pejmina, because you're still in, um, what's it? The, uh, uh, Meteor Hammer range, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're going to start with a blow pipe attack at you. Uh, Bubby, are you in the trash? <laughs> He's not fucking good. Bubby likes the trash. He's messing it's with his tree puzzle. It's okay, Ed. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. Eight plus five. Not going to hit. Um, and they're going to jump. <laughs> ah! 
Uh, you little shit! Yeah, that's 25 feet. So they are going to standing leap out here. You will get an attack of opportunity if you want to. Uh, might as well. If you'd like to use your reaction. And your, your turn's net. Wait, did you already use your reaction this round? No, because the grunts no. haven't gone yet. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, attack of opportunity. It's Absolutely. just a normal, mm -hmm. like, just a hit. It's just okay. an attack, yep. I just realized if someone had Sentinel and trying to attack an enemy if they were jumping to cause their movement to fall to zero, they could, like, drop. <laughs> It'd be very silly. Uh, that was a 25 to hit? <laughs> 25 will hit. Uh, then... Doot, doot. Five plus four, nine. Nine damage. Okay. Nine. Um, so with that hit... Okay, this is an interesting... So you uh, drop their HP to zero. Oh, You shit. knock them unconscious as they are jumping away from you. So they are going to uh, get knocked out and then fall. Um, because as they are jumping away from you and they're going to end up there. Oh. Um, do you have a preference of whether to do lethal or non-lethal damage? Uh, non-lethal. Okay. Does, does, is not actually just, does not want these things dead just needs them to, just to stop blowing darts yeah absolutely <laughs> alright so we still have the piper up here um, there's a lot of action going on up here including the animated cart so they are not they're kind of at a loss for who to target right now um, they did just hear some mocking words uh, specifically from Hassan, so I think that is going to be their primary target. Right. Uh, they would normally have advantage, but because of uh, the uh, vicious mockery, you've given them disadvantage, so they just roll flat. Uh, six plus five is an eleven. That's a hit. All right. So I is... succeeded. I succeeded on the con save. Con save. All right. One yeah. six plus three damage. One plus okay. three, so four piercing damage. That's good. Um, I'm going to check their leap. They do have just enough distance to get there, but I think they're actually going to simply stick here for the time being. Uh, the Grung that uh, is intended to attack Loka has already gone. Um, seeing you knock out the other one, I think this Piper is going to aim for you, Peshmina. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they're the only, also the only one in a vision arc to have be to be able to have spot. No, there's two that have spotted you. Knock that one out, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still uh, the one so on the stairs. Four plus five will miss, um, and then the other one a little bit further out is a nineteen plus five twenty four will hit. Oh, uh, yep. And you've already spent your reaction this turn, so you are uh, not able to catch it. Uh, four plus three seven piercing damage, and then con save. 11 con save. 11 does not succeed. What was that initial damage? Uh, let me check the log. Uh, 4 plus 3, 7. And then an additional seven. 6 poison damage. Oh god. Uh, you have Hand of Healing, correct? I do. Uh... For the first time as one of the needles actually manages to stick you in the side. <laughs> Ow. Sorry, that was 7 plus 6? Correct. Um, okay. ooh, ooh. Uh, this one at the ooh. bottom, I okay. think, is actually going to make... They're going to run up to the one that has been knocked out and make a medicine check. Oh, wait, there's still one, like, out fucking here. I forgot about this one. That one, that's the one that just attacked you. Okay, jeez. Uh, the one on the stairs did not. That is a successful medicine check. Um, so what? this, the rung that just ran up, uh, seeing this craziness, uh, has successfully stabilized this other grung, and then is actually going to begin, uh, dragging them down the stairs this way. Uh, still unconscious, but stabilized. Okay. Well, uh, they look like they have the intention of fleeing. Yeah. <laughs> Puppy. Um, all right. Uh, Peshmina, you're up. Okay. Um. Ooh, everything's far away now. Um. <laughs> Just 
realize Zeron's standing on the looking... other side of the cart will oh, give you a wait. flanking bonus. Zeron's looking pretty bad, but I don't know which Zeron is the real Zeron right now. Probably. Correct. Although they are very much in close... Are They're all in close proximity. But I wouldn't want to give away the illusion. That's probably true. I mean, it's up to you. It's, I think, it just says each time a, tar a creature targets you with an attack. I don't think yeah, having, then, like, then, an, yeah, a I... different spell. Well, mostly I don't want to, if I do, like, Hand of Healing on you, I don't want to reveal the fact that I know which oh. you is you. Then, yeah, that's fair. Uh... It's okay, I'm... I'm okay right now. <laughs> As long as I don't get the poison crit again, I will be fine with one more hit. Yeah, and I think <laughs> in that case, I want to move to where will I have cover from? I think if I move to like down here. That yeah, should sure. be. That uh, are you climbing okay. down or jumping down? Jumping, but uh, I have it's not too far. I have because you're just slow it's fall. just from up here, right? Yeah, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, and then I'll <laughs> use hand of healing on myself. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let me please. Oh, I just realized, uh, sorry, the attack on you should have had disadvantage, because you took the dodge action. Oh, uh, I also forgot. Let me very quickly roll to see if it still would have hit. Yeah, it would. It still would have hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. But good to know. <laughs> cool, I get three hit points back. That's hey! <laughs> Alright, that's your turn. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Pashmina's not looking great. All right, Loka, you're up. Alrighty. Um, oh, thanks for popping up, ABG. Um, all right, I'm going to go back and do it again. Absolutely. Um, 15 plus 8. We'll hit. 20. Whatever. Um, motherfucker. That's only going to be six damage. They'll take it. Um, and then the bonus action, lightning, AC 14. Uh, yes. Uh, did you take a second attack? Not yet. Okay. Bonus action. That's Two. wrong. They did... Yeah, max damage. Six damage. Nice. Um, They've taken 69 damage. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, then I guess I should focus on the other guy, huh? Not a bad idea. Um, everybody else is pretty locked up with everyone else beneath us, too, so. <sighs> I will warn you, I cannot do much. I cannot do any damage to this grung in front of you. Uh, he's has behind me, but. Go behind you. So I get advantage on this attack on the one behind me. You right? do. Um, oh, wow, I actually did better. I rolled 17 and then a 19. So nice. 19 plus 8 It'll hit. 27. That's going to be damage. That's going to be uh, 10 damage on uh, him. That is quite a bit. Uh, uh, they are bloodied. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Anything else that I can do at all? I don't think so. All right, Zeron. Okay. Um, from their multiple duplicates, they are going to start by kind of each one like stops, and they look like they begin casting at the same time, but the real one will shoot out another Eldritch. All right. Um, they're gonna go for the one on the pillar first. All right. So a single shot out 
Um, uh, ooh, that's probably, 11's not gonna hit. 11 will not hit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it was a 10, even worse. And then for the one in the tree, that's a 17 on the die. So I'm assuming that's gonna hit. It will hit. Yeah. So they're going to go ahead and roll damage on that one on the tree. I keep forgetting that that's a thing you can do. They added one. more. There's lasers now. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I rolled five, so it's going to be plus... Is it two or three? I think I should know my extra damage. Yeah, plus three. So it's going to be eight total. Eight total. Damage from them. Uh, they look extremely wounded. Okay. Uh, definitely, but definitively mortal. I'm not finished with my turn. Oh, and they need to make an acrobatic save. Fab. They fail. Oh. Uh, so they're going to fall again. <laughs> he keeps falling out of the same tree in like the same spot. Yes. Yeah. Um, and they're going to take a d6. Correct. Two. Okay. Uh, they are not unconscious, but they are absolutely mortal. Gosh. And, um... Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to use my last spell slot and use Shadow Blade. Okay. I don't know if I can attack on the same turn as casting it. Um, let's take a look. Shadow Blade. Theoretically, because I can use it as a bonus action. You can use a bonus action to cause the sword to reappear in your hand. Yes. Um, it is effectively just a melee weapon. Um, and you've already used your action to cast two Eldritch Blasts this turn. Okay, so just spawning it in is yeah. just, like, the full action for Yeah, me, that then. is the full bonus action, unfortunately. Okay. Would you like to not do that? Because what I was going to do is just basically have it as, like, a third attack where I was just going to throw it. Unfortunately, you have expended yeah. all of the actions you have available. Um, um, you could do that next. You could say that for next turn if you would like to, because uh, yeah, then you I'll could assemble it turn. or and activate it or do more blast. But uh, it I'll seems that that might be yeah. that might not be the best uh, use of your spell slots here. Thing is, I can't really use anything else. Yeah. Like it's, I'm kind of limited being in the jungle. I'm gonna be honest. This is true. So, I'm gonna do it. And I'll just have it for next turn. All right. Sounds good. Uh, would you like to move it all? Mm. It's not going to do much for me, even if I do. I'm going to be honest. There's you places you can get some cover. cover. Uh, yeah. Literally where? Um, I guess there. there oh, it's I. My thing was angled in such a here. way that it looked like that was completely blocked off. Um, yeah, even potentially down it. here, mm. or behind any of these it's, stairs. No, because the grung's right there. The grung's. Are, oh, right. They are. They are not unconscious. They're not unconscious. So I'm just gonna go here and yeah, call it. Absolutely. All right. It's the champion time. Um, the desperation in this champion is growing, and you see they, they shout out several more uh, commanding croaks. Um, anyone outside, if you'd like to give me an insight check, uh, you may while I roll some attacks. Yes, hey. Rolled an 18. Natural 20. Oh my god. 18. So, um, both of you see, especially now that a couple of their companions have gone down, one is retreating with um, meds, basically. Um, the Grung are starting to look at each other like, this may not be a good idea anymore. 
Like, they, they look uncertain of uh, how they should necessarily proceed, um, even if the slot champion looks fervorously confident. Um, so that first attack... Let me check what I rolled there. That was a 16, 18, so that'll hit. Yep. Um, that's the... 8 and 12. Let's see if it's 16 again. Uh, 13 plus 4. Uh, it is now 17, half to 8. Uh, and they will make another attack. That is a whiff. Uh, wow. Um, so, with their whiffed second attack... Um, this out of the way. Uh, they are actually going to retreat into the temple. So, uh, they're going to move away here, and you will get an attack of opportunity if you, you should like to take it. I definitely would. Absolutely. Go for it. I uh, missed. All right. And they are going to continue moving. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to pop out this side of the temple. Oh. All right. Hey, son, you're up. Okay. In that case, I'm... Loka, how is he? I think I can deal with the rest of the grung right now. Do you need healing very desperately? Hmm. We'll do what you gotta do. Okay, doke. So, in that case, first things first. Um, Heisan is gonna do something he's done before. He's going to cast Major Illusion. And do, 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 do. Remember how I how he made your illusion to dragon before? Sure do. He's gonna be doing that again on top of the temple. All right. Like just like sort of coming out of its sort of camouflage in a way. Yeah, absolutely. And just. Uh, major. Major image. Yes. Spell save DC. Okay. Yeah. You do so. There is there is now a dragon on top of the <laughs> temple. B big predator. And with a bonus action, so gonna step right over here, still with engagement oh, range. Yep. Yeah is going to give uh, Loka his last bardic... Well, yeah, he's going to give Loka his last bardic inspiration. And with that, he is going to... do do do, do <laughs> Have the cart ram into the back of this grung. Absolutely. Go ahead and make an attack. Uh, will, will that be with advantage? Yes, because you are... The, the car is flanked by Loka. You, the car is team working with Loka to flank this grung. That is going to be a 22. 22 hits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nine damage. Uh, nine, nine damage. Uh, that grung is unconscious. Just goes wham right in it. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> All right. And that's your turn? Yes. All right. Um... So these two grung are going to continue. They're going to move and dash, uh, dragging their friend. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that they disappear into the underbrush. That's fine. So they're going to move them from this. The other two that are still standing. Um... I'm going to make wisdom saves against the Slod's intimidation. Oh. So we're going to start with the one up on the pillar. Seven. 
Okay. And the one further down in the trees. Okay. Um, seeing their friend go down, seeing their leader retreating, though still shouting at them, seeing a entirely new, unexpected potential threat in this dragon, uh, these last two conscious grung are going to piece the fuck out. Um, so they are going to specifically hop into the tree here and into the tree here, heading out. And this one is going to do likewise over here. Pashmina, you're up. Uh. All right. Oh. Uh, hmm. 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 I actually. So, what's the deal with this one? Is it prone? Is it unconscious? Oh, I don't... Uh, apologies. That one. I. I entirely forgot about that one. Let me quickly go back to the grown <laughs> piper. Um, they are going to, uh, spend half of their movement to stand up. And then piece the fuck out. Okay, I, I wasn't sure uh, if it was still. They like... look, they look extremely wounded. They're actually having a hard time climbing down these steps. Okay. Um. Now it is your turn. All right. Well. Uh. Uh, Zaran. Um, a weird sensation, but you recognize the like, pheromone smell for fear. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Scared the fuck out of him. Alright. Oh, uh... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Hi! Uh, I'm assuming... <laughs> I'm assuming I can tell this is you? And not one of your illusions? I have all of them around me, but your call. Mechanically, yes. Yeah, probably. So many Zorans. <laughs> Sweats. Providing Zoran with healing would not negate their uh, mirror images. Uh, alright. Uh. Are you okay? You don't you don't look okay. Or well, the uh, kinda looks at the four of you. None of you look okay. Been better. Uh, can I help? That kind of hurt all over. Uh, Loka's more dire than please. I can ha I can handle Loka. Okay. Uh, then Hashmina's gonna reach out and try to touch you. <laughs> uh, I'm fine and... in just negating the role and saying that you do. <laughs> Oh, as funny as it would be, yeah, you get one of the duplicates. Uh, we we'll just go, right, go through like, them, right through them, yeah. Um, you you okay. fumble around a little bit. <laughs> uh, and you will receive... Uh, six points of healing. That's huge. I'm now... From the cusp of mortal to just bloodied. Excellent. Uh, I think you still have 10 feet of movement, Peshmina, if you'd like to use any of it. Um... Let's see what hand, spending a hand of healing is. That's an action. Uh, I would actually like to... So, yeah, yeah. all right, um, good. Yep. All right. Just turn to... Loka, you're up. <laughs> you even, the mini even kind of has the come at me hand, which is great. <laughs> Your move, yeah, you, my good bitch. <laughs> you make eye contact with the slot champion. Mm. Um, <laughs> feeling better. Oh no, not even. Remote. No. <laughs> um. All right, I'm gonna continue on. Oh, that fucking rolled off the table because I yawned. Oops, where'd it go? 
Alright, well, it's gone forever. Give me a second. No more D&D. Can't play anymore. No. Nope. Dice gone. Still gone. D20 just decided to get out. Go away. There we go. D20. Uh, 12 plus 8. 20 to hit. 20 to hit. Uh, 20 will <laughs> hit. I'm using my local dice. I should not. Um, what is that? 7 damage. Um, and then I'm going to go again. That's going to be 21 to hit. 21 will also hit. Uh, what was the first <laughs> damage? Uh, two plus five, seven. Okay. Oh, I've been kicked from Tailspire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops. Yep, I've been oh. kicked from the game. All right, and that's another seven damage, and then I want a uh, DC. I'll get rigged connect now. Uh, 14 dex save. Yeah, absolutely. Yeet. Into the brush. 12 plus two is 14. So does save. Does save. Um, two damage. Two damage. Uh, they are absolutely mortal at this point. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, good. Yep. All right, Zeron, you're up. Give Caroline a chance to get back. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to be able to get back in time, so I'm just going to um. Wait, you have a stream up. Wait, I you have a stream. <laughs> You Hold can on, I'm see. Running. I'm running. It's the biggest thing is I couldn't see into inside the temple itself, and I was trying desperately to get in. Ah. Mm. And I wasn't able to do it. Every time I would like zoom in, it would throw me to the very bottom base of the board. Oh, weird. Under everything. So I couldn't see exactly where the slot was. Gotcha. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you rotate the board so it's like facing that back bit? Like this way? Like that, yeah. yeah. Oh, keep going a little bit. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Okay, so they're outside? Yes, yeah. they're they're outside okay. right here. They're on they're one space outside and Loka has engaged them right here. Fabulous. And you said that they're mortal? They are mortal, very much so. Okay. Yeah, so like... Um I'm also theoretically close enough to get to them. You are. And you've got a shadow. I blade. now have a melee weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and close the distance. Go for it. And I'm going to go ahead and attack. Absolutely. Go for it. So God, it does 3d8. Jesus Christ. It does 3d8 oh psychic damage. So, okay. I have to, like, try and like figure out how I'm going to hit it. Because I don't have, like... Okay, so it's profi- I'm proficient in it, so I have my proficiency bonus. So it's a d20 plus six, plus I dex, believe, because it's plus my dex. proficiency, yeah, so that would yes, be plus six. So it's going to be plus six to hit. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Uh, you'll also have advantage because it's being flanked by Loka. Flanking. All right, that's good because I didn't roll well. Eh, well, it's technically um, from the side. That's fine. Do you want me to not have advantage? No, I think you should have advantage. Are you sure? <laughs> it's extremely mortal. Okay. It, it is being dist- <laughs> Loka is effectively dist- I'm, I'm okay with saying it is being affected by flanking because it is mortal specifically. Okay, that's an did eleven you, on the die. Plus did you ever six. use plus six your... is seventeen? Will hit. I have not used that bardic inspiration yet. No. Okay, you should probably use that to hit it, because it does give a damage bonus. Oh, the damage bonus! I'll add that, baby. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's going to okay. be a seventeen to hit. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Oh boy, I get to roll so many dice. Okay, so it's 3d8. I'm actually just gonna roll it on D&D Beyond because I don't want to have to roll my d8 three times. And they will have to make a con save, DC 14. So that's an 11 psychic. They do make the con save. Okay. Plus no damage, three then. fire. That's fine. How, it much, wasn't uh, how much psychic? 11 psychic. And then plus three fire. Plus three fire for my genie's wrath. How do you want to do this? Oh my god. Yeah. Um. <sighs> hmm. There's no like graceful way to do this. 
It is psychic and fire damage. Yeah. It's, I think that they're facing, they were facing Loka during this, right? Yeah. I think they're just going in for a classic backstab. Yeah. Just like a very classic, like you just kind of see it. Like they're looking at Loga, they're backing up and just all of a sudden just like the hurt as they look down and like the edge of the shadow blade is peeking out just this from their thin, stomach. This razor of pure darkness emerging mm-hmm. from the center of their corpse. Um, as they go down, they look at you, Loka, with like wild rage filled eyes and are still scrabbling at their great axe as the life leaves their body. Damn. And they um, uncast Shadowblade and it just disappears as they fall to the ground. And I will take us out of initiative. Odds. Oh, God. That was in the nick of time there, Theron. I'm not feeling so great. Your xylophone sounds as Hala comes <laughs> sprinting up the <laughs> temple stairs. You're still you in initiative. coward. You can't even. You're all bones. They're, they're tail curled up between their legs. Aw. You big baby. So, Ron just whacks Loka on the top of the head with, like, the <laughs> top of their staff. Loka collapses. <laughs> Wait. Don't hurt each other. <laughs> they saw him we'll just walk move. up, we'll, like, we'll, like, give him a tap and say, okay, you can get up now. And we'll give you a level two healing word for 8 HP. Well, that's something. What's everyone's totals right now? 20? 20? But 12 hit points. 19. All right. 15. The red grung that had been piping at you have disappeared into the foliage and the last combatant among you, other than the one Red Grung, who is unconscious on the temple steps, um, and the slod before you is no more. (laughs) Sorry to interrupt. Alright. Could Mm. we leave initiative so we can move around? Uh, we should have already. Uh. I switched to exploration mode. Nope, we are still stuck in... Cannot move. Do I have to clear initiative and then go back to exploration? How about now? No. I'm going to just go to main menu then and come back in. Hopefully that'll fix it. If I move your menu around, can you move your menu around? Nope. I'm also turning the (laughs) music music down. There we go. Whatever you did there, that did it. I didn't do anything. Oh, perfect. Well, uh, can you summon uh, uh, I can't. me to the? Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, but I'm in GM mode. If I'm in player mode, does that? Is okay, this okay, okay. actively making death saves? No, they're they're unconscious and stable currently. Okay. Well, we have this one to deal with. Mm. I mean, it's not going to be an issue. I'm just going to... Uh, I want to... Um... We don't even know why they're here. Nice I negotiating, was... Loka, by the way. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we could talk to it, but... Uh... Look, it pretty, it pretty clearly did not want to talk. No, it was pretty mad. <sighs> Didn't look like it was in a particularly negotiation mood. Um, while, while protecting my hands, I'm not going to touch this thing with my bare hands. I want to kind of like try and get this one awake. Uh, maybe just kind of let's, conscious. Maybe let's wait until Zoran can use uh, use comprehend languages again. Mm. Uh, are you intending to use hand of healing? Um, I can also ritual cast 
comprehend languages. I don't need to use a spell slot. It'll just take 10 minutes. Okay. No, I'll also let you use your herbalism kit if you want to. They will need, effectively, mechanically, they will need HP. They're going to be out for probably oh. a, a, a good number of hours before they recover. Okay, okay. Uh, if but I, I think you can my... absolutely raise them, like, wake them with an herbalism kit. Like, medicine check? Yeah, if that's all right. And yeah, I honestly, like, on on thought, um, I think it would make sense if there is just, like, gloves in an herbalism kit. It, like, it, the gloves seems like something that you would, would be nice. use to do <laughs> that medicine. That would be great. Hmm. Strategically um, moving cart to block it. <laughs> is it, it. I was about to say, how long does Birdie the the love cart, um, uh, the love wagon hours? last? I think it was an hour, I believe. Oh, how long do they stay animated? Uh, oh, oh, the love wagon itself lasts for three hours. The a animated performance lasts an hour. Okay, yeah. So you've got you've got a while with the love wagon. Yeah. Uh, since when can you do that? Meanwhile, I'm making a medicine check. <laughs> oh, something I recently, something I recently, th oh, just something I've been recently theorizing about. Uh, the way, pa the way that songs and the songs and stories can be utilized to create magic. I further thought that if one, if an object could be, say, imbued with the story imbued with the story imbued with the same magic that the stories that I use to tell you that I use in my magic then perhaps it could take on those attributes so or at least that was my theory at the very least and it appears to have worked very well and his songs like just goes up patting the wagon uh, it looks even better in real life than in the pictures <laughs> you ever read? Huh? Would you ever read the story as a child? Uh, I'm not familiar. Uh, it's part of an old. An old she's story. not even. She's like touching this frog. Like, the um. Yeah, how does... Sorry, just to quickly uh, resolve how the medicine check goes. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Brung's physiology is very foreign to you. Yeah. Um, and makes it difficult, especially given that touching it would be bad for you um if you would like to escalate that uh medicine check uh if you would like to reattempt the medicine check i'll effectively give you advantage on the check but you will have to ch touch it and take a con save if you would like to have an attempt at a reroll yeah i I feel bad. I don't want it to just lay here, fucking. Uh, so, uh, I'll, I'll spend a key point. Do hand of healing. Okay. Um, I will ask for that con save. Uh, <laughs> seven. <laughs> but it does get. Mm -hmm. So you'll go ahead and take five points of poison damage. Ah. <laughs> uh, but it, um, as you use your hand of healing, um, it bolts upright uh. and like kind of looks wild-eyed around at you. At kind of looks around, notices that there aren't any allies my hands around up. <laughs> anymore. Um, it doesn't look like uh. it's immediately in. It it, it like. At first, instinctively reaches for like its dagger or blowpipe, but quickly like no, 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 no. It's... like realizes like okay, that'd be a bad idea. No, Let's go yeah, on. don't the don't do is that. Looking right at it right now, <laughs> it's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 just it can't push me to kind of puts her hands up placatingly, like like no fight, no fight. It okay. It, it just kind of looks at you. I, it it will like, um. It won't reach for its blowgun. It'll actually grab a little satchel attached to its belt and like throw it on the ground at your feet, and it um kind of like pops Ooh. open, and you see like a scattering of needles fall on the ground, like like they are disarming themselves. Mm. Okay, thank you. Don't yes. Um. Yeah, and pet me just like. 
doesn't doesn't touch her weapons is just kind of keeping her hands like in its sight um Zoran, I believe we need you oh boy and they'll come around I tried moving my icon in the stream oh boy okay Absolutely. <laughs> um... oh boy very it will take quickly. me 10 minutes, though. Yeah, while you are ritual casting that, uh, Loka, um, from your position inside this temple region, um, uh, A, a just, what are you up to? And B, I have some things to, to tell you about the interior of this. Would you like to describe what you're doing first, or would you like a little description of the area? Um, I, well, I think I'll go first, because I'm looking at this temple. And it honestly seemed like this slad slod, mm -hmm. oh slod. Um, was trying to defend it, um, like stop us from getting within. So I'm checking out like what is on this table. What is there anything of import? There here? is. Oh. So that is a pattern that you are familiar with, maybe painfully so at this point, as you oh, see boy. an active teleportation circle. Right. Um, in the interior of this upper temple area. It appears fully formed, fully functional. Um, okay. Yeah, and that's uh, what's in the room. There is uh, an amount of well-crafted stonework to this entrance up here. Although you notice upon entering this chamber, for something as grand as this architecture, this structure seems profoundly undecorated even that little shrine that you approached when you first came to this area had carvings vines statues some amount of artwork but this room just feels like a box that has a teleportation circle in it and that's it uh where no tax is inside. no nobody inside. yeah Where's the the puppe? The puppe? Um. Oh, uh, Hala. Yeah. Uh, they're up by uh, Zeron currently. They have they have hopped back up. Although, if you call, they will come to you if you would like. Yeah, I think Loka will call. Yeah. Uh, Hala quickly skitters over, uh, almost slips on the stone tile, but does uh, make it all quickly enough. Kind of like looping around the side, um, and kind of like looks at you. Kind of like looks around the room. They kind of mime sniffing at the air. Sorry, please. I was just going to say, um, where's Taxel? Um, kind of look around. They kind of cock their head confused. Um, they kind of walk around. They circle the teleportation circle. It seems like they sense something on the teleportation circle specifically, but are confused. Um, and then you see them start, like, their attention goes down and they start digging at the stonework fruitlessly. Huh. Is there anything on the teleportation circle that uh hala could have sensed that i could see not that you can see okay well i mean i have an idea of what this is but i don't think loka's just gonna go in by himself as much as he might want to <laughs> um okay. well as other in relevantly want. other information you know is you cannot use a teleportation circle unless you know the spell teleportation circle oh that's rude <laughs> it's why you've needed Astior or Fehu with you each time you've teleported mm -hmm. which means none of us know it so we just wait then um, me, me, me. Paula seems perturbed. They're continuing to dig at the stone. Um, 
some time passes and uh, Zeron, easily enough after doing some ritual casting, focusing with your lantern, um, you are able to get a keen sense for grung pheromones again. And immediately the first thing you get is fear. Not as strongly as um, previously, but somewhere between um, fear and hesitance, this like tentativeness, this this uncertainty uh, radiating off of this particular grung. Okay. Um, I think they're going to, they don't want to startle it because it looks like they're flanking right now. Mm -hmm. Um, they just kind of like cleared their throat and they, they're trying to look as like non-threatening as they can for someone who just shanked their leader. <laughs> there, yeah. Yeah. Actually well, just shanked their leader. I mean, leader. they were unconscious. They didn't know that. Yeah, they, they didn't see that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. And just start off with, hello, and then point to themselves, friend. Doubt. Points to them. Doubt. <laughs> um, they look between you and the threatening living cart. It's harmless, you know, you can, you can go ahead and sit on it. They take a step away from it. Hey, son, can you... I don't know. Make it, it go away. It it doesn't uh, need to be hovering anymore. It, it's. <laughs> I don't no, think we need away. the cart, anyways. I I just like how it says in the side car. Comma, <laughs> ruin. <laughs> <laughs> he will not dispel it, but he will remove it to the side. Okay. Also, and dispel the green drop. Well, that would would have disappeared. Well. In ten it's minutes, yeah. Still there, yeah. How long is this major image? Uh, that's not major in. Oh wait, sorry. The dragon should be gone. The dragon was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, think, 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 I believe, right? Major image yes, only lasts ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. So for as long as it took to cast, comprehend like weeds. Uh, can we tell it that we didn't really want to? fight them so much as we just didn't want to get hurt? I can also do something else. Uh, but Comprehend languages is not concentration. It is not. So I'm going to crouch down, kind of kneel down, and I'm going to cast friends on them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, immediately, friends. Mm -hmm. Was a misunderstanding, yes? Uh, they, they nod, yeah, affirmative. Uh, you feel better now? Hurt, pain. Mm. Better, hurt. Pashmina, do you have any use of your healing magics left? Uh, if you don't, not, not without getting hurt myself. And I, it, Pashmina has seven hit points, so I can, never mind. If you desire, I can. I can. I still have some healing to use. And they're gonna look to the um grung. My friend heal you. Okay? Um they they cock their head, they look a little confused, but nod and go and feel affirmative. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm will do a level one healing word for seven hit points. Uh surprise. Good. Safe? Question mark. Safe. Affirmative. <laughs> Just give an <laughs> affirmative tag. <laughs> this 
your home. Um, complicated. What's this place? Work. For the slot. I don't know. The uh, person doesn't know what's happening, but um, confused. It takes. It goes. Um, you mentioned the slot. Uh, similarly, anger, resentment. Hmm. They're going to. Mm, yeah, minor illusion also is in concentration. Minor illusion the image of the slod then that they were just with enemy or friend complicated <laughs> um they think for a minute and um they kind of try and like puff up their chest a little bit. Um, authority. Mm. The large one was leader of sorts. Affirmative. A sort of ta task, a sort of taskmaster, perhaps. Then, or a bully. Uh, affirmative. Strong affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, okay, okay. <laughs> Happy he gone? Complicated. I see. Um. We do what's... need to ask about... Oh, gone. We do need to ask about Taxel, at the very least. And then, oh, they don't know what Taxel looks like. Oh, yes, we, uh... You've seen a silhouette. We've seen you a silhouette. know what symbols they wear. I think they're gonna try making a crude version of them. Um, actually, no, they're gonna show the symbol. See men with this? Um... takes a minute, but um, they blink a couple times, then, like, softly affirmative. See man where? Uh, points at the minor illusion of the slot. Men take this man away. Um, Complicated. If they don't know, yeah. <laughs> They, they look like they're they're having a little like they, they're really trying to engage very effectively with you but they are having a, a, a hard time kind of like crossing this this the the information barrier do you know where this man is um probably can you show us affirmative Um, and they will, um, I, they kind of like, you look to you, Pejmina, they'll actually take the, um, pipe and the crude knife, um, that they, the bone knife with them and put them down next to the needles, um, just to like fully disarm himself. Um, and then will um, start walking down the steps. I have the wrong character. Well, wait, is it dangerous? Uh, affirmative. Well, then, you... you Pashmina picks up the things. You can, if it's dangerous. You have weapon back. 
Um, you take weapon. They pause for a minute and point at the weapons and then um, useless. Oh. Probably resistant to get poison. Hmm. Complicated. Sure, <laughs> drops it again. Uh. Okay. Um. We friends protect you. Um. Fear. <laughs> Um, again, has a hard time. They, they they look like they're trying to communicate something. They're, they're trying to think of how to oh. get an idea across and then they, it like seen... shake their head. Zoran, show him Schemo. Oh, you're absolutely right. Uh, one more. And then we'll make an image of Schemo. You seen this man. Uh, affirmative. Um... Is there any fear? Disgust. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this man there? Uh, points at Schemo and uh, Taxel. Mm -hmm. And puts the, and like clasps the fingers of their hands together. Man, man, together? Affirmative. Working together, or...? Complicated. Mm. But in the same place. Affirmative. <laughs> I don't know I like this very much, but... I'm worried, but, I mean, this is what we came here to do. Ugh. <sighs> I'll be honest, I'm tapped out, but we should get moving. The grung will proceed down the steps, kind of like beckoning you to come with it. And then we'll make a turn, do a little jump off of the steps to the side of the temple. Um, and we'll kind of like put their hands on the stone and start like pulling at some of the foliage. Um, it looks like they're kind of having a some trouble with strength. Like they 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 find like a, a chunk of rock that they are pulling on, but it seems like they're they don't have the the upper body strength to be able to do anything about it. Hmm. Hashmina can try. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make an athletics or investigation check to either help or figure out what it's doing. Ooh. I'm just gonna uh, try and jump down. <laughs> you can. Slide down carefully. <laughs> I guess I'll do an investigation check, actually. Oh, nope, I uh, that's a three. <laughs> this frog's doing some weird stuff. It's kind of hard to uh, tell what's, what's going on, on there. I mean, something's here, but... What's going on? It's, it's it's trying to do something. You see the grung like pulling at a, a hunk of rock on the side of the uh, structure. I'll try Loka? with my Hison? minus two strength. Yeah. Loka and hey, Hassan, what are you up to? Hassan, curious about the interior because this is no doubt the thing that interests Hassan the most about this place. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to make uh, investigation or history, I would like to make a history. Can I roll? Oh, never mind. Hmm? Seventeen. Seventeen's pretty good. Um, so I mentioned before how the architecture of this place very effectively matched the uh, forum that you had been to. Um, as soon as you get to the interior of this building, that is not. That is no longer true. This is a fully different architectural style. Almost as if it's been renovated, or is that unclear? Uh, that on the nose. Okay. This looks right. like it is newer than the structure it is built on. Uh, 
Well, this is definitely a new addition. I wonder why someone would desecrate this sort of site, though. And Hisan will... This is a teleportation circle, you said, correct? Correct. Would you like to memorize its address? Yes, I would love to memorize its address. <laughs> Please do. But, uh, um, I'm trying to think of a sound effect. Bling, belong, something like that. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I'll mark, I'll mark it on your map. Oh, no, it's it's the... I don't know, what's the sound effect from Breath of the Wild? It just goes bing when it's showing different... Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Dun, 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 dun. And that, uh, but this, but there is no writing in this. Correct. No in engravings, just flat stone walls. It is shockingly unadorned. Wow. This is almost utilitarian. For some, hey, someone is going to take a small knife and start scraping at the at the architecture to see if there's anything hiding beneath it or anything like that or but it's not something like that if it was something that was built over no but solid uh, reasonable um approach uh weird question this is almost definitely outside of your wheelhouse of expertise how much do you know about stonework <laughs> it seems pretty outside your wheelhouse not much only he stoneworking itself no he's lived inside of a mountain his old life but st about stonework specifically he ain't an architect um yeah like you you can scratch at it a little bit and you get the sense that like well it, it's it's solidly stone it's it's very it's it's thickly constructed um but it, it does like i think the 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 thing you can fundamentally get out of that it, it, is like it's almost soft or smooth, like like a sandstone or a limestone, um, which is fundamentally different than the like almost concrete it appears to be built on. Like it it it, it, it just further confirms that the structure built upon the top of this is not only like a renovation, but is fundamentally built of a different material. Oh. Oh, so like this entire top structure, braziers included, this wasn't here. This was built on the foundation. Correct. Okay, that explains a lot. Yes, that that is much well, or at least that makes that gives me a clearer idea of what you were saying before. Mm -hmm. All right. In that case, Hayson is in that case going to. Write a letter to Fehu using Ag Agrax's couriers or whatever it's called. Carthax's arcane Car couriers. Carthax's arcane couriers. And is going to write a letter to Fehu with the sigils. With the yeah. sigils. And says, "For your own, we are currently in the depths of the Nazca depths of the Nazcog searching for the necromancer. We." We have stumbled upon many different ruins of of incredibly old age. We are also on the t in one of these ruins. We found this teleportation circle. I figured you would have more use for it, of it than I for the time being. Furthermore, we uh, the Black Talons have been the Black Talon mercenaries. We know have been that the same Black Talon mercenaries that were after your sister. Have been sighted. Have been sighted around here. One is supposedly current. One is supposedly in, still in the area, and we are currently pursuing them. Absolutely. And he will. And he will send that off. Received. I believe they're. I believe. Uh, Loka, are you? Are you good to go? Are you good? Are you good to go? Do you want more healing before we leave? Um, I mean, yeah, I can always use a bit more. All right, I'll give you a second. I'll use my second, third level slot and, or a second, third level slot. And 
That's another 11 points of HP. Oh, that's juicy. I should really just get Hand of Healing, but I have, ah, I have such a limited spell list. I can't. I don't want to be heal bot. I need my utilities. <laughs> You're all good. I can yeah. supplement a little bit, but I also, it's again, it's, it's all from the same pool. <laughs> so I'm also, <laughs> things are difficult. Hey, Sam, do you know no, where the circle goes? I, oh, the circle goes, the circle goes nowhere. The circle is here. As we, you know how when you, a circle isn't exactly much a door, isn't exactly as much a doorway to somewhere else as it is the door with which you enter. A spell, anyone can make a magic circle as you, remember you made the circle yourself, correct? Yeah. Well, in a normal spell, an average incantation, in an average incantation of the spell circle, they would create it, and you would teleport, and the circle would disappear. If you if you cast it enough times within a within a year, it will become permanent. So, and the teleportation means, and with a spell, you can travel to any sort of teleportation circle if you know the coordinates. So, imagine this, if you know the location of this door, if you know its address, when you cast the spell, you can immediately go to it. Uh, if you would like, I also have a, a like, concise, out-of-character explanation of how teleportation circles work, if you would like. Sure. Uh. Um... That is entire. I, everything Hassan said was an, completely correct. Uh, it's like a phone. It's like a one-way phone, um, but for teleportation. If you know the number for a circle, you can call there. You can teleport there. Um, but any given circle doesn't actually go anywhere. Um, you can cast teleportation circle without necessarily needing a circle to teleport, but you don't have to spend the material components if you're already inside of a teleportation circle um, a permanent one so uh casting teleportation circle without one extent is like using a cell phone to call uh, a landline and all of the individual teleportation circles around the world are like landlines that you can only call two um, gotcha i don't know if that actually helps or not but <laughs> um yeah, it's like a so. do not reply email only goes one way. Mm -hmm. Do not reply. <laughs> you can teleport back as long as you know the address of wherever mm -hmm. you teleported from. Uh, and are able to cast the spell. Alright. Um, I think just through the sending ones, it's like, uh, we could use some help here. Alright. Okay. And then Luca's gonna head on down. Yeah. Hollow will follow after you, Luca. I'm trying to tug at the stone. Yeah, uh, give me uh, an athletics check. <laughs> you know it, baby! <laughs> it's 15. Oops. 15. Uh, 15 is enough. I'm oh. so um, glad! <laughs> so you see, uh, oh. as, as Loka and Hassan come down, um, you see that the grung is pulling at a odd piece of outcropping stone um, that, as you pull on it too, pulls smoothly out of place until you hear a click. Oh. Uh, as it appears to be associated with some kind of mechanism. I have a minus two in strength. Uh, so uh you, uh, unsurprising, uh, surprisingly, uh, the stones from under you begin to move. Um, as portions of the side of the uh, temple slide down to reveal a oh. doorway. Cool. Whoa. It wouldn't happen to be a wagon-sized doorway. No, it would not. It would not happen to be a wagon-sized doorway. <laughs> so, sorry, Birdie, the, the love wagon. You can't come with us. <laughs> you have to wait out here, buddy. Um... The Grung seems, oh. so Grung, the Grung uh, sees that the stones move and goes uh, excited and then oh. looks at the door and you get fear. 
something? You've been in here? No. Negative. You know what in here? Danger. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, they say danger, and then they point at you, Zoran, um, and go friend. They think I'm a friend. Uh, they shake their hand. Um, oh, our friend. They oh. nod affirmative. Okay. okay. Um, Loka walks up there. He's gonna put his ear to the door. Can I hear anything? Uh. Quiet sounds hollow. Go ahead and make a perception check. You sons of bitches. Um, 11. 11. <laughs> um, very faintly, uh, you hear little hisses. Not animalistic hisses. They're too mm -hmm. regular and almost oh. percussive for that. There's some sort of machine in here. A machine? That's what it sounds like. Like... Hmm. Like a steam engine. Weird. Why would one be here? I don't know. You wanna go find out? <laughs> you can also make a history check if you would like. Oh, fuck actually, you. um, history or nature in this case. Oh, fuck yeah. That's a 10. That's pretty good. I like to roll history. Eh. 10 that on was nature. A 10. 10. <laughs> 10 on history. Should. Wait. Are we all rolling? If you'd like to. If you want to. Okay. All right. History it is then. Can't wait to get shown up by Hassan here. <laughs> 27. Go, Hassan, go. That's, yeah. that's actually top. That was cocked. Oh, great. No, I got the lowest of the group. Um, Hassan, welcome to Skill Check City. Um, yeah. So, uh, something you are familiar with having studied a little bit about the region before is that there are large sources of uh there are there are geothermal pools underneath the nats cog sources of heat and steam so the oh. idea of building some kind of mechanism to take advantage of that is not unheard of um in fact you recall that um uh, uh, locals in the area who, who you th now can like intuit is probably people in fear um, have uh, like hot springs and things um, in the area because of to take advantage of the yeah, geothermal vents in the area it's a hot sp hot spring not like it. hot spring that doesn't seem so bad. My son will... will squint. Well, perhaps, but there is geothermal activity beneath the Natskog in many different places. And you said it was almost percussive, correct? The sound. Yes. Percussive in what way? The sounds of water or the sounds of... Or no nothing in particular? Uh, Loka, hard to tell with what you've got. I don't know. My guess is machine machine. Like, like iron and gears and stuff but i don't know that wouldn't make any sense i mean i suppose if if aquam is used to generate heat and steam 
to create engine, but why would there be a steam engine beneath an old ruin? That would make no sense. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, fear. From the ground. Um. Are we sure we're ready to go down? We can rest mm, if we need. Yeah, I was about to say, I... <laughs> I'm fully tapped. I... Peshmina looks, like, almost ill from all this, like, poison. <laughs> You've taken a lot of poison damage today. Mm. We should rest, then. So... Alright. You'd like to take a long rest, then? I would say a short rest, maybe. Oh, yeah, Spend could. some hit dice. Yeah. I would like to, at least, yeah. short. Yeah. Absolutely. I will uh, use all my Do you my get key dice. points? You do get key points back on short rest. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. Zeron gets spells back on short rest. I don't think Asan gets spells back on short rest. I do not. And Loka only gets rages on long rest, but you've only spent one. I do get my bardic inspiration back, though. Ooh, nice. Okay, have we ever done hit dice before? Yes, we have. Okay, we have, cool. just very Ooh. rarely. All right. Uh, if anyone needs help, let me know. I think there is also just, like, a short rest button. It has, yeah, it has a short rest. Yeah. I might literally spend all of my hit dice. That's into, they're there to spend. Yeah, I think I'm going to do half of mine. So, taking or an hour to do a, a quick squat. Um, before you lose uh, Comprehend how does long how long does Comprehend Language One hour. Last? One hour. Um, the Grung kind of, like, turns and looks out at the forest and back at all of you and looks at you, Zoran, and just goes, leave? Uh, uh, yeah, me, as, like, leave. a question. Mm-hmm. You go home. Um, gratitude. Friends, goodbye. Um, caution. And then um, confidence. I guess they're going to try gratitude back. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, they smile, and you uh, watch as they kind of gather the things. They do end up hopping back up to the top of the temple and regathering their equipment before uh, exiting into oh, the woods not... behind the rest of the grung. Uh, Perfect. Actually, Zeron, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh, um... Ooh, okay. Sorry, I had to open my thing back up. Perception? Mm -hmm. uh, not great. I rolled <laughs> nine. Nine. Um, you think you see a hint of red from a different grung as that one slips back into the woods. But that's all you get. Just a glimpse. That's fine. I'm just yeah. gonna begin my uh, short rest then. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm just and gonna like sit and just like dangle my feet over, <laughs> staring down. Have a snack. Door. Probably. Um, okay. Would anyone like to go ride on hurt on Birdie the Love Wagon? <laughs> Once in a lifetime experience. Uh, Loka. Yes. Uh, while you're taking a short rest, uh, your pirate senses are tingling. Pirate senses. Um. There was a, a combatant with full weapons and gear that's just oh my God, lying the there. <laughs> doing nothing. <Jesus. laughs> you know you're right. He's got the good shit. You're you're you might be onto something. <laughs> you might be on this this your your pirate sense is tingling. <laughs> um yeah, sure. Let's go find out what's up. Want to do a quick rifle? Yeah, I mean, that axe was booty, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> so, as you're kind of searching through this um, slot, 
Um, yeah. Relevantly, weapons and armor, horrible condition. Um, part of what made them as dangerous as they were was because they were so jagged and sharp. But, like, a couple more fights and they would have snapped. Easy. Yeah. Um, however, you do find... Uh, in a pocket of this, uh, the leather armor and whatnot, um, what looks like a bag of coins. Um, <laughs> uh, specifically, uh, coins of many different denominations. Oh. Um, not just copper, silver, gold, but they look to be from disparate locations. Huh. Um, can you roll insight for me? I'll, I'll give you advantage on this, actually, because of your piracy background. Oh, okay. Where's my insight? I forget. Oh, plus two. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Um, That's only a 13. 13? 13's pretty good, though. Uh, this is actually a recognizable pattern. Um, This is the kind of gold thieves pay with because the reason there are so many different denominations and different, like, gold from different sources is because it was taken from disparate people. Um, the kind of gestalt of all these weird different patchy pieces of armor, two different disrepaired weapons, um, this bag of weird loose coin. Um, you think all of these things were scavenged from adventurers, like from people who came to the Nats Cog looking for things, probably <laughs> treasure hunters. Is there... This is a weird thing. I'm essentially looking for a wallet. You know what I mean? Like identification. Like, yeah. is there um, a way to find out who this is? Uh, like who the 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 stuff is the from, slot. or who the slot is? Who the slot is? Uh, uh, not really in their vibe or culture. They they don't really they, they don't. This one doesn't appear to be carrying any kind of identifying markings on them or objects uh, also you can go ahead and add 250 gold to your inventory oh Fuck <laughs> you. i am begging you <laughs> none of us are gonna see this are we mocha back to uh, he's a high roller again back to oh high roll in the house we need to stop giving this man money <laughs> Bad things happen we when this to get man to has it too first. much money. <laughs> uh, uh. Some, you know, sometimes finders keeper really is the the, the law of the land. You, you know? got a you got a keen sense for these things. I can't Jesus. even afford an in room. <laughs> uh. Look, I can be a high roller. I can, I can. I'm your sugar daddy. <laughs> Don't ever call yourself that, that again. again. Oh. Or I'm um, leaving. No. With the knowledge that the 250 gold is in a, a, a disparate variety of <laughs> denominations and currencies. Yeah. Uh, with the... You got a... Uh, what did you get on investigation? That was 13. 13? Yeah. That, that's... Uh, you kind of, like, keep searching through them, but, like, between, like, manipulating the body and, like, kind of digging through this gear and whatnot, um, that, that is what you find. You, other than their largely ruined gear, which you may take if you want to, but you understand is fundamentally worthless. We're never seeing this fucking money again. <laughs> you never saw it in the first place, you know? Oh, I know it! I know it! No. Um, <laughs> all right yeah sick is everyone Can done with their I... short rests oh please well i was about to ask it's probably not possible for me to try and create this healing potion while we're resting i'm i'm okay with saying that that is a resting activity yeah it's associated with your healing in general so like yeah it, i mean view me a good enough check uh, so I should do a medicine check, or...? Yes, there is a, a specific DC. Um, inventory. Uh, Herbalism kit. Um, proficiency bonus? I don't actually know what that... Oh god, is it in Xanathar's? 
<laughs> uh, real quick. Uh, someone, quick, someone role play. Um. <laughs> hey, son. <laughs> Is it possible for you to ride in the cart while it moves around, or do you have to like? Like, how does this work? That is up to you, Cole. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, the, there's absolutely nothing restricting you from being inside the thing while you animate it. You no. have a self-driving... It can carry you, or it's a self-driving... Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Watch <laughs> this. It can go up the side, too. <laughs> it's an all-terrain mm. cart. <laughs> Sorry, making a healing potion costs ten days of time. Oh, fuck. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, that's a whole thing. Okay. So, I'm not going to have that for a while. Well, uh, perhaps if you leave it on the back burner and um, <laughs> in Zoran's lantern. Oh. Uh. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Can I? I don't know if I can do that. No, oh, right. Because Zoran would have to be the one to make it. Unless you literally brought me into your lantern every day to tend it, I guess. Ugh. I cannot bring anyone into my lantern. I'm okay, sorry. Then the, uh, no, don't, don't. Uh... Give me four character levels. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> um, Alright, putting that on the back burner. Just gonna think about that. Make sure I don't forget to actually brew that at some point. Um. Can I do a thing? I, uh, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust Matt. Yes, I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now tell me what you want to do. Um. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Yeah. I assume. I figure. Um. It, so, sometimes. Uh, well, I mean, sometimes I do kind of go yeah. off the wall. Don't we all? I, I, um, can I head back to this little shrine guy over here? Yeah, absolutely. I, because I think, I mean, it's it's. I think it's partly both my curiosity and I think it was like, what the fuck was that feeling? You know? Yeah. Like, what's going on? What's what? What is about this space that is so? whatever yeah know. absolutely it is it's a weird little spot to be in um as soon as you re-enter this kind of having identified that you had a feeling here before there's an odd combination of sensations um you feel very grounded standing here you feel very one with the earth you stand on in a way that is fundamentally different outside of this little shrine um i would like you to make either a nature or insight into yourself check for which you will have advantage Oh, interesting. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, that one's at least a bit, little bit better. Uh, 13. 13. So, there is an energy in this space. Being someone who is fundamentally connected to... Your magic is fundamentally different than Hassan's. And we say your magic, you, you have currently a very loose connection to magic. Um, even less so than, say, Fing. Um, your connection to magic is, is almost tangential. But it's not. You are still connected to a fundamental, primordial, material force of this world and standing in this particular little shrine this little raised area you feel that connection deepen 
and feel it more deeply, more strongly than outside of it. It feels like a strange focal point for that sensation. And you sense almost a consciousness, but it is greater than that. There is something here that wants you to commune with it. And your rejection of it previously, even after Hassan's request, you get the sense that whatever it is felt shunned. I think without even thinking, Loka just says like, I'm sorry. You see a petal on one of the nearby plants. A bud of a flower on one of the near nearby plants bloom as you speak. Um, I'm gonna admit I don't really know what's going on, but, um, hello? You don't get a response. You get the feeling that whatever the sense is, it, it may be... This is a weird, a weird statement, but beyond language, maybe even beyond consciousness, it, it it's not a, maybe not a life force as much as it is a state of being. I'm going to try something else. Please do. Something I've not really done since Hassan has asked me to. I'm going to try and control my cloud. Ooh. Here, um, what would you like to do with it? What do you intend I, to do with it? So lightning works um, with like, oh, I'm not going to be able to fucking describe how lightning works. I'm too... But um, if this is, if I'm feeling particularly grounded here, um, lightning takes the least, the path of least resistance, essentially. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so I am going to try and let my storm cloud rage. On its own, like, independently of you. Independently, in, in a way that, like, I'm like I'm thinking like some straight up anime, where if I can get it to like swirl and surround, like crackling energy and all yeah. that kind of stuff, you know. Absolutely, and I think it does. So you see your cloud, and it almost unmoors itself from above your head, it goes from being above you to being in front of you, and you see the clouds in it billow and twist and not quite cyclone but there are flashes of lightning more and more frequently until effectively the storm itself is just tumultuous billowing electricity in front of you Now the question is, what do I do? <laughs> um, if if this thing is beyond language, then it it has to be an expression of 
prime material force. Um, I would like to... I'm going to say some shit. And we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I would like to summon lightning from the sky. Ooh. You do. <laughs> you just do. Um, the rest of you hear a yes. crack as above the canopy, above all of you, just a single fork of lightning comes down and strikes this pedestal directly above Loka, directly in front of Loka through the raging storm cloud but rather than strike and be gone in a flash like lightning normally is it is sustained this Oof. column of electricity extending into the sky in front of you think through the sending stone just like uh, loka I... I saw this on the move i want to touch it like i want to <laughs> i want to see if i can grab it in some way uh you extend your hand and swipe forward and the column disappears and you are holding in your hand a strand of lightning bolt what? oh uh, no what? <laughs> oh no uh what what? Loka, I would like you to gain the elemental adept feat with the Ooh. damage type oh. lightning. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Why is Loka just winning today? <laughs> what? Loka had lycanthropy and lost a bunch of money. <laughs> lost all the money. <laughs> Got 250 golds worth today. Now got another fee. I'm. He did also take fifty Good damage. For Good for you. I do. I'm not even like. <laughs> I'm not even being mad about it. Good. Y for you, you don't. You have <laughs> taken fifty damage today. Oh, I did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you lost your cool necklace. That that was a bummer. <laughs> now you have this fucking thing. <laughs> uh, the lightning oh, in your hand crazy. lasts long enough for you to feel it crackle, feel it almost your hand goes numb quickly as Hassan and the rest kind of rush over um, and it's very hard to keep your grip on it before it flies out of your hand and back into the sky uh, whoa. Hassan, if you turn around Hassan has a notebook in his hand <laughs> I don't You're think Loka moves are you okay? No response. Uh, I don't suppose you would like to explain anything? How is the storm cloud looking? How is the storm cloud looking? Um, I think it is not strictly above me, but it is undulating. Wish me to very tentatively come up and like touch your shoulder. You get a little static shock. Oh. Hassan looks, takes a look at the language again. Did did, did we do some communing communing here? I don't really know. Tell me everything, start <laughs> to finish. What did you feel? What were you contacted by? Uh, 
magic. Just magic? Lightning just came out of the sky and... happened? But you willed it. Did you will it? I said that. <laughs> and something answered you, but then... You hadn't been able to control this before. Why now? What did you... If this is a place of... He looks... The language here calls this a place of communi communion. Of completion. Something listened to you. Something... You were in contact with something. But not anything that had... a voice. I think it only understood... for lack of a better word, power. Or an expression of it. Not necessarily... As though, as though it were a force itself. Yeah, not, and I don't mean like power as in dist something big, something grandiose, I guess. I don't know. A little nig. Would you perhaps describe it as a sort of niggling at the back of your head? As though something that. Something that, as though something was not controlling you, but already commun but communicating with with your essence itself. Something along that line. I'm just gonna say yes because I don't know what nibbling means. Well, I don't even know what to say. I gotta write a letter. I gotta write a letter like right now. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I gotta, I gotta. Just leave it. <laughs> let, let him be, his son. That was clearly uh, affecting. I've never seen. I mean, the last time I saw lightning like that was the festival, and that's... How? Cole. Mm -hmm. Hassan has observed... Oh, oh, sorry. Keep going, Hannah. Sorry. Nope, that, that, was, that was all I had to say. Cole, uh, Hassan has observed the eternal tempest with his own eyes, stood mm -hmm. atop the peak when he was speaking with... When his... Is this... Is, was that at all similar to this sort of power? Roll religion. Twenty two. This is some of the most frustrating parts of magic. Aesthetically, yes. Right? This was clearly some kind of display of immense primordial magic. But it's not that easy. This is... It's an expression of magic that on a fundamental level, this isn't like an observable phenomena. This isn't a recognizable pattern. On some base level, eventually, all studies eventually come down to, it's just magic. Sometimes you can't explain how it works. Hey, son, just looks frustrated. Incredibly frustrated. And of course, there's no goddamn writing here. 
No one ever records anything. All oral. All oral. No one records anything. Everything is just out of my grasp. Just by a bit. I see all of this happen and I have no explanations and nothing nothing will explain this explain it to me. Uh, welcome Just, to not knowing what's going on ever, at all, any of the time. It hurts. This hurts. Do you feel like this all the time? Mm, not all the time. Uh, well, that's because I... This is immensely frustrating. <laughs> uh... I believe in your determination. Just give it some time. Cole, is... Now, this this representation, there's an actually, like, a, a, the, the mantras are on the stone, correct? Mm -hmm. On the stone dais. On the pillars. Yeah. And the dice itself is overgrown, correct? Mm hmm Can Hassan perhaps move some of the overgrowth to see like what to. was on the... Yes. Sorry to usurp this moment, Loka. <laughs> no. Oh, no, I had my moment. Okay. <laughs> Um, Catching lightning. You move more vines, more breath. It it's more of the same. Uh, honestly, a lot of this phrasing seems incredibly trite. Ah, uh, commune, observe, protect, consume, <sighs> consume. Sorry. Different game. <laughs> Rock game. <laughs> yeah. Feel. Think. <laughs> Think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, we all love Susan Calloway, but. <laughs> and. Hey, Son? Mm -hmm. This place doesn't feel especially, uh, particularly special to you. Hey, Son hates Stone that. Days. <laughs> hey, Son hates it. It feels like he's bashing at the door and nothing's there. Nothing will answer him. <laughs> Bloody useless place. I like uh, that you say that as you're passing you're my passing. Loka on. <laughs> Would you like to see what's behind the door? Yes. Excellent. In that case, oh, you had something to say, Caroline? That entire time Zoran wasn't there, they were looking at through the mushrooms. <laughs> they're concerned, but it's like, I think they're just tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little funny. Can I try finding one of the empathic mushrooms? Yeah, for sure. Uh, say survival DC 10. They're more prevalent in this area. I rolled an 11. I'll take it. Oh my it. gosh. You, you find <laughs> one. You know what? I'm feeling crazy today. <laughs> I'm feeling oh, no. a little silly. Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit of tomfoolery. I will take oh, a nibble. Oh god. Yeah. You, for the next 24 hours, same as Hassan, you know how everyone around you feels about you. Oh boy. Um... <laughs> So let's go around. Let's do a little yeah, let's go let's go around. We got we got to do it now. I am I do want to wrap up this session shortly. Yeah. But I also want to give you a preview of what's inside the door. Mm. Um so uh let's start <laughs> with how does everyone feel about Zoran right now? Starting with Pashmina. Oh, well, why starting with me? <laughs> Cuz you're the most fun one in this scenario. This is the most fun. <laughs> 
I I have to assume uncomplicated I, I, right now. Uh, I, I have to assume only because I haven't heard everyone else's yet that Pashmina's is the most like chaotic. Like there are understandable. Like, there are like 500 different emotions and they're all like waxing and waning and, and one overtakes the other and then another takes its place like uh like uh, it's gosh. like the scene from Ratatouille where they eat the cheese and the strawberry at the same time and it makes all the different sparks go off mm -hmm. like there, there's a flash of like affection and admiration and then frustration <laughs> like directly yeah. after yeah. and then like a, a, a tinge of like um like tenderness and, and like fondness and then and then just like no bad oppress shame like <laughs> uh and, and then that is just kind of all wrapped up in a bit of like just confusion Fair. A little bit of like worry. I, I that was something I honestly kind of meant to say with Hassan too. Is like fair. There's there's always a bit of like worry, concern, like like fear, but not like intense fear, just quiet fear. Like afraid to afraid of something happening to you. Absolutely. Interesting. Thank you. Loka, you're next. Um, I think it takes a bit for you to feel anything emotionally from Loka um, that is directed at you. So for a bit, it probably feels like full ambivalence. <laughs> um, Ouch! Okay. Um, until... I think at a certain point there's a the slightest speck of understanding of um how would I put it Yeah, I think understanding is the best way to put it. Hey, son. Let's see. At the moment, what overwhelm given Hassan's current frustration, you get a lot of frustration, Hassan, from Hassan. <laughs> like frustration towards you, frustration towards you, as in, or dissatisfaction. I guess would be the West would be the best word for it, and that's what comes off the most in his current state but beneath the surface there's also there there's also a sense of curi there's curiosity and not a and i don't know how to describe it an, a sense of just joy of 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 entertainment and a bit of friendship, but a lot of a lot of entertainment. Amusement. Amusement, yes, that's the word. This has all been very enlightening. Uh, <laughs> you just get raw affection from Hala. Oh <laughs> I love this fucking Hassan puppy. Hassan is also I just getting no raw puppy. affection. Pure love. What, what about puppy? What does Puppy feel towards her? Uh, puppy <laughs> is white noise. Yeah, I'm static. so glad. You just... <clears throat> in fact, it's just an image of Puppy. <laughs> an image of Puppy in Puppy's own how does How does Puppy think about you, Puppy? Puppy. Pu puppy. You know what? Puppy's not even mad. A narcissist. They're like, okay, very well. What's going on? Puppy um, doesn't have the brain cells to actually. That's the thing. To actually what? I said puppy doesn't have the brain cells to actually be a narcissist. 
<laughs> oh, Puppy, yeah. Puppy doesn't Weird. have the brain cells to have emotions. Yeah. <laughs> this poor little just like simulacrum of a, an animal, just hollow, has no has is just around. Just poor guy <laughs> had some pretty bad head trauma. <laughs> no I'm just here taking care of him. This poor beaver is a rescue. Yeah, it's... he is. <laughs> Bless. Imprinted Bless. on yeah, Loka and isn't yeah. giving, isn't letting go. They just hear, or I guess perceive everyone's feelings and just smile. <laughs> Quiet, but they smile. All right. Who would like to venture forth? Hey, saw it appears to be at the ready. <laughs> Open the door. All right. I just mean, it's like peeking from around the stone. Like <laughs> you venture deep into a long, narrow corridor, on which the walls have been carved with many different images, largely of snakes. Um, and you very quickly find out the source of the hissing noise that Loka was talking about. As sporadically, every once in a while, a little Oops. spout of steam will burst forth out of small holes in the wall cut into each of the carved snake's mouths. Um, every, let's say, 40 seconds or so, um, one of the snakes will put forth a pssss, and then a little jet of steam will pop out of the snake's mouth. Upon closer inspection, you can tell that effectively every snake carving down the tunnel uh, has a uh, little perforated hole in the center of it. Um, and open even upon just opening the door, um, it's hot and humid out here. It feels like a sauna inside. Um, yeah. it, it is even more hot uh, and humid. Um, as it seems that they seem they seem to be taking advantage of some kind of um, steam energy in this, uh, situation. Um, another thing that you notice very quickly is that the tunnel is long and unlit. Do I see anything different for the sixty feet that I can't see? You do not. In, in fact, you see a little bend in the tunnel. Um, ah. And uh, as well as uh, you note from out here with your dark vision that the tunnel descends. Oh, it go down. <laughs> uh, so we can tell it's hot in there. Can we tell... Uh, putting a hand out, can we tell how hot the steam coming directly out of the snake's mouths is? Yeah, you can. Um, again, hot. Hot enough to be steam and be visible, but it's not scalding. Um, okay. It's so not, not going like to do... It's not like take fucking burning Correct. damage. It's, or like... it's not going to do any damage. It's merely a little uncomfortable, but also appears to provide some visual obscuration. Uh, it's a little difficult to see past the mist whenever it bursts, past the steam whenever it bursts out of a wall. So not harmful, just annoying. And maybe, uh, Obscuring something, taking focus away from something. Uh, I'm afraid to go in there. <laughs> Predominant emotion right now, fear. Hala <laughs> uh, looks eager to enter. We're, we're here for a reason, and if yeah. this is what's here, then hopefully yeah. we'll find Taxa inside, and hopefully they'll yeah. be okay, and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just became like a god or something, so I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, we'll let the most observant go first. Oh gosh, I have to, don't... <laughs> Mm. I, I thought you just 
volunteered yourself for some. Are you not the most observant? Oh, well, I thought... I, I am in other ways. See in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> most nosy. Can I light a torch so you it's can. a little easier for everyone to <laughs> be inside? Absolutely, you can. Perfect. Let me just it needs think. to be relit every five seconds. The steam is actually not enough to put it out. Most torches are wrapped in some sort of pitch or oil, and that is resistant mm. enough to, fortunately for all of you, just not kind of be uh, immediately extingu extinguished by the steam. Although it will cause the flame to sputter a bit, um, and the mist in the air actually ends up reflecting off of the torchlight, only increasing its effect of obscuration in the dark. Uh, I don't know if they... This might not... It is better mm. than not being able to see. Mm. True. I will try and stay ahead. I'll try and stay ahead of the light so that I can still see through the dark yeah. as much as possible. Absolutely. The uh, tunnel itself, the, the passageway, um, is easy enough to navigate if you should enter. Um, and I assume you continue down and into the complex? Yeah, I'm just kind of like keep slowly walking, keeping my eyes on the walls, the floor, the ceiling as I go. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, I need to stop being... Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so It sure dark. is fucking dark. <laughs> what the what? Okay. Woof. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Do not like it in here. In here is bad. <laughs> this is... The tunnel eventually exits into an open room with many stone tablets in the walls, in the center, on some pillars, and written in a myriad of languages. Um, a wide variety, um, those being uh, common, elvish, dwarvish, halfling, gnomish, undercommon, celestial, infernal, and draconic, um, is uh -oh. each in their own individual languages and phrasings you are not welcome here. Get out. Oh. I can read every single one of those except one. Uh, I can well, read several one. of them. And that is where I would like to call it for this evening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. All right. Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> That's the default board. All right. Who? Long one. We. All right. Um, thanks for playing, everyone. That was awesome. I love that. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, stars and wishes. We went left to right this time. Last time, or no, we went right to left last time. We're going left to right this time. Hannah, stars and wishes. Oh gosh. Um. <laughs> stars. Frog. <laughs> I got to talk to to Frog, uh, the first Frog. Frog is hopefully we'll get to see Frog. Um, <laughs> Frog. <laughs> uh, love the idea of like the not like again the the fact that they're like not quite psychedelic, but like literally give you empathic powers. <laughs> the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, I thought about it and I was like, oh, that was probably meant to be a tool to help communicate with the frogs, maybe. Uh, do you want to know something extremely insane? That second set of D20s you rolled was on a random table. Oh my god, no that, way. That mushroom effect was a ran was on a random table. What? That's so good! And became you legitimately one of the best portions of this session, in my I opinion. I thought you did that on purpose! I absolutely did not. I wish I could take credit um. for it, but I can't. I, so I actually pulled up the mushroom effects table that I had for the Underdark in the new Kyla campaign. <laughs> oh, fun. That's, okay. That, that Still, big old star. Like, uh, that's such a cool, I like that. Such, it's such a good way to, yeah, yeah. Good shit. Um, fun combat. Just, like, uh, 
At least, at least for patch meeting. <laughs> I love that. You, yeah, just, sorry. I, I'm going to interrupt because I had a great time this session, and I apologize for that. I'll try and keep myself in check. But, oh, like, good. you and that frog just jumping around the trees <laughs> trying to get to each it's other. Like, I'm going to get you. I'm, get that guy. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> oh, a lot of fun to actually like I get to get to do some some monk shit, and now I have a bunch of cool new stuff and more key points, and that makes things more fun. Also, I forgot that short rests are so powerful. We should do that a lot. <laughs> we don't need to usually, actually, but <laughs> um, that's pretty damn good. Um, glad we got to see some that that loca payoff because. I, I know I felt a little bit bad after like I gave you that money and you spent all that money and you got this cool thing and then the cool thing was bad and then the, the thing got taken away and you lost all your money <laughs> and it's like well okay <laughs> there's something's gotta give um so I'm glad that we got to see that that was really cool um And I'm excited for this dungeon, even though it's scary. This dungeon's really scary. My wish is that we don't die in the scary dungeon. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Caroline, stars and wishes. Ah! Um, stars. Um, very fun combat. I actually liked it a lot. I... I like that it was a challenge. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the quote unquote rating was for it, but like it's, we all kind of struggled with it and I'm kind of here for it. It was definitely very good, very interesting. I will say thank you because I, I, I tried very hard on that and I feel good about mm -hmm. it. It's there are definitely points where I'm like, oh, like we're, this is getting like Serious, serious. Got dicey if you're curious that. about the like quote unquote challenge rating, like <sighs> fucking CR sucks. The XP budget sucks. I know. Because like yeah. so mechanic, like I I use Cobalt Fight Club to pseudo balance a lot of my characters. The mm -hmm. rating for that combat was beyond deadly. That's um, funny. But that doesn't mean anything no. because of how <laughs> the game works. Exactly. Uh, so I, it's that was fun. I like that, and it's I liked that it was a challenge. Honestly, it's I like challenging combat just because it's like okay, I actually like have to stop and think. What am mm -hmm. I doing? Mm -hmm. Other than just haha, fireball go. So it was good. Um, uh, stars. The maps are very good. I really like the maps. They're very interesting. I didn't know that you could make the blocks disappear like that. That's that, really cool. That is a, a skill I have tampered with in the past, and this is a... Uh, hmm. We're going to be using it a lot. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> here for it, though. I, I love it. I love it. Um, Yeah. The maps are really good, so good job. Thank you. Even if you took them from other people, good job. Still, yeah. The, <laughs> love uh, it. The, the temple was heavily modified. I had to I had to mess with that one a lot, but it is that it means. has a solid base. Uh, the dungeon is all mine. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are a few. Well, we, we, there's several boards uh, so far have been all mine, and this mm -hmm. is this is one of them. Love it. The fact that this dungeon's so dark. It's so dark. We get to play with the torches this time. I'm yeah, excited. We I do get to play with the torches finally. Cool dynamic lighting. It's very good. Um, another. Star. There's a lot. It's star. Mm -hmm. I like that I was able to communicate with Frog, Frog. and cool. the other Grung. It's. I have that spell, and it gets to be so situational. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad I was able to use it in that manner because it's very different than how you can use the spell. Right. But it worked. I think in a more boring world, that just wouldn't work. You wouldn't have worked, yeah. But that's so much less cool. In my so that that I I'm gonna quick jump in saying like that is one of my stars of the session was that because that was a genuinely super fun role playing challenge for me and y'all was like okay oh my goodness absolutely how do we communicate here like like fundamentally changing the like how do you yeah. 
ask, how do you get information out of a creature that fundamentally communicates using emotions? Like how, how do you get, a, and, and like that rule gets broken occasionally by those mm -hmm. communication, by, by the, the grung, but it's like, if you have pheromone communication, like what are you communicating? How, how does that work? And I, I thought mm -hmm. that was super fun. And I, I love that you, Zaran, as a, a effectively a, a very capital P political character keeps mm -hmm. pulling like their their expertise is so much that is like doing stuff yeah. like that like utility casting their way into like information yeah. gathering and like I it's it's super cool I think every mm -hmm. single character got an absolutely great time to shine in this episode yeah yeah oh absolutely absolutely so that was a star um start <laughs> I saw just being a son <laughs> so I fucking love his son so much oh my god I love this bird. wagon oh my <laughs> god it's just you said that and I was just on my head was on my desk like I I just <laughs> you surprise me every single session <laughs> And it's not in a bad way. I fucking love it every single time. Because it's always one of those things, it's like, oh, fucking God, Ari, here we go. Like, what are we doing this time? But it's so good every time. I read your character sheet four times before this session, and I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> I'm really surprised you had not You didn't. Oh, you know, I fucking love you. I <laughs> thank you. I love you. So, yeah, everyone had a great moment today that, like, really showed a bit of their character. And I'm very, very excited to see it go forward. Another star. Ooh, everyone said emotions at the end. I got some work to do. Yes, you uh, <laughs> Wishes. I got some work to do now. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Wishes. I'm excited and terrified to go through this dungeon me as a player mm -hmm. i really want to get into it because it's this isn't like a spoiler thing like when we did like the five things that we would like to see one of mine was like a like a nice actual dungeon crawl that i like i would just love to go through one and i'm excited that we're kind of here for one yeah 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 mm -hmm. my character's terrified <laughs> i want this though so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm wishes. I also want to see what the whole thing with Loka was like that whole thing. I'd like to see a little bit more from that. See where it goes, how it goes. Definitely an interesting. And that's me. DM stars. Wow. You. Uh, God, I me. fucking love this session. Um. <laughs> I not gonna lie, I, I the skill challenge and the tenseness and a lot of the stuff that happened last mm -hmm. session I felt really dissatisfied with personally, um, and I was feeling kind of bad about that. I was feeling a little like, oh well, that, that, I feel like I fucked up the tension there a little bit. Um, and this session has fully regained my confidence um, because I had a fucking blast this session. Um, and that is entirely due to all of you doing incredible shit and being awesome players. Um, I am so glad to be able to do this in general, but it, today was fucking awesome. And I had, yeah, um, notable moments. Uh, finally getting to pay off some shit for Loka and Nature Magic that, um, we have planned since session zero. Um... Uh, kind of. Uh, so it, a lot of you have have like secret goals or something like that. One one of if if you're okay with me talking about it a little bit, Matt. Please. Um, please. One of Matt's was uh, catch a bolt of lightning. Holy shit! Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Wait, that's badass. Yeah. Yeah. Hell um, yeah. And finally being put into an and, and I've got a lot more stuff going on there you know like that is not the that is not the end of of this stuff going on with Loka necessarily um there there's there's I've got I've got stuff in the hopper you know um 
<laughs> but being able to finally... I, a lot of it's just not being in the phasia anymore. I love the phasia. I love it a lot. But there's a lot of other opportunities for a lot of characters outside of the phasia. And being able to actually capitalize on some of that was intensely satisfying. Um, yeah, like... Uh, uh, interaction with the frog. Amazing. Frog. Um, lots of really great role playing. Um, keeping the tension up and the action moving, playing Hala. Uh, that combat was super, super fun. Um, being able to play characters with complicated intentions, I think, is super fun within that. Like, um, we have, I, I don't know the extent to which you all have a sense of kind of the Slod Grung situation, but you, you did a good bit of digging into that and basically found out that it's a little bit more complex than just like mm -hmm. boss and minions, you know? Um, mm. uh, being able to do that. Uh, Loka and Zoran not gaining advantage on, uh, not, not, uh, providing advantage when due to hidden, uh, meant that Loka took so much less damage than he was probably going to in that first volley of <laughs> blowpipe shots. Cause it meant that I rolled six dice instead of 12. Jesus. <laughs> Yep. Ah, um, alert, baby. Alert is a very good feat. Oh yeah. Um, and that was fascinating, like, because I didn't realize that until today, reading through folks' character sheets again, because I was just like, "Oh right, Zoran and Loka both have alert. Cool, cool. They can't be surprised." What's that second sentence in that ability? <laughs> no. Oh. No. And became very relevant. Um, and that's great. I love that. Um. Sorry. Uh, as said in the session, uh, Eli, Hayson is the nightmare scenario. Um, <laughs> the 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 song of creation subclass is uh, the the DM nightmare, um, and insane. I love it so much, and would trust so few players with it the same way I trust you with it. Oh, um, thank you. And I. Always think I'm done being surprised. Yeah. <laughs> and I never am. <laughs> Birdie like the love wagon. <laughs> who starts no, so by so crashing into a tree <laughs> to dislodge a grung. Oh, also just like shout out some very interesting, cool decisions made in combat. I know, uh, uh, Matt, it, it did like, Loka, you did the barbarian. Loka did the barbarian thing. You sit there, you take a fuck ton of damage and you deal yep. a bunch of it back as much as you can. Yep. But genuinely staying there and doing that and focusing is an important decision made every single turn. Um, and I don't want to underestimate that because just locking <laughs> down the most powerful martial character in that combat, genuinely a huge boon when the rest of your party has half as many hit points as you do. Uh, effectively, a fourth of as many hit points as you do when you're raging. Yeah. You um, know what's so interesting is as soon as I knew that this was going to turn into combat, I was like, I know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. So I just... Like I, that's that's why I, my combat turned. All right, roll attack damage. Uh, we're just gonna stay here. Cool. Oh, you know, you're <laughs> all of this motherfucker well, in this doorway. That, He's not going nowhere. Yeah. No. At, <laughs> at, at that point, you're effectively playing a um, like a bluffing game of just like which one of us, which one of these two motherfuckers is gonna run out of HP first. It's not gonna be me. I promise. And just like staring yeah. down this slot. Yep. Um, and that was super, like, it, it... He got smug. On a surface level, that kind of feels like sitting in a doorway and slugging attacks back and forth for four turns. But the tension added, and I think the mechanical intrigue of that is not to be underestimated. Yeah. No, um, I, I agree, because it was like, okay, I lock this guy down. All of my... I almost said co-workers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not you, far Hey, off. look, you haven't registered with the guild yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, my my companions all do AOE bullshit. So I'll let them have it. It's like you're it. taking the boss and where do you look at the ads, you know? This, yeah, this is the way exactly. it goes. DPS. DPS. <laughs> Tank and spank. 
Um, <laughs> but, uh, and likewise with Zaran, right? Like, sometimes just Eldritch Blasting doesn't feel super great every turn. But, like, choosing to split up damage, so, like, versus focus damage on Eldritch Blast, I think is a really interesting decision. Because on one hand, twice as many dice on one frog, focusing them down so that they're no longer a problem, right? Like, that that's pretty important. But in the scenario where you can potentially knock them trees. out of the trees, splitting up your attacks and, like, choosing where you want to be and how you're going to support people is a very interesting decision. And I think you made a lot of super interesting decisions that combat. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't trying to knock them out of the trees, so thank you for hyping me up. <laughs> I'm gonna be real real with you. Even if it's unintentional, though, you know? Maybe Hell something yeah. to think about in the future. Um, I don't need to talk about Hassan's performance in combat. Um, <laughs> we all know. Because we all know. Um, that was super fun. I love the maps. I love all the rules. It, 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 had, it had it all. It had it all, and we did it for six hours. Thank you all very much. Very, very much. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Matt. Oh boy. Um. I I'm gonna be honest. At when I was first thinking, like, oh my god, stars and wishes, my entire brain shut off after I <laughs> die. So, um. Yeah. For I mean, stars. First of all, I summoned lightning from. Uh, that was fucking. That whole sequence was. Uh, because you're, you're was... cutting in and out a little bit. Oh, mother. <laughs> <laughs> it, you literally Same just went, ah, oh, mother. Well, that's because I didn't actually finish. Oh, it. I, damn. I only did say mother. <laughs> it would have been funny by circumstance. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, you know, you were saying earlier how, like, we had been planning this since session zero. And I was, ha I had this thought in my mind while it was happening. Like, the other people here are going to that this was a planned thing that like Cole and I had a discussion and Loka's going to do this cool. Thing. And I was just like, I'm just going to do something and we're going to see if it works. <laughs> um, and so the fact that it was as genuinely surprising and cool. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm really curious what the, I, cause it, okay. Like elemental adept. Cool. There's more that's happening there though. Uh, and I, I'm really curious about that. So that's a wish uh, right there. Um, stars, uh, uh, Hassan and Zaran with Frog. Uh, <laughs> that was just a really intensely interesting conversation to listen to. Um, so cute. And yeah, we just got a lot of like really good information. Uh, the area itself from it. So I, that was really interesting. Um, and... Pashmina, what did you do this session, Pashmina? I feel like you did cool. Brain can't think. Yeah. Um, climb, climb tree. Pashmina just Good climbs thing. tree. Okay. <laughs> Pash um, Honestly, I've wanted to climb. Some trees. crazy monk shit. <laughs> you finally got to use hand of healing, um, in some some pretty relevant ways. I've used hand of healing before. Yeah, it felt it felt very important in this battle. I will say, I actually I realized. Sorry. Uh, I've been thinking of it wrong. It does describe it as mystical. So it is just, it's been magical healing the whole time. Mm. That was well, a detail I didn't notice until until the session. Good to know. Huh. Um, also, Eli, I mean, just fucking props. Genuinely. <laughs> oh, thank you. It, it, it just, one of the, I just... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> so, some of your off the dome shit is so... It, sounds so well thought through um and is so genuinely hysterical and surprising <laughs> i <laughs> like, really <laughs> you know like last week was the <laughs> last week was the chess game and this week was this fucking dancing cart like this uh the name was good it's just great it's just between, great <laughs> between the anvil and this like I, I, like <laughs> You, I'm I'm not joking. This is some Looney Tunes, Wiley Coyote ass, like, <laughs> and it's never not great. Yeah. Um. Acme. <laughs> <laughs> the founder of of Acme, hey son. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Wishes. Uh. 
a, a deep dungeon, dungeon crawl, uh, m maybe murder hobos, some uh, black talons. That sounds like a good time to me, so I'm looking forward to it. Hoping also that Taxel is like alive, because there's yeah, yeah. a distinct possibility in my head that he is not. So. I hope Taxel's okay. But yeah, that's me. I need him to be okay. Yeah, really. All right. Thank you very much. Eli, last but not least. I, I, I got to do the thing I was planning to do for weeks. I was like, oh, I'm really excited. I'm going to, ma I'm going to make a, a self-driving car ram into <laughs> objects, and that's going to be really fun. That's I finally fun. got to do that, and I am very happy that I was finally able to do that. I had so much fun. Empath mushrooms, also very fun. And open up a lot of it opens up a conversation is a great icebreaker to get pcs to talk to each other and or at least an excuse to have a conversation so like, i'm putting now, that one in the books that was so good and i can't believe it was a random role yeah because hasan and it helps hasan so much because it gives him an idea of what a character is thinking so he can be as nosy as he wants and knows it and it's like it's like the other players are giving me what he, what Hasan should be like being nosy on. So it's very helpful in that in that manner. I very much like that. Every frog, everything with that interaction. Frog. Overcoming language barriers is really fun and really satisfying. And even though we weren't exactly overcoming a language barrier, we kind of did that in-game. And it was very fun to just try and communicate in different ways. And seeing Zoran being able to do that was super fun. Loka capturing lightning, everything about that. Hooray! I'm very happy that we're getting- I'm really happy to see more of Loka's magic because his relation to it is so unique when considering our party when considering our party's relation to magic that being one being of contract the other study having something that's more in tune with the primordial forces which Hasan desperately wants to study seeing more of that is very very fun getting to inter combat was extremely fun and challenging and I was ha happy to be able to do that I only hope that this wishes oh geez what else what else there was something else we have no just everything about the empath mushrooms getting to see Pesh getting Peshmina's feelings described was very very funny <laughs> yeah but either way Wishes, I just hope this continues. I'm very happy to play again. Hmm. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, this was great. Hopefully again soon. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. soon. All right. Good night. Good night Love y'all. Um, hey, Bye Hannah. Hmm? Can I DM you real quick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. All right. Good night. Good night. See ya. <laughs>